How's it going guys? Hope you're all doing well. Sorry for the late start here. I just had to reinstall the game beforehand, but uh, it's go time. So today we're going to be doing some team FFA matches as well as some regular ones. We'll probably do two to three matches depending on how long they go. Team games can be a lot quicker. So on that note, we might be able to get a little bit more sweaty action in. How you guys doing? Welcome. Let's get it. Let's have some fun, dude. All right. So firing it up. And here's what's going to happen. Uh, I'm going to make a lobby and first come first serve as always. But again, you can't rejoin games if you've gotten one earlier, except under unique circumstances. And um, you're going to be allied with the person above you starting from the top. All right, custom. Let me get the screen all changed over so you guys can actually see the game. Got to take down my Total War scoreboard, although it looks like it gets covered anyway, so not a problem. Let's get it, man. Let's go. Yes, yes. All right, so we're going to do this. It is going to be called Turin FFA. And uh, let's fire it up. All right, so mega random, and we are going to be having a team structure. All right, it's me and Nanny Ori. First come, first serve. So I'm going to be on team one. <laughs> Nanny says, yes. Oh, we have a dreaded French player. Good Lord, that filled fast. That was the swift one, dude. That was the swift one. All right. Ally with person below you starting from top. So it's going to be me and Nanu, or Nanu and uh, Pog here. Inkin is going to be with, again, I don't know the symbols. And then on the bottom, we have Dandy and Ethelred. All right. So what Civ do we want to play is the question. I'm thinking of going a little bit Steel Faith and Gunpowder. Um, a little bit of Empire action. So we're going to go Holy Romans because they're one of my ones I feel very comfortable on. So yeah, let's get it. All right. So one, one, two, two, three, three. And um, Ethelred, you are with Dandy. Okay. Should be good. Law Observers. Yeah, we could do that. We could do that. In case you want to follow along, we'll uh, get rid of the delay. 30 seconds there. And uh, outstanding. Looks like all the teams are set. Let's fire it up and uh, good luck. Have fun. And we'll see how this goes. All right. Let's, let's jam, dude. The floppy hats are coming. They are. Let's see if we can get the dub here. Not going to be easy. I think some of the other uh, teams might actually jump into mic on mic together. So... I have a bit of a disadvantage here, but... Oh, that's Hunter? Okay, got it. Yeah, yeah. He's from our Discord. Got it. I wasn't sure. I think I've seen him under a couple different names, so... So Sigmar and the French. Then we got Rus and Mongols. Mongols and Ottomans. French and English. That's that's going to be a nasty one if they play correctly. Like English defending French wonder. Oh, ho, ho, that's brutal. That is brutal. Oh, yeah, yeah. The observer thing, uh, understandably, it can cause issues. But, you know, in our community here, I don't think anybody. There's no stakes. There's no money here. Yeah, I think we're all good. HRE, I'm just going to go fast castle, try and get some relics. And, uh, you know, I'll be chatting with Nanny in game as well. So we'll be uh, we'll be chatting and uh, scheming and probably just going for a wonder defense of some sort. Yeah, we'll, we'll feel it out. All right. Looks like Nanu is about ready. We're just starting. This is the first game of the day. First game of the day. Yeah, man. We're going to do it. <laughs> Take him to the Matthews Bridge. God, dude. Limp Biscuit references never get old. Dude, I saw I saw Limp Biscuit in my in the town I live in. He lives here. The lead singer of Limp Biscuit. I saw him at a sushi restaurant. I was like, oh, I want to go say hi, but I, I don't want to be that guy. So, yeah. you know, someday. Someday we'll see. Yeah. The audio shouldn't be quiet, uh, although I will double check it based on your feedback, so I do appreciate it. All right. So it looks like we start near our allies, which is good. No drama. Let's go see if we can find some sheep and wonders. All right. Gotcha. Uh, it's not a small map. No, it's a fairly normal sized map, to be honest. Oh, hell yeah. Let's get these sheep back here. That's a nice little haul. Need to actively scout. With HRE, you typically need to be on point with your scouting because you want to make sure you're getting all those relics. Oh, water. Okay. So my, you see, this is what it's all about. The teamwork. See, I didn't know there was water, but that's going to be changing everything. Basically, our whole build order is going to be changed. Yeah, we have river. So I would imagine it's it's down by us as well. Good catch. Good catch there. Now, why am I so low on wood? Is there some weird nuance of uh, why I'm starting so incredibly low on wood? Oh, it's because I have this built. Okay. I was like, I actually built two of those. I was like, why am I out of wood? That's what she said. But, you know, why? Okay, let's get Fire Tuck up there. Um, let's go see if I have any water near me. Yeah, we need to, to be on water or else we're just going to be behind. 
Awesome. So let's see how far down the river is. And we need to be we need to be the Corsair Lords, you know. Even if it means a little bit of a slower feudal, you know, at the end of the day, it will lead to a faster overall age up here. So let's get you down there. See how far this river goes. Ooh, natural, good natural defenses here. We have this like cliff face, which is going to be a little bit tough. So we're going to head to the river now. Ooh, where is this? Where does this accursed river start? All right, so now we can start on gold a little bit. Okay. So I got a villager hustling over to the river. It's going to be a bit of a journey to get there, but it looks like it might like end like straight up over here. Okay, never mind. No, it keeps going. So we'll come down here because we don't want to encroach on the fishing of our ally. And let's just kind of keep exploring. All right. My only crossing is far right. I'm thinking wonder top. Yeah, we have a nice, nice position there. French wonder. Yeah, Nanny always like gladly. <laughs> the French player. So like, get get that wonder hype going. All right. So where's our villager? Yeah, it's it's unfortunately taking us some time to get down here, but it's all good. Okay, so we got teal to the south. It's gonna be hunter. Uh, if they don't have fishing, you know they could be in a little bit of trouble. All right, so we got a little bit on gold. It's gonna take a minute, but I want I, I want the wood income to get the uh, the dock the dock system going. That's going to be turbo important. So let's scout here, scout here. No relics so far though. This is uh, this is very, very suspicious. Not seeing any relics. Okay, looking around, looks like there's a little bit of harass going down. Nothing too crazy. Doc should be finishing soon. We got sheep here and let's go up top and top. Yeah, this is, a, this is, a, this is definitely an interesting river layout. It absolutely is. Okay, since we have such crazy wood economy, let's go ahead and build a second dock here. I think it's going to be worth. Cool. Keep gathering. You know, every little relic hidden on the uh, the corners of the map could be important. Okay, we see one relic down there. We have almost no relics in our lands. He needs the die, says Red. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, river crossing there. Let's go scout here to see if there's any relics. Build this. Get a house up. Do that. They are. They are insane. Okay. So yeah, we need to kill Teal. That's probably going to be um, probably fast C attack Teal. Okay, so there's a Khan who's doing a little bit of harass my base, which is pretty funny. Having a good old jolly time over there, are you? Okay, let's get you on food here, buddy. And it all's good. So now we just kind of age up. It's going to be a little bit slower to get to feudal compared to people who just stayed purely on land, but you're going to get pretty jacked. Uh, no relics. Yeah, there's like no relics around. I'm just noticing now. It's it's pretty bleak. I might not go with Aachen, although, yeah, getting the power of Jesus is really, really good. He might rush here. So just to be safe, I'm going to set up a tower. And uh, we can have you come over and start walling a little bit. Do this and do this. And then we can do a little bit of this as well. Cool. Better safe than sorry, you know. Mm. Attack there. We got you guys. Let's get into the tree line. And then we have another two bills here who are, for some godforsaken reason, not fishing. There we go. Okay. The duel of fates begins. Okay, pretty close to aging up here. We just got to watch out for early aggression. Setting that tower up was a little bit risky, but at the end of the day, I think worth. It's being poked here by a con. Okay, fishing boats. Yes, yes. Let's go see if there's any aggression coming out here. I would imagine most players are on the water. It's got to be the case. Okay, there's a relic over there. We got to make sure we get that. Yeah, Inti. Okay, he's being attacked. No problem. Let's grab you guys, do this, age up, and we're gonna do the mine work to get the better quality um the better quality units. Aachen is very good for fast aging, but I think with the dock in play, we're gonna be okay, and we can just get a couple prelates to do that. Alright, let's fire that up. You guys stay here. Keep those fishing boats going. Could gather a little bit of stone, but at the end of the day I think we're okay. Oh wow, early. Wow, early. Okay, so we might need to make some spears. It looks like we could be uh, potentially getting raided. Wow, that is a super early raid. Yeah, I see that. That's very aggressive. 
Okay, let's do that. Wish I could help more, but these Kashyyyks are going pretty hard. It's the Incan. Looks like coming in for a raid here. We could be getting targeted. Um, I'll try and get some spears out and get over and help. I was not expecting that sort of early pressure, though. That's very, very early. We'll bring our Haggard Scout and try and help, but that's going to be setting Nanyori behind pretty hard. Okay, house is coming up. We got the walls. We got a spear coming across. Okay, you guys back to wood. And the spearmen hopefully will arrive soon. Walls in the front looking okay. And then we can wall this also. All right, so we've reached the next age. You guys can get on here. Need to make sure we still have our boats going. Spear. Yeah, man, he's raiding hard. He's going real hard in the paint here. Hopefully Nanny's gonna get some spears out too. That's gonna be the big thing. Okay. We're gonna have enough gold to age up soon. Switch a little bit of this. Um, unfortunately, this is gonna set us both back because we have to react to this like pretty, pretty heavily. Spear, spear. All right, so those bad boys are on the way and we can get the uh, marching drills or the riveted chain mail, which will help our spearmen. Okay, so I need to wait till I get like a couple units because my ally is still in the potato age. Um, see that? Oh, get your spears back. Get your spears back. All right. So we need to gather a critical mass of spears first before we try and push here. Yeah, und. Okay, we don't have quite enough. Once we get one more spear there, I think that's going to be enough to get aggressive. Okay. We have a little bit of spear action now. Let's see if we can drag this one down. Looks like we have gotten there just in time for the rescue. Fortunately, we need to see where there's more relics around. So I'm just going to leave these spears here to defend. But that's definitely um, a pretty substantial setback for us. 1-1. One, one. Do this. Get that over there. Um, is there anything we want to do here? Do we need the repairs for any reason? Alright, so that's a big, big setback, guys. We're going to be behind for a while. That's all good, though. It's all good. It's all part of the fun. And Yuri is aged up. And we are pretty close to the castle age ourselves. Alright, so we got one prelate. Basically, just going to be getting one relic. And we have, like, a pretty strong neighbor here. Hmm. Docks could be in a little bit of danger. I'm going to grab some spears. Head back here. Actually, I probably should leave my spears here to defend the French. Because my ally could be in huge trouble here. Okay. Let's do this. Do that. And then we can go ahead and get the Regnant's Cathedral. Slap that up there. Do this. Grab a Friar Tuck. Head out there to grab that. And then we need to grab our other Friar Tuck. And have you go, like, secret secret agent Friar Tuck down here. Because that, that, that's going to be pretty important. All right. Okay, so let's get you and you. Two, three. One, two, three. Yeah, it looks like Teal in the middle is really spreading his wings. He's he's jumping all over the place here. Can we get that sealed there? It's like an opening. It's like totally nullifies the effectiveness of our, of our entire wall. I do see it. Did the stone wall get up? Spear should be able to defend that. Feudal H spears. Should be able to defend it. So at the very least, we'll probably get two one relic. I mean, that's bleak. That's not great at all. We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to get some like good conquest. Do this. Go over here. We can go ahead and get the uh, the night barding. A couple of you guys grab the relic. Take it back to the old cathedral. And get some knights. Okay. So spears are good. All right, buddy. Let's have you go down here. It's kind of kind of bleak that we only get one relic, but it is what it is. All right. So the night barding, we need 300 gold for that, which is going to be very good. That basically just gives you a huge power spike as HRE. All right, spears, head over. Let's gather here. 
We're gonna try, uh, gonna be aggro here. Yeah, we see that. Okay. So we're gonna get some knights heading down over here. And uh, let's get you just kind of jumping on that big stone. We have the Castle Age Knights. The Barding will uh, be here soon. We just need a little bit more food. Outstanding. All right. Ah, Friar Tuck, you going to make it? Unfortunately, he's pathing through the enemy base. I don't know if he's noticed, so the Friar Tuck might actually make it. All right, we got the dreaded single relic as HRE. Man, we had a rough, rough run of the relics here. All right, so let's see if the other team's going to be able to get their shit together and, like, ally up, help each other out. Okay, let's attack. Get some bills. Get these spears to go here and just keep chasing down these villagers. I'll happily take that. Aggression off to a pretty good start. Okay, then let's get the boats. Alright, so yeah, I would say that starts pretty good. Our knights are going to be way better than a lot of other players' knights. Did our fire tuck make it? Wow, homeboy's still going. He's going the distance, man. I guess we just got the sacred side. Screw it. This is a good good start against Teal. We just need to secure that northern part of the map and um, trade posts. Let's set that up. Okay, he's moving over with the man at arms, which are going to be terrible against our knights. Okay. Just keep those knights coming down. Let's grab a handful of you guys. Do this. The wheelbarrow going. Oh man, he's taking big villager casualties now. That's great for us. It's really, really good for us. All right, so unfortunately only one prelate. And uh, now we can just kind of start trying to steamroll here, I guess. We could we could uh, get some rams going, some ram sign. Okay, food is very, very sparse. Oh shit, he's attacking, okay. Let's go into his lumber line here, see what we can do. Oh, just one French knight. All right. Let's gather up. Gather up our forces. Ride away with you. Attack in here. We have to We have to use the dreaded teamwork, guys. And our knights should just beat the hell out of his units. All right. Some more knights coming in. More of you guys. You guys need to go down here. Set up a tower. And then jump on that. Yeah, I think we're having a good run here so far. Let's get the fishing upgrades. We got you guys. Let's come down and you set up here. Yeah, looking good. We have a nice little swarm. We should probably start fighting away from the TC if possible, but... Okay, artillery just came out. We need to get that from the Memen Armory. Yeah, so we're going to dive the hell out of that. Keep those cavalry dives coming in. Go torch that down. We got the artillery. Good. Um, we need to set up a trade post network. Oh, those are blacksmiths. Okay. <laughs> I was like, that's a bit of a misclick there, but it's all good. Okay. So we're torching down the TC here. Picking off a couple units on the wings. Uh, melee armor's looking good. He's definitely not getting a lot of help from his teammates, which is good for us. Not sure where his teammate's chilling, but, you know, he's, he's got to be around here somewhere. All right, let's keep looking, seeing where he can find his villagers and whatnot. And, uh, cool. Alright. Let's get a spring tower here. Should be able to start annihilating his bills. And, uh, how are we looking down here? Yeah, where is his eco at? His eco is up here. Alright. So, do we have a market? We do. Alright, so we're gonna start getting that sweet trade going. Pull back this fire tuck here. Move up there. Yeah, this uh, our relic situation is pretty bleak, unfortunately. That's the one thing that's going real bad for us. Alright, let's start hammering those guys down. Gather up, do this. Big fights all over the map. Yeah, Hunter is basically dead, this guy. He's, he's, um, seems to be either isolated or his ally just straight up isn't helping him. Which, you know, hey, I'm, I'm down to party with either one of those. I am down. Okay, we got some stone being gathered, so that means we can start getting some keeps and whatnot. Uh, more food down the river. Outstanding. We'll try and find some relics. It ain't gonna be easy. Uh, maybe my ally got some too. I'm not sure. <laughs> Does he not have any allies or anything? Like, what, where's your ally? His teammates on the other side of the map? I had teams together, so it shouldn't have been that way, but it seems to be the case, you know. 
<laughs> no mercy. All right, reset the camera. Okay, we gotta go down river. Keep fishing down there. Yeah, holding a 2v1 is basically, you know, against decent players, basically impossible, right? Okay. So we took down that artillery piece. We gotta finish the job, Nanny. You can't, there's, this is not the time for, uh, he's too strong to be left alive. Okay, we need to go imp now too. How's our trade looking? Yeah, it's 55 a root, which isn't bad at all. Alright. Nanny's coming in with the siege equipment, and uh, we can go ahead and do some uh, proper walls here now. Let's do this. And do this. And then we need to keep walling around where we can. Outstanding. A lot of spearmen coming out. Yeah, I'm definitely going to be able to punish a lot of my horses. Alright, let's get some rams. And now we just fight with our ally and, and finish him off. Yeah, I'm curious to see where the other teams are, honestly. I really have no idea. Let me get the wheelbarrow. Wheelbarrow, food, and get these upgrades too. The dreaded one relic HRE will rise from the ashes. You just wait. Oh, yeah, so we're definitely going to go wonder. It's got to be the case. Hmm. Yeah, a lot of villagers hustling down that way. Um, now we can switch it up, get some barracks. All right, get some men-at-arm upgrades because we're going to want to probably switch to those at some point or other. One relic, Jesus, dude. I, I feel like my ally doesn't have any relics either. You don't know when the update's coming along. Yeah, have they they don't have a release date for that yet, right? For the uh, for all the other stuff. Pretty cool that we're going to get Byzantines and a lot of other fun uh, civs for sure. Ottomans coming up river, interesting. What has he got there, villagers? Oh, he's escaping with villagers across the reach. Yeah. Okay, so let's just kind of keep setting up towers, like, further down. Just to give us some map control and some vision. Stone walls being set up here. Nanny, Nanny's looking pretty strong, too. Oh, the floppy hats are going to be flopping tonight, dude. They for sure are. Um, I need to get more... Yeah, I need to go, like, imp. Probably throw the last landmark, like, back here. Behind where the wonder would be. Mongols with a bit of an invasion? Interesting. Let's send this Hulk down river. We need to we need to finish him off. Mm. Siege upgrades. Imperial Age is closing in for us. We don't have Aachen, so traditional farm structure isn't gonna be as important. Looks like my allies got that covered over there. Keep steamrolling the base. Do this. Across the river, yeah, yeah. Don't, don't give them too much intel. All right, so let's grab you guys, do this, and we can set you up and just do the Palace of Swabia, like literally right against the back of the map. It's gonna be a good spot. That will be a good, in team games though, even if you lose all your base, you, you still get to keep going um, if your ally's alive, so. With how much people like Beastie have hyped up the expansion, I'm super, yeah, it should be good. Should be good. I, I plan on holding some traditional events too when that comes out, not just FFA stuff. So we'll do some like casted tournaments and uh, a lot of lot of fun stuff. Who is Teal here? Oh, Dandy. Dandy South. We got Dandy Dragon over here. Okay. The dreaded Dandy. Let's see this. Get some more traders going. Sounds good. You need to recover? No problem. No problem. I will get the walls coming up. Get the Great Empire all secured here. Build some walls here. Alrighty. So now we're uh, we're getting to the imp age. It looks like we've gotten there. Yes. So let's produce villagers here. They can just come over and uh, hammer this down. I'm being harassed by something. I don't know what. Is there a wolf over there or something? You guys see that attack notification? It was weird. All right, so Teal's base has been steamrolled, but it doesn't mean they're out of the game because in team games you can uh, you can come back. So we're gonna build some like towers all over this lost empire just to like kind of get some map control and some vision. Oh, there's a wolf attacking us here. Okay, that's what it was. Got the old Ramstein here. Uh huh. 
Oh my god, look at this. <laughs> what is this shit, dude? Oh my god. Look at that. He has like a random ram in there. Trebuchet piece in my face. Oh, that's really funny, dude. That's really funny. What a troll, dude. What a troll. Alright, so let's just set up some random, like, periphery towers. Like, little border outposts. Um, we can go ahead and start on a wall here to secure that neighborhood a little bit better. And you do this and this. Yeah, we gotta we gotta go after Dandy, because I know Dandy's gonna wanna do the dreaded uh wonder. That's gonna happen for sure. We need to get towers up. Yeah, walls being built, my allies doing exactly the right plays. Solid, solid stuff indeed. How are we doing? The villagers, what is our eco count? 101, not bad. Have some of you guys go down here. Need to get those elite knights too, university upgrades. The trade is definitely going to keep us afloat. It's a pretty respectable trade route, honestly very safe too. Oh, wow, okay. You got the old uh, river action here. We're going to have to transition out of a river economy here because it's, uh, it's, it's definitely not in the books for too much longer. I, I straight up think there's like no fish left. Yeah, okay, so we need to, we need to pull a hard switch. Okay, let's get more fire tucks if we can. Have them start motivating the people. Can we get the boat here and boat here? Pull you guys back. And we should be good. All right, cannon towers are coming up, walls coming up. I'm definitely gonna go do a little raid over here. It might start a bigger war, but a little bit nervous about starting a battle when I'm not like fully eco-stable in terms of food and everything, but it is what it is. All right, so yeah, now we're gonna lose the river here, but there's no food left in the river anyways. So um, let's just leave one of you behind there. Yeah, see if we can lure them. No, not gonna happen, okay. I don't know which one he's targeting, so. Okay, that's fine. Holy shit, yeah, they're, they're coming hard in the paint here. Alrighty, so let's start setting up some old farm economies. Uh huh, uh huh. Go down this way. We're gonna have to, you know, basically just yield the fact that that's going down here. Take down this TC if possible. And uh, the dreaded farmer association is coming. Alright, so hopefully that's gonna be good. And we'll get some fire trucks out there to motivate them, you know, preach preach the Jesus while they're farming. It'll it'll get them nice and hyped up. Okay, and then we got another guy here. He's going to give the Jesus to some of these farmers too. And we've done a little bit of punishment right there, which is good. Got random cannon towers, walls coming up. DC is down. And you guys need to come back and uh, get this farm infrastructure going too. Okay. Cool. That should be enough food for now. Looks like Dandy's got a decent little army, so I don't want to get too crazy. We already took a TC down, so more than happy with that performance. Get the elite men at arms. Let's go here. Uh, don't stress, River. Oh, he says uh, extend the trade since we took his base. Yeah, sounds good. We can do that. Yes, yes. Uh, the safest spot would probably be like right over here. So I don't even know how to ping in this game, Jesus. There we go. So we'll get the trade route going this way, should be a little bit longer. Just waiting for that to finish. I think it'll be a stronger trade route. Yeah, it should be pretty good. Okay. We've got 46 idle bills right now, Jesus Christ. They must have just finished some gold node. Alright. Okay, so let's make some galleys. Oh, hello. Teal's, Teal's building up across the river. Getting real nuts. We have way too many on gold at the moment, though. Definitely need to pull some back. Set up some more farms. Alright, and then we can do a farm as well uh, here. Yeah, it's coming together. Gold's a little bit tight, but you know, the trade routes are back online. Our army is basically just some men-at-arms. We see Teal building up across the river. 
Getting real crazy. Look at this shit. We're gonna ha is there a crossing? Where's the nearest crossing? I think it's all the way up here. Wow, it's just that choke point. And then the other crossing, I think, is like somewhere down here. Okay, so we can go take out Teal's uh, docks for now. Dandy's gonna be looking to, you know, do that sweet, sweet uh, corner wonder. Good army tactics. Um, how's the new trade route looking, by the way? Yeah, it's better. Perfect. It's a good trade route. Oh, we're being raided by a dead player. <laughs> what the hell is this? This, this? this dead guy's army is raiding us. He's getting real crazy. Alright, so we have the spear upgrades. We got most of the essentials. We have the certified classics. Let's do that. This. Okay, so we're looking pretty comfortable here. It looks like one of the teams is down. Yeah, one of the teams has fallen, so we don't need to worry about that anymore. Oh, wow. Okay. So Blue was his ally, so they were... Oh, his Blue was helping him. Oh, so Blue was his ally. I was wondering who was on his side there. You know? Whoever uh, took East is a tyrant. East. Oh, wow. Okay. So somebody's a tyrant other than us, huh? A little bit scary. Okay, so we got to worry about pink now. Could be a little frightening. Thunderbolts and lightning, all that sort of good stuff. We're getting walls. Uh, we got a very wonder probs or kill dandy. Yeah, I think I think we gotta we gotta take out the dandy dragon. Let's get some hand cannoneers. Get a decent little quality army heading down this way. Got gatehouses being built. See Dandy's base down here. We want to get archers. Crossbows aren't as, aren't as pertinent. And uh, probably get the knight upgrades as well. My supply lines kind of suck, to be fair. Okay. Yeah, I think we got we to gotta kill our southern neighbors here. Because if we don't, they're just gonna they're just going to laugh at us and cackle all the way to the bank. English French bot is scary. All right, let's start ramming this wall. Do this. You guys, you guys, and you guys. You can come down here and set up a little keep with which we can push from. We have random cannon towers all over the place. Uh, they might be able to get through there, I'm not sure. Yeah, empty. Almost have enough for the full food upgrades. Cool. All right. Getting haunted by the ghosts of the dead. I know, no kidding, right? All right that trader, it's pretty good. It's pretty respectable. Uh, unfortunately, need a wall here. He. Uh, oh, I was wondering where my reinforcements were. Walled me out. <laughs> Nanny walled me out. Oh no! It's happening. All right. So let's grab you guys. Come over here. A couple of you dudes can do this. Alright. Is there any more gold nodes around? I see some fat stone nodes. That's for damn sure. Do that. And then we can have you guys jump on this one as well. Cool. Alright. So the gate's being fixed. Was that a friendly nocturne? Yes, it was. Slowly kind of clearing it all out for you. Don't worry. Don't you worry. No such thing as a friendly turn, it's true. A lot of knights. Okay, so we're going to need just get spears. Spear City. Okay, how are we looking on wood? Everything's looking pretty good. Uh, our eco is way, way too big at the point, this point. We have way too much on stone. Let's turn you guys in. And uh, we need to shrink the army here. Okay, let's take you guys here. Yeah, army is like just currently it's gonna it's gonna be too small to fight. All right, guys, gather up. Thinking of putting a little pressure on. Let's pull you guys down here, and uh, we can set up some new infrastructure, siege equipment, all that sort of good stuff. Our supply lines are not good enough to win a war. That's for sure. They uh, they will not win us any major major fights. Yeah, it was just a friendly a friendly knock on the door here. Alright. 
Dandy, Dandy thinks that uh, thinks that he's safe here. He's definitely gonna win this fight, but we're gonna we're gonna cost him some army. Yeah, because we have the Barded Knights, which are pretty jad. All right, let's go down here, take some of these workers out, and we need to get some of these dudes to run around and get on the mangonels. Okay, he's losing bills, which is good. And uh, again, yeah, we just start gathering up. We have a keep to fall back on, which is great. All right, let's run into his base and go do a little bit of eco raiding. We can't, we can't let a defensive like turtle player just you know do their thing, right? So we're gonna run past them, and even though we're doing good damage to the army, probably retreat the main core here in a second. Okay, we got a keep back there. We have good gold income. Managed to get past part of the army here. We do save the hand cannoneers. All righty. Green is here now too. All right. If I can just like drain their resources while Nanny just builds up like for a wonder, then we might just be like the cackling lords here. So five and we can do seven. Okay, we need to get like way more infrastructure here. Go and go, starting these buildings. Let's gather up. All right, siege is on the way. Outstanding. I think wander top, maybe. I'll put pressure on these guys to keep them from easy going easy wonder. Dandy is for sure close. We've got some good nodes. It's like gold is still going around. Not quite as much as it once was, but I think we've got just about all the upgrades too. Cool. And we could get some battle popes. Battle popes are pretty solid. That, that, and that. Basically get all the upgrades. Yeah, it's a good spot. Good spot. Um, That is fine there. That is fine right there. Okay. Got a couple of you guys. Let's do this. And then we can go ahead and get some more archer ranges. And then we can buy some stables. Do not know what this guy's talking about, 2v1. I literally just saw his ally appear and help him. So we can move in, try a little try a little skirmish here. We have the keep to fall back to if things get ugly, so not too worried about it. The sacreds are on the other side of the river, which we don't have access to, unfortunately. So, um... Oh, hello. Okay, okay, shit. I was just kidding. I was just kidding. He's got a lot of stuff. I can probably, like, fight these guys 2v1, kind of keep them busy a little bit. Yeah, the knights keep charging in. Oh, we just picked off a whole bunch of knights there. That was nice. But those things are going to hurt the mangonel fire. I'm happy to, like, do these little skirmishes. Red, okay, that's my ally there. Getting some goodies. Set up another keep here. And let's go ahead and get some battle popes. Like, start doing that and get the upgrades for them and whatnot. Uh, need me to delete this? Sure. Sounds good. And then you can come down in here and motivate these guys. Eight bills have done it. All right, you guys just start lumberjacking here. And I think we have enough eco. I'm pretty happy with our supply lines here. Let's get a cull. And we can get some rams to clear out the buildings. All right, guys. Yeah, my food count isn't amazing. It's okay. Focusing a little bit on wood so I can ram spam, but we'll see if that ends up mattering. Okay, let's go here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And you could just stay there and motivate them. And cool. So rams are here. Let's have them start just like plowing down these walls. Ooh, we actually have a couple horses and we get some previews right here. Nanny is going to start preparing our wonder while I just like act as the distraction carn effects basically. Yeah, we see a big English army here. Yeah, he says both teams are fighting, although I see a full army here, which leads me to believe he's lying. Alright, let's move and uh, get that culver in. Just snipe the mangonel. And pop that thing in the face. Okay, here and here. Okay, one is down, and the other one's gonna go down here in a second. 
Yeah, so we need to, we definitely need to pull the trigger and go wonder here soon. All right, so how are we looking? All right, let's, we got the artillery down, so let's just pull back to the keep now. And play defensively. Keeping them busy, bot. Nanny Ori's politicking. <laughs> yeah, Nanny's, Nanny's lying, I like that, that's good. Got it, got to get the politics. I can handle them 2v1 defensively. Just get that sick wonder. Hmm. Okay. So if I can like keep them at bay 2v1. Hmm, there's resources across the river which we need to get. So let's get some transport ships. And take a bunch of these guys which were just kind of standing on the wood. I uh, have you guys turn in first and foremost and then come over here. I'm happy to fight these guys 2v1. We'll see what kind of progress they can actually make here. I think, did they actually get the culprit? Shit, looks like they might have. Just gonna move up with the mangoes, do a little bit of sniping, intermittent sniping here. Rip a pot shot. Okay, they're pulling back. Now we just retreat. We have a second keep back here to fall back on. So if they really manage to brute force past us. Yeah, we got walls and cannon towers and shit all over the place. Oh, hello. Okay, those, those guys are trapped. I'm not going to bother. Trying to free them up. Mangoes. And, uh, oh, we got a little funny business over here. Okay. So let's get the rams heading up that way. And, uh, yeah, we need to go kill that. Take some horsemen. Go see what's up. Oh, it's it's just being built by, like, one worker. So it shouldn't be too much of a threat. All right, villagers. You guys load up in the boats. Boats, boats. The boats with the fur. Horsemen should arrive there in a second. Should be able to find the villagers building that. Uh, I, ooh, I think he might have lumberjacked his way through on the side here. All right, so we need to get a culve. Uh, yeah, see that? Oh, they're in the river. I was like, why is it not letting me select those guys? Okay, looks like that got taken down. Is there a way through there? Oh, that's really troll. Wow. Okay, we don't have emergency repairs here, unfortunately. Most of the villagers have fled the scene, so... You know, on the other side. Let's go set up a keep here. Try and get our clutches on that. Hmm... Yeah, still at 120. Let's lead a handful of these random spears here to try and get those culverins popping out. Perfect. So now we get the cull to snipe that, and hopefully we're all good. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. That's a hell of a lot of knights, and I don't think we're going to be allowed to keep this spot. That's for sure. Ah, well. It's one way to reduce your villager count. You know, one way to do it. Maybe they'll get it done, I'm not sure, but yeah, they're, they're not escaping. Oh, uh, did it actually finish? Nope, not gonna finish. No way in hell. Oh, it did finish, but yeah, it's just gonna get torched down. Alright, so my villager count now is 100, which is actually pretty good. Yeah, sacreds are gonna be an issue. Hmm. Okay, let's grab all our military. Head here. Sacreds are an issue, nanny. Yeah, because they, they could probably grab the um, sacreds. Alright, let's get over here and start repairing this shit. Okay. We're going to get this keep repaired. Albeit very slowly. Let's get you guys back around. Get you guys in formation there. I don't know where the last sacred site is, though. That's a bit of a problem. I haven't been mining gold for a while. Um, Alright, so let's grab some vills, have them gather down here. We need to deny them sacreds for sure. I just don't know where the last one is. Okay, culverins, so you go here and here. And it is being repaired now, which is good. Culv's gonna get in range? Nope, they're not. Let's get back. Spear's ready. You can have everything up to your wall. Okay. So we don't know where the third sacred site is. 
Because that the that's like a you know a very solid counter against the wonder play, right? Alright, these guys have lumberjacked their hearts out. Let's go lumberjacking over here. Keep that going. Uh Tithe Barnes is kinda of, I only have one relic, so it, it's 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 kind of unfortunate. Yeah, we see this note up here. I mean we could definitely win a 2v1 against these guys, I think. Otherwise we help Orange. Yeah, that's fine. Hello, well, just the haggard, the haggard snipes. Nanny Ori's doing like all the politics for us, which I love. I just, I just get to sit back and cackle. Okay. Ooh, the springholds of doom, eh? Okay. I didn't lose anything, which is good. Here comes the artillery, so let's pop you in the face and pop you. The superior technology prevails. Three springs for one culve. No, nope, we only got two there. This is just like the most haggard game of cat and mouse ever. Alright, let's do that. Have you go after this one. Eh, not bad. Overall, the trading was good. We pretty much wiped all their artillery for two culverins. Pulling back. Oh, look. The dreaded horseman flank. They want it. Okay. Let's get these hand cannoneers. Getting a little bit of Daka in. We just got a huge bunch fire shot right there. We might need to fall back to our other one. Okay, let's get 15 of you guys. Come down here. See if we can salvage this. Let's get some mangoes now. You guys pull back. No sick repairs, unfortunately, but overall the fight didn't go terribly, considering it was a 2v1. All right, now we try and take these guys down, and yeah, we just routed their army 2v1. Hopefully Nanny is just like, the whole point of this is for Nanny to just accrue wealth and just become a tyrant while I just kind of handle the south. Yeah, I don't know what Nanny's doing. Nanny's, ooh, this is actually looking a little bit scary because we're like dragged into like two 2v1s. You know, it feels a little bit, a little bit gnarly. Nanny, we're on two fronts. Um, probs has got to make peace with... Sounds good. Sounds good. Alright, you guys get on the wood there. Got a couple idle vills here. Just make some towers. Where is last sacred? I wonder if Nanny knows where it is. I guess I would have vision as well. Oh, he's actually going after Orange's Vils there. Yeah, because the thing is, the other team has the entire... They they probs have north to south trade. Oh, shit. I wasn't watching. Lovely. Oh, my God. We just got some fat AOE fire, though. Uh, we need to politic with south. Because if they're, if they're rocking north to south trade, we're in, like, big danger. Other side has north to south trade. Probs one, two hundred plus. Like I gotta, I gotta get involved in the haggard politics here, guys. Let's make some archers while we're at it. Okay, you guys jump here, and then we got eleven idle vills who are in that boat in the river. Need to team other side. I won't attack. You must take me for a man not burned? <laughs> what is he talking about? I have no idea what he's talking about here. I haven't even done any serious damage. I maybe killed like 10 bills. Okay, let's slap this down. Try and secure a little ground. If he can cover me. 
Yeah, I mean, if we lose this infrastructure, it's not a huge deal. Not a huge deal. Oh, I wish I could see Nanny's resources, can I? No, I can't. We see a little bit of haggard naval trade going. Oh, that's a neutral dock. I'm burning the hell out of that. These guys probably aren't happy about being 2v1 over there. <laughs> yeah, a big army's coming. Okay, so we might have to worry about that. I did destroy their trading dock, so that's going to be less of an issue now. Alright, let's set that up. If you can get Danny to stop, I can deny uh, Sacreds with pure ships. Yeah, okay. We'll see. North, it looks like the Kashyyyks are getting ready to party. How are resources? Yeah, I could have done a TC down there, but, you know, I don't know. It didn't feel like it was, like, the strongest play. Enough. Better not be stream sniping. A couple of Roost Knights are coming in. Hopefully the boats can protect it here. Where are the dreaded pings? Hopefully uh, my ally can protect that. Don't really care too much about losing all that. It's all good. We got 11 villagers in here trying to hold it down. My, my ally is the Corsair Lord. What do you want? What is what does Dandy want? What deleted? Something here. Is it these? Is it this shit? Is this what he wants deleted? I mean, I'm hap I'll happily do that. All right. Oh yeah, sure, it's fine. It's fine. There you go. There you go. All right. So it's just a couple buildings which I wasn't planning on using anyways. Okay. Yeah, it's fine. It keeps going. Whatever. There you go. Merry Christmas. They have all three. Wow, look at the sacred sites, dude. Oh my god, look at that shit. It's a good thing we have river control. Alright, so we got an alliance now, which is good. Uh, gold is very sparse. Our keep did get knocked down, unfortunately, with the villagers in it. I'm so mad that I was, uh, that that was actually an accident. <laughs> he didn't mean to capture the sacred sites. That's really funny. All right. So let's get this. We got a lot of villagers up here. Let's pull some of these bad boys down there. He's building a wonder. Wow. So we can we can respond by getting the uh, sacred sites here. He had enough. I didn't think he would. All right. All right, guys. We got our wonder operation up. The writing is on the wall. I do. I don't have the most infrastructure at the moment, but you know I haven't needed it so far. On it. Okay, so where are my boats at? Yeah, we got villagers coming down. Get a couple of you guys. And then we can delete these guys. Cancel these horsemen. Okay. And drop and drop. Let's get you villagers to do this. You villagers to do this. Need to get these prelates across the river. Sacred sites are going to be incredibly hard to take. How much time do we have left? Yeah, about four minutes. Okay, could be worse. Okay, let's move over here. You guys load in the ships. How many villagers do we have here? 19? So we're going to hopefully be able to nail this down. Let's go jump on some of these guys. Some of these cannon towers back here? Okay. And we got to keep coming up to support. Then from there we get some infrastructure going. 
We need to lure them back to the old uh, to the old business here. Cause I don't have infrastructure to replenish my army, so I need to get I need to get the combat support here. Oh boy. Is there really 19 villagers here? Oh, they're in the boat. Some of them are still in the boat, okay. Shit, my Friar Tux got pounded. Looks like they died somehow. Um, okay. So you guys come here. We build this. Then we build that. Two, three. Oh my god, finish it. Finish the keep. Man, I don't have like any armies over here, guys. This is gonna be hard. This is gonna be very hard. Oof. Maganel still knocking, knocking down the keep. The sacred site is... It's gonna be super hard to get those. We got a couple minutes left. Alright. So now, let's go ahead and set up uh, just some spearmen, I guess. Alright. So you guys do this. Has that been taken down yet? Not quite. God damn, that keep is still going, really? Alright, you guys, go find some wood. We might just have to go for the wonder. I don't think the sacred site's gonna be an option. God damn, kill that stupid keep! I think it's getting repaired by something. I'm trying. Alright, so let's get some some of these as well. Keep. Yeah, the keep's a problem. Let's come over here. Get these fire chucks over. Uh, for some reason they're not building. Oh, it's because there's AFK villagers here. Oh man, this is this is the timing of this isn't great. I don't think it's going to be possible because the keeps just won't go down here. Ships can't reach, yeah. No problem. Okay, so we got that one being taken. We're going to head over to this one. Make some uh, bombard cannons here. 11 bills. Let's get you on wood. Okay, so that Friar Chuck's there. I think they can reach us, though, unfortunately. Okay, bombard cannons. Something's shooting us here. Start on infrastructure. We got two of them capping up. 11 minutes left. This keep is still holding pretty damn solid. Oh, this river is, is working as a double-edged blade right now because we can't quite get over here. Oh, shit. Knights, knights. Damn. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get it in enough time. Yeah, no. Okay, we we got to go for wonder kill. Because this isn't going to work. They're too entrenched here. Hmm. Yeah, this is getting shut down here. Shit. We, we just, this river is working against us. We needed to pull the trigger on the wonder earlier, probably. All right, let's get some more bills over here. Uh, hopefully the other side is attacking as well. We got to go uh, for wonder kill. It's our only chance. Uh, the boats need to defend the, the shores, too, if they can. Have these villagers ready. Let's go over there. We'll get you to go down here. Try and grab this. And the keep is... It's hanging in there. Alright, can we get these? Hopefully you won't notice. Oh, boy. Yeah, sacred is was just for a wonder deletion, but they had all the sacreds, like, right next to each other, which was pretty brutal, actually. Where can we go down here? Get a little action going. We gotta find a place to start producing an army. Alright guys. Oh my god, the pig is in the way. Cursed beast. Hmm. Yeah, big army going there. We have a couple spearmen coming who might be able to fend off some of those guys. Let's drop them here, see if they can help. And uh, yeah, they got cannon towers like all along the shore too. Having to fight real hard to get a beachhead here, guys. Alright, spearmen. Go, go, go. Start making spears. Oh god, they have so much here. Do this, and do that, and then we slap down you. Cancel this and this. Get that here. Spearman coming out. Yeah, we probably just need straight up. Oh my god. We probably just need siege workshops. God damn, they have even more. Are the other players putting pressure on it? It feels like they're able to allocate a lot. I don't think. I don't know how much the other side is. Nanny is making some progress here, but we're going to need a lot more than that. All right. Um, we might just need to go up top now and just set up a beachhead here, but that's so far away. All right, let's grab you guys. Come up and over and down this way. Yeah, like establishing on the water is really hard. I don't think it's in the books here. 
Uh, sacred sites are just off the table. Yeah, so we just have to hope the other side is doing well. Because they're super entrenched here. Um, do we have any? I mean, Nanny's making good progress for sure. There's cannons making their way. Yeah, they have top map trade. So we thought we were in good shape, but they blow us out of the water. Yeah, I see. See it? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, villagers, you guys coming? Let's grab you guys, do this. Let's go up here. Set up a dock. And to get that ship, and then uh, we're gonna try and land over here. Don't know how the other side's doing. We don't know. They could be scheming a wonder of their own, too. Yeah, I'm moving over to where Nanny went. Absolutely. Okay. Come on. Villagers are hustling from foreign lands. Okay. Outstanding. Head up river. They seem to have emplacements all over the all over the realm. All right, so let's get some barracks first and foremost. So you guys get on these. Power build those bad boys. We got Vils coming from the top. Can start setting up some archery ranges, siege workshops, whatever. Even to keep out here wouldn't be necessarily a terrible idea. Alrighty. So the army is coming. Yeah, nukes would be very useful here. If we had if we had uh, some nuclear uh, weaponry, that would be huge. We're really, really low in time though now. Yeah, I see it. There should be four players here though, attacking technically. Who the heck would be calling me right now? I do not know, that was weird. Okay, and these are some random orange villagers, which we need to take down because they're providing gold. But firstly, we need to get our own infrastructure set up. Let's get some of you guys. All right. Meteor spell would be nice also, yes. 100%. Set that up. You guys can run around here. All right, so let's go help our ally now. We can move down there with whatever we can. Send a couple of random spheres that way. Yeah, can't really do too much here. At the moment, maybe we snipe the artillery. Let's get fan out. Do that. And then we can start getting some rams. Horseman's fan will probably be pretty good. Okay, so the mangonels are down. We've made some minor progress, I guess. At least we maybe push back an army here. Establishing a position on this side was very tough, though. That was definitely the biggest obstacle. Oh, yes, come on. Build the buildings. Faster, peasants. Faster, my peons. Oh, we're just trying to shut down my keep here. See if we could, like, loop around here. Are the bottom guys attacking? All right, come on. Let's get this old keep going. We did. We got a hole in the wall. Correct. Okay, let's make some rams and do this. Head up here. You can go take that down, buddy. All right. This is going to be very tough. It is a Mongol wonder, but I assume there's walls around it. Uh-huh. You guys make some of these. Make some archer ranges too while we're at it. Get some really good infrastructure going. Go, my horsemen. Okay, decently sized army here we're going to be engaging with. What's going on up there? Looks like he's heading up a keep too. Four minutes on this is going to be very tough. Nice win from these guys, potentially. Yeah, they, that north to south trade they secured was really big. Really, really big. Super good stuff. Hey, it looks like we're butchering their armies, but the question is, is it going to be enough time to get down there? There's a little bit of gold on this side of the river, which is a nice little uh, Christmas gift. Okay, they're up on the walls cackling at us. Let's take these knights and ride through and see what the route looks like all the way to the uh, to the wonder. 
just gonna spam mostly horsemen from here. All right, down here we go. Let's take a ram down this way, see if we can get any lucky grabs. Holy shit, spring old city. That is a hell of a lot of spring olds. All right, let's go over the top and then down this way, see what we can find. And uh, is there any sense in making any siege outside of ramps? Probably trebuchet spam in the fourth quarter might not be bad, so we need to start planning for that. Okay, so this looks like it's walled off. Uh, we need to build here, push. Okay. We're in the bushes here, what have we found? Step read out, it's a landmark, that's funny. All right, let's snipe all the siege we possibly can. One and two to make the pushing a little bit easier. All right, looks like we got their siege. And then there's more siege. Go, my horsemen. Deliver the justice of Sigmar. Hell yeah, all right. That was a good pick. We, we took down, a, made a lot of ground there. All right, let's make some trebs now. It's going to take them about that long to get there, so we, we got to start on those. Okay, how's everything else looking? It's looking hog wild is what it's looking like. Uh, we're going to just start moving down there with the rams. Good scrappy game, man. Good scrappy game. We're trying to get to the wonder. It ain't easy. It ain't easy. All right, let's just have the rams kill all the uh, towers and shit. I wonder if the other side is close. These guys must be filthy rich after trading that whole game. Okay, let's have you guys dive in. Hopefully we can get a couple of these. Oh my god, they're still producing so much. All right, guys, gather up. The old rams, just clear out whatever you can at this point. Try and get any any value we can, uh, we can go for. Should have secured those sacred sites earlier. We were caught up a little bit too much in our war for the south. But yeah, it wasn't the case. It was not the way. All right, do we have anyone that's close by? All right, let's like creep by here, see if we can do like a run by. Keeps the infantry fighting here. Just need to get like eyes on the situation so we can see what that looks like. Obviously it appears to be walled. Okay, getting some eyes here. Doesn't look like the other side is, oh, they're actually being shot at by something. Okay, wow, it's actually really close, holy shit. If only our little river river engagement didn't go so horribly, maybe. Okay, we got traps now, so maybe we can make some ground with those. But it looks like our armies are losing, too. These guys were loaded as hell. All right, so let's fight, let's fight. Is there any sneaky sneaky I can do here? Like here, here. No, I don't think so. Danny Dragon's building a wonder. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Yeah, just the wonder flex with only 30 seconds to go. Yeah, it's, 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 we're not going to get it. All right, let's go down this little hallway here. We got 19 seconds left. I might be able to get like a shot on this thing. Yeah, I think it's over. Man, that cross map trade was so good. GG to those guys, man. GG, well played. GG, well played. Nice game. It was a good proper scrap. Damn, dude. Let's see what their trade looked like. They were probably getting like two, 300 gold to pop. <laughs> Cross map trade. Oh my god, nasty. Yeah, I know. I know. Well, we were kind of occupied on our side of the river, you know. It was it was a good attempt. It was a good attempt. Well, we weren't like super passive in the beginning. We did wipe out one player, but wow, look at this. Holy shit. These guys had a river uh choke point base in the corner. <laughs> That's pretty cool. And then these guys. But these guys had the dreaded cross-map Mongol trade for hours. Um, how far did these guys get? Let's see. Oh, man. Did they even get close? Oh, no. It doesn't look like it. They were just... Oh, actually, yeah. Okay. There was a little bit of pressure here, but I don't know how far that was. GG, well played. It was a great game. It was a great game. All right. So what we're going to do now is actually a smaller FFA. So we're going to mix it up tonight. We're going to do a team FFA, and now we're going to do a smaller one. I'll play in this one since it's small, and then I'll cast the last one as the game plan. So we're going to do a six-man FFA on um, on a standard map. So let's go here. Medium. 
Yes. So if you didn't play in the previous ones, now's your time to join up. You got in the Treb range, nice. You almost got there for us, huh? So let's do a, um, let's see, Warring Islands, Migration. Let's do like an old school classic island map. You know, old school baby, old school. A little bit of Malians, I don't play them often. That'll be fun. Man, HRE with one relic sucks too. Hey, well played. Classic, we will kill our neighbors and the boomer in the corner wins. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm, I'm interested in Whirlpool. We can do that for our last one too. Um, one sec, guys. I'm going to grab some water and then I'll be right back. gonna go wonder instead of sacred but accidentally moved to warrior monk on the last second oh that's funny that's funny all right let's fire it up man good luck have fun good luck have fun round two of uh, tonight's ffas yeah anyone's welcome to join j cole it's just uh you just got to be the first one in there yeah you know what we should have probably done nah, in in re like retrospects on our team is we should have probably just wondered and tried to you know hold because we probably could have cheesed at least one of the sacred sites away with your navy. But yeah, understandably, it's risky. We didn't have the same eco they had. They had like that cross map trade, which was super hot. So that was that was good. We're doing a six man FFM. Trying to like do some smaller games so we can get more people in. So Malians, Jordan on the French, Rex on HRE, KG on HRE, Psy on English, and OG on the Roost. <clears throat> it sounds good. Sounds good indeed. Yeah, the Dread Pirate is back, baby. We're gonna we're gonna have some fun on the the classic island maps. French player loading last here. What do Malians do really well at sea? I guess they have the um, yeah. I don't know. I'm trying to think what their boats do. I'll have to take a look and see. Sleep is overrated. Yeah, no, absolutely. I stay up way too late though. I barely hit 6k resources when you asked if I could wonder. So yeah, yeah. It, we might have been able to hold though, honestly, but the. The fact that all three sacred sites were right next to each other made that very hard for us because uh, they could just defend all those like super easily, right? Okay, so we have... Wow, this is a lucrative ass island here. I already see three gold nodes. War canoe spam? Yeah, basically. That's, that's the game plan. Okay. Let's go do that. Heading the wood a little bit faster. Got to get that pit mine going. That's right, the Vampire Coast is here. The Malians do have the war canoes, yeah. So pretty solid little spot. I'm pretty happy with it, honestly. We got this like nice little corner. We just got to hope that the dreaded French player doesn't have a similar corner. Okay, so the pit mine costs, what, 150? Probably want to get that going soon. Although maybe getting a dock going first is going to be slightly more important. Yeah, so let's head up to the water, get that, get that dock going. Explore our island, see what's going on. Mali with Cow Farms Corral are currently worth about 30 bills. Yeah. Yeah, I think that could be good. It's just a matter of, uh, you know, that versus fishing. Yeah, we got a corner rat position. I'm very happy with it. Alrighty, so we'll get you going in a second. Should have our dock. We'll set it up right in the dead center. I don't remember what this map looks like, actually. So we, we're going to have to explore and see. Yeah, we're on game two tonight. This is going to be my last one that I'm going to cast after this. Yep, yep. The cow meta is upon us. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Sounds like fun. Oh, dude, this like this for a wonder spot is such filth. <laughs> yeah, but the problem is sacred sites are pretty easy. Well, if, if you control the seas, you get the sacred sites. And naval trade is insane, so... I don't want to rely too much on land. So, yeah, I think we get the pit mine up first. We'll keep you here. 
Turn that down, all right. So they're they're doing their thing. We only need a little bit more because this will give us the passive gold we need to age up. So we don't necessarily have to mine it. Yeah, cows do not. That's true, that's true. All righty, perfect. So the mine is on the way. We're gonna do the cows. It's it's gonna happen. Yeah, the free supply is, is pretty massive, so. Looks like we've secured, or at least uh, scouted our entire island here. Six players, huh? It's a fun, interesting kind of change of pace. Okay, let's get the house up. Outstanding. Certainly a lot of wood, so we need to focus on the wood economy pretty hard. Toll outposts do work on ships. Yeah, yeah, if you have it like next to your dock and it's in range, it can tag your uh, trade ships and give you the tolls. Or if they like sail past an island. I remember seeing that in a couple of Malian FFAs, which was pretty fun. All right, that's probably fine for now. Let's focus on the boats. And yeah, we get the... Okay, that's what it's going to be. So currently, we're getting a fair amount of gold per minute. Life's good. Two sacred sites on this map. Pretty standard stuff. And uh, man, I haven't played Malians. Malians are, are really fun, Civ. Very unique. Definitely very unique. All right, let's get another one of those. Set up more houses here. For our tier two landmark, I think it has to be the Mansacori. Mansacori is very solid. Getting basically, you know, even if it's at a very slow rate, infinite stone is um, very, very good in FFA. As we all know. All right, so let's get a second dock up here. We can get someone in the house here in a second. Perfect. 12 on the wood. I'm gonna get the forestry upgrade. That's eh, all right. Well, it doubles the rate at which trees are chopped down. I guess that helps. I haven't like min max to like know if, you know what the idea is. Build a bunker. Yeah, no, this is gonna be the dreaded Malian bunker for sure. Um, we need to build this over here because it's gonna block our pit mine from being optimal. All right, guys, we're kicking into overdrive here at sea. Definitely going to want to wall off our little corners. Um, one relic on the island, so I know there's two HRE players, so I suspect there's going to be some relic thieves coming out. I suspect that could be the case. All right, second dock is coming. Sub-Saharan trade network could be okay, too, as like a defensive piece. Yeah, something to think about. I don't know if like optimizing or maxing out this pit mine right now is super necessary. Maybe it's good, maybe it's not. But regardless, the food's gonna start kicking into overdrive here in a minute. All right, down you go to wood. And I think three docks is gonna be plenty for now. It's, it's always been one of my weaknesses as a player is I like rarely, um, man, 96 gold a minute, so nice. When I play on water, I'd never build enough docks. Stone, unlimited stone. Oh yeah, absolutely. Well, some people, probably HRE, yep, HRE player. Reaching the next stage here. We'll build the Mansacori probably in the corner. It's not a bad spot for that. Um, we'll grab a couple of you guys, although we don't have the food yet. We're not super close. Mm -hmm. Outstanding, so that's gonna be three fishing boats popping out. Have you guys start heading down here to set up our Mansacori. And you want to usually have one relic on another island, too. What the hell is this? Is it load your transport ship? Oh, God, dude. Really? Is there going to be some early aggression here? The Bruce player is still in the potato age. So I'm not too worried about that. But, yeah. Looks like... Uh... Okay, let's take you guys down here. Head to the corner. And uh, I don't know if these boats are actually fishing. It looks like they're stuck. Okay, so I had some stuck fishing boats, which sucks. But it is what it is. We went really greed. But our navy could get swept pretty quick if we're not careful. Okay, we're very close to the age up. Very, very close, but we're gonna be one of the last ones because of the, the greed approach we've taken here. Come on, come on, Ugh. give it to me. Give it to me, precious. Oh my God, I hate when you're just like looking at the resources. Come on, please, for the love of the dark gods. Okay, cool, so now we're, we're back online here. Got more boats coming out. Um, preemptively, I think it wouldn't be a bad idea to get like we can finish this off. Yeah, finish those houses off to maximize that pit mine and then start gathering a little bit of stone so we can upgrade our docks to have the defensive turrets to make sure we don't get swept out of the water. I think that's a good idea. Mansacori is going to be coming soon too in, in the back. We'd be very vulnerable to some sort of a, a land invasion right now though. That's a little scary to me. 
Um, let's go ahead and do that. It's a little janky, but you know, it's okay. I think it's fine. All right, back to the wood you go. We got a nice fishing fleet here. We're gonna set that up. You're having Ethiopian chicken and uh, some sort of bread. Oh, that's cool. That's fun, man. I went to an Ethiopian restaurant in LA back when I lived there. It was, there was some there was some good stuff there for sure. I don't know, know what these guys are doing. They're getting a little crazy. All right, so other pit mines on the island. Probably this one is next. Oh, lovely. It's my favorite when they randomly chop a tree. It's obviously my fault, but. All right. So Castle should be pretty easy for us. Have you guys work on that. Keep a little bit of gold mining going. The dreaded Great Wall of the, the Malian Empire is on the way. It's just to make it a little harder. So at least if somebody invades me, I have like a second to react, you know, and I'm not just like, Anakin, I'm dead. I'm too weak. All right, let's get the extended fishing lines. That pit mine is coming together. We want to get the broad axe and uh, we can also get forestry from the second one. And then we're going to go for the cows. The full-on Dowie corner camp. Yes, that's our game plan. All right, so if anybody attacks us, at least we have that now. And we can build some more ships if we so choose. Okay, is there anywhere we would need to wall here? Yes. Uh, yes. And yes. I don't want any shenanigans. Like, nothing weird to just come and kill me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, our lumberjacking should be pretty fat now. All right, pit mine number two. Let's go get it. Uh, we need to, like, colonize an island. I've been very dowie this game. I'm, like, possessed by the spirit of the dwarves. Like, I just don't want to go to another island, but I really should get a transport ship and go and, like, try and bring some bills somewhere, you know? All right, let's get you guys up here. Okay, so we have the two things. So we could probably fend off early raids. Pit mine's coming. Villager's going to be heading to the new island where we will build our probably second TC there. Uh, Mansakori needs to be generating uh, stone for us. It's much more sparse resource. Okay. Malians have some really cool mechanics. Really, really fun sieve. Alright. Let's go, let's go check it out. We've been so greedy this game, man. We've been so greedy. Well, we're ready to age up. The question is, what landmarks? Yeah, Falani, Falani Corral here is probably just the way. That feels pretty darn good. So we'll do that, and then we just need a little bit more gold. And then we should get there in a second. Head over there. Hey, look at this. This is a nice little island here. Let's get a tower there to make sure, and then we can go scouting around. Sacred sites are always welcome. Hey, looks like there's a relic too. That's really nice. All right, Fulani's going to go here. We'll probably put Fortress of the Hunt on a different island. Um, would be my guess. We're going to be lumberjacking through here anyways. So I suppose, yeah. I want it to kind of have the space to breathe and flourish. This would probably be like a decent little spot here since we'll be lumberjacking everything away there. Okay, so we got red here. So this could be like the straight up the red player. So we'll get those cow farms going. Even though with fishing, yeah, it is free supply, so we can like, you know, have a much smaller population. Oh, you're actually straight up trapped here. Okay, I was wondering why you weren't responding. Okay, so this is red. This is OG. Let's continue looking around, just setting up towers. Make sure to secure the realm. Pit mine there is going. Cool. And hey, we're not the only ones here. All right, there's a TC there with a bunch of garrison dudes in it. Let's make this a stone tower. Let's keep setting up the trade posts here. Get a transport ship. Oh, this guy's really going to attack me? Wow, okay. Okay, so this looks like it's it actually is Red's empire here. Yeah, I think it is. Castle Age is being reached by everybody. Makes sense. All right. Yes, give me those cattle ranches. Okay. Get those to make the cows. And then we need to get the upgrades for our boats and get a little bit of navy action going. And start lumberjacking here in the mid. Also getting a TC up there would be uh, would be excellent. All right. All's good in the realm. We have another uh, friend on the island. 
Friend of the people. Get a couple of you guys here. Do this. Let's start making some cows. It's going to be gold intensive. It's going to be expensive for sure. Okay, so here's an HRE player. So we know where red is. We kind of have an idea where all of our, uh, our good pals are. Let's get you guys back on wood. We need to make sure to keep that wood economy sauced. All right, outstanding. We're on the middle island. Let's get a spring alt here and a spring alt here. Oh shit, red's invading. Okay, red is invading, getting real crazy. You guys see that? Get a mosque here and try and grab this relic, but we're gonna have two spring alt towers up here in a second, so should help us mitigate the night pressure coming in. Wow. Okay, so there is there is some uh, some aggression on the on the board here. That is for damn sure. Wow, keeps coming up in the middle from Jordan here. Okay, so we just need to like tech up here. Uh, get a marketplace too, so we can trade our copious amounts of food. Yeah, and what is this? This is a, a scholar coming for the relics. Take this in return. No, you're not getting away with that, dude. No way in hell. <laughs> he thought he was going to get all the goodies there, didn't he? All right. All right, so the cows are coming. Somebody is invading. Literally, like, almost feudal age invasion. We're going to sell a hell of a lot of food right now. Do this and this. And uh, we need to build the dock here, too, if possible. So we got the spring towers, that'll buy us a little bit of time. Now we need to get some barracks. Just in case we get invaded, you know, we don't want to be the potato who's got sitting on, sitting and uh, getting wrecked here. Alright. So we're going to make a great escape with this relic. Get a little bit of defensive infrastructure going. Alright, transport ship. Looking good, let's grab that. Come down here. People are just reaching Castle Age now. We got to do more scouting, though, for sure. Uh, so let's go ahead and just get a war canoe. Go hunting with those bad boys. We can get the arrow emplacement there. All right, so the cow, the, the cow legion is is, is, is is massing. Soon the world will know, the fear, know to fear the cow. All right, let's go drop this off here. We are building military infrastructure to make sure we don't get wrecked. In the case of an actual invasion, we probably want to slap down a keep, like right at our front border, too. Ay, 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 that did not go well. Alright, two relics ain't bad. You know, it's better than nothing. <laughs> Dirty, filthy relic. Hey there, what's going on? Why is there just a random fishing boat here? I don't like it. Alright, so let's go exploring the seven seas here. We have a warship? Yeah, we have our war canoe. There we go. Alright. So what we're going to do here is take you guys, we're going to go load up into the transport ship. And then we are going to, um, we're going to try and set up a fortress of the hunt on the island because having control of the middle island is pretty big. Let's do that and that. Okay, we almost have enough for a keep here. Let's do that. And then just in case it gets crazy, let's start a keep here. Make sure it's nice and safe. Secret and safe, precious. Fishing upgrades, and uh, let's get in the boat. Let's go build the Fortress of the Hunt. Yeah, we got we got the relics going, man. We're good. Ooh, I probably just spent a lot of gold that I would need for the um, for the age up here. All right, off to the island we go. Yeah, unfortunately, Teal is going to get a lot of resources here. Going to get a lot of goodies. The cows are cows are kicking into overdrive. All right, so where can we get this? We could probably delete this building. Let's get you guys, do this, and then age up uh, Fortress of the Hunt, like right here. It can also help with naval control. And let's slap the base on that. All right, cool. So that's going down. That's going to give us, you know, two points of which to make our, our little stands and whatnot. We need to get another ore pit. It's going to be hard. So we'll build that one and then lumberjack out from around it, and hopefully that'll do it. Oh, somebody's dead. Okay, so it's getting... Who, who actually fell there? Jordan is still cackling in the middle pretty hard, but now we have a, a good fleet here with which to work, so we can actually um, do some nice tricks. Let's get all the eco upgrades, the cattle ranches, keep them coming. 
three. You guys go here. Need to lumberjack around that pit mine there. Hmm. Didn't think you'd land so early. I know. Talk. That's a that's an early land. Some seriously early aggression. We're about to reach imp, but we don't have the eco to really sustain like anything too crazy. Okay, so Fortress of the Hunt is up. One and one. Let's go here and build this also. Do we have any room? God damn. This is like super crowded. Get a cannon in placement. All right, you guys, keep it up. Just keep lumberjacking here. The cattle are doing it, so we can uh, not worry too much. Transport ship needs to go scout around. You're probably next. Yeah, I feel prepared though. I mean, I have a keep on my island. I have a little bit of production, so it's not the worst. One, two, three. We need to be able to make some Muso Fatty Gunners if need be. You know, that's going to be the jam. All right, let's do this and then slap this over here. Oh, green's looking a little bit crunk too. Okay. Okay then. I see how it is. Um, we don't want to get swept at water. So let's max out our upgrades. A lot of this map comes down to like whoever's able to get the um, good like wood economy, you know? Let's just get focus on the upgrades for now. Mansa's giving us our stone. Um, let's go ahead and get a trebuchet. Keep you guys guarding this. I'm not grabbing the sacred site because I don't want to make enemies. I don't want like everybody to just play or hate on me, you know? Okay, so we're lumberjacking here. Unfortunately, no more optimal pit mines position, so we're just going to have to build houses like such. And just, you know, roll with it. Mm-hmm. And uh, let's cancel this. Do we have enough for the elite spears? Now we do. Let's make some more spearmen here. Go here, and then just start knocking down the keep. Keep these guys to defend. Hey, we're getting lumber, though. This is good. You know, we're on this island. We're here. We have a good landmark, which we could easily be overwhelmed, though. If the French player really commits, we could 100% we could be overwhelmed. All right, so let's get one more pasture here. Okay, guys. Trebuchet's doing its jams. The keep is getting poked. See if you could repair that. It would actually be pretty helpful for defending. We need to get the cannon upgrade, too. Let's just sell some of the copious amounts of food we have. Get the mounted swivel guns and... Um, okay, so now we are being... We've been discovered to an extent. Malian Spearmen are badass, too. Yeah, the Malians have some of the best music in the game. 100% agree. Okay. 1-1. One, one. Also, decent sustained uh, gold income, too. So you're repairing that? Doesn't look like it. Great. All right, so we could start doing the dreaded uh, stone wall of our empire. So let's start on this. Grab you. Get a villager. And now we can start working on real walls here. Need to make sure we have like good sustainable defenses. Okay, people just now reaching Imperial Age. Go, go, trebuchet. Let's get another one. Get the speed. How are we looking here? We're just kind of trundling about. And uh, let's get some more canoes. We get this, get all the different upgrades. So at least we have a little something something to work with. Yeah, it looks like he's starting to set up a siege workshop too. We should be able to sweep, if he's just spamming French knights though, we should be able to sweep him off the island um, here in a minute once this all starts going. We just need more room for infrastructure. Oh shit, okay. That's unfortunate, didn't see that. One, one. And we'll set up a TC over here if there's any room. It looks like this is straight up the Doom Island. This is like, this is where all the marbles are at. Okay, the Spearman here. We have a little bit of a navy. In case we get landed on. He's never finished, because that is unfortunate. All right. So now we kill a siege workshop real quick. Maybe if we can kill it before you get anything out, then that'd be pretty big. Knights might come in. This pit mine should be online soon. And do, are we maxed out on cows? Nope, we will be in a second. Let's do this. Looks like these guys are coming for a flank. 
Now we can go up and torch this down. Um, yeah, knights are look like they're looking to be up to no good. All right, Spears, we need to get some army tactics too. Get some good quality upgrades. Is that the Red Palace over there? No, it's just the TC, okay. So he's taking big villager casualties on the island. Maybe he's gonna go for this? For the Trebs? Good. Looks like he's got Red Palace over there in the shadows. Yeah, he does. So let's take this down. Spearman should be able to crush those guys if he's not paying attention. Ah, he's gonna get my traps. Well played. All right, so I think we did win the Battle of the Island, though, which is something to uh, something to talk about. Mansa Quarry's jamming over there. We need to find a way to get like some sweet trade or something, you know. Turn, I can give you a relic. <laughs> he knows what I like. Yeah, red has keeps on the middle. Good. They're not. They're not like focusing on me. That's what I like to see. Yes. Look at all these nodes, dude. Those sweet nodes, precious. All right. So let's get this. Set you up like so. Secure those gold nodes if we can. Looks like red has landed on the other side. Walls are being slowly built here. Now we can get rid of this haggard wall of doom. Let's leave that. And you guys come down here. Okay, he's trying to well low some shit. It's fine, not gonna be an issue. And you guys set up walls. Can we fit walls? Yes. Ah, red is here too, alright. So we need to get some of you guys going there. Make some Muso fatty gunners. Because he's mass archers, so it's basically just a hard counter against what we have. Let's see if we can get this up in time. Make a mango there to try and survive. Space is a bit of an issue on this map, too. Definitely is. Army tactics for our mass spear legion. Oh boy, I don't know if that keep's gonna get up. <laughs> He's like, you took middle, of course you're gonna get jumped. Yeah, I mean, that's 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 preaching the truth right there. And can we get some more pit mines around this house yet? Not yet. Okay. Come on. Finish it. Finish it, precious. Yeah, it's good that he kind of took the focal point of attention here. Our food economy is stable. I'm almost tempted to delete the fishing boats, but we'll uh, we'll take what we can. Let's get that. The rams are coming. We can we can hopefully fend off the ram legion. We'll see. I like how they throw spears at that. It's pretty funny. Go, my spearmen. Get ready to knock those archers down. All right, let's make some villagers here. Oh my god, there's so many. Let's go repair this, see if we can stabilize it. This is, uh, those are veteran archers. Okay, so they're not like super upgraded. Ardonso, oh, we need a blacksmith too. Yeah, something we should have done a long time ago. I'm gonna go here, and then um, is there any other resources on the island? It might be time to move them to the main island here. All right, so let's go finish clearing this off. The keep's been secured. Yeah, okay, we definitely don't win that fight. Some mass archers against just haggard spears. Yeah, we'll use these guys to lumberjack the last of this island, you know? We got what we came for. But now we need to be able to get some proper infrastructure here, so let's do this. Oh, I'm being raided by some sea pirate over here. <laughs> some old, some old scurvy dog. I do have my canoe fleet. We'll keep them like at on standby here. The big thing is just getting a lot of resources so we could just be the, the cackling lord in the end game here. Getting enough stones is going to be tough. Um, there is a trade post on the other side here. We should probably go see if anybody's trading here. So let's like hug the sides of the island and see what's going on. Four canoes going strong. Let's get upgrades. You gotta get the dreaded archer jab combo. Oh yeah, absolutely. Malians have a lot of cool stuff, man. They're awesome. Really, really fun sieve. Just like a random archer up there. Looks like he got cannonballed in the face. I'm not enemies really with Rexosaurus. If he's just trapped on his island, then I need to just basically deny other people trade. That's that's the whole thing. Get some trade ships. See if we can like take some uh, take some scurvy uh, scurvy roots here. Build another pit mine. 
Here comes Red's army. Let's sail over the top, see if we can punish him out. Unfortunately, these guys aren't ready yet. We have a nice mango shot, though. Yeah, you know what? Our, our troops are elite. We might actually still be able to win this, even considering. Yeah, looks like we might, might get it. It appears that Noah... Oh, actually, hold up. There is a little bit of love in there. Dude, look at our Chad Donso just chasing those archers off into the Shadow Realm. Okay, build as many of those as we can. And then we need to get upgrades for the horses to give them the biology. Our canoe fleet feels pretty good. But yeah, he's got to... Oh, he's not going to let us have that. That's for damn sure. Let's go, like, do a little bit of poke and harass. We're going to need way more Doxo to fight his navy. It looks like he's going pretty hard in the navy, so... The Malian canoe fleet. Go forth, my preciouses. Hammer his fishing. Okay. Whatever, you guys. Do we have any spots for this? Not quite. So our canoe fleet is going to have some struggles. Okay, seven. Getting into the goodies. He's having some trade. We need to shut that down ASAP. Okay, let's make a couple more transport ships. We can do like a little like landing operation too. Taking him, taking him to the corner here. Let's hunt these archers down. And then we can start setting up like random towers all over the island to try and make sure we maintain control of it. Yeah, from here, I don't think we'll have too many problems getting him down. But his, his fleet's definitely better than mine right now. But we'll, uh, we'll get a, a Dread Legion for sure. Okay. Sucks we can't quite optimize our pit mines, but it looks like that's everything. So we just have, we basically just own the middle island now. I was way too greedy for this lobby. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, you got, you let the greed overtake you, huh? Yeah, it'll happen. It'll happen. Don't stress it. It happens to the best of us. All right. So we got the middle. I mean, we have the two sacred sites here too, which is um, really, really powerful. We need to deal with OG. I think he's the, like the big threat to an extent. So we'll delete these guys, free up some supply. Free up the rams. I know they're only one pop, but it is what it is. A little bit hard in the paint on the eco now. So we have our navy. It ain't bad. I think we could use a couple less fishing ships. Alright. We need to open up this pit mine right here if possible. Clearing off the old island, guys. Yeah, I gotta do a Warcraft 3 stream soon. I definitely do. Now, we need to make sure he's not trading happily. That's that's like a big thing. I, I'm pretty sure there was a neutral dock. Yeah, these ones. We need to go kill those to make sure he's not trading. All right, you guys go hug this. We'll hopefully hit his uh, ships here in the meantime. We kill these neutral docks. Ooh, he's got a big fleet here, though. All right, so we're just going to unfortunately clash with them right now. Oh, the battle's actually not going badly. Seems to be okay. I could do a little bit of microing, but, you know, I'm feeling lazy, so we're just going to chill. Um, yeah, so we should probably... Oh, that's not good. Let's focus fire. Uh, yeah, so at least we have that micro going for us. Okay, lumberjacks for the dark gods. Let's go down here. Wow, that's actually a decent fight for us. We're going to get the toll post set up. You see, he's saying that I own the middle. I'm going to say that he does. That's that's my big politics, guys. We'll see. Let's see who people believe. <laughs> he's like, lies. Lies. All right. Still going strong. Cincinnati, man. Hope you're doing well, dude. You've been around, You've been around forever, dude. Good to see you play. Uh... Warhammer is great. Yeah, I've been having fun with Warhammer. We just had our biggest uh, biggest tournament this last weekend. So we're going to like do a little secret agent action. A little Malian uh, subterfuge here. And we're going to get that going. We got that. Fortress of the Hunt is chilling. 
Oh my god, look how many villagers we have on wood. Hey, this is one way to get that, that wood going. Alright, cool. So a lot of boats. Food is taken care of because of the dreaded cattle. Uh, Tithe barns might be worth it. All things considered. Yeah, we could do a landing force. Like a sofa landing. You guys want to deliver a sofa to my neighbor? Sounds fun, right? I'm going to do a little bit of that. And cool. So we need to shut down those docks. It's basically giving them no green. We're homies. Don't mind me, Rexosaurus. I'm just passing through. Just passing through. Okay, so coming over the top here. Looks like a lot of people are trading with these old docks, huh? Alright, so we need to take out those neutral docks. Because I can't access them easily, so I need to make sure other people can't either. Okay. Creep this way. And then we can take our little haggard fleet here and send them up to do some raiding. A little dual-pronged attack, as they say. Uh, do I want to set up a keep there? I think I want to save the keep for now. Alright, so we're going to torch those down. And you guys are back. Wood is being cleared out, which means we can actually optimize this pit mine to an extent. Okay, he hasn't like bit bitten the bait for the distraction yet, so we're just going to pull you guys back. Yeah, so we just like straight up get this. Nice. Nice, nice. Looks like there's still ships going there. He's going to chase us to kingdom come. And honestly, I, I kind of want to get rid of my fishing navy anyways. So let's go hammer into his fleet here, see what we can do. He's chasing us pretty deep into the realm. Okay, now we can chase here. Let's get back there. Leave a couple bills to nuke those down. Yeah, take those guys down. Nice. Jordan has been eliminated. For too long as he gazed into the Arkansas. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty fun. The greed. The relics. Hunt these roost fishing boats. These ones uh take this down. He's he's really just like spreading out over these islands here. Look at this dark wizard here, dude. Okay. Looking good. Our eco is just massive right now. You know, the, making people pay the wood tax is good. We can just like kill these random buildings. Alright, heading to the corner here. We, we have 116 villagers on wood. <laughs> Dear God. Alright, let's delete you guys and cancel all this, by the way. Okay, and then we, we can lower that those numbers. Okay. Let's take the navy up. Have it start hammering the coast a little bit. <laughs> Building a keep on the coast, eh? Getting real spicy. Yeah, having all these middle nodes is rad, though. That's, that's really good for us. Unfortunately, I built the pit mine in, like, a pretty awful spot here, but it is what it is. Um, let's go get a keep up there. So secure that, if possible, or help with that. Okay. We're going to just kind of chill out a little bit. Still 103 on wood. No biggie. You guys probably need to get on gold. I've been a little bit lax with the gold situation here. Don't know what the other two players are doing. I assume they don't have enough resources. Alright, so let's go down here clean this off. Oh, look at this. There's some rams here. Uh, it's actually kind of funny that I was like already building stuff here. You know? Like I already have a standing force that's just like ready to meet him. <laughs> And now we're just going to sandwich them here with our boats. Let's get the hunting canoe to start shooting all these down. Alright, let's get you guys back. We see the scary fleet. We got them trapped on the old shoreline here. So let's do this. Yeah, we got those guys coming out. And uh, I don't know if he's going to get in. He might kill a dock or two, I guess. Overall, that was a it was a good little exchange for us. Okay, make some view guys. We've dealt with this. 
Just gotta force like a war of attrition, you know? Medieval D-Day, yeah. Yeah, we caught, we caught him landing. We caught him trying to get crunk on us here. This dreaded, this dreaded fishing boat here is doing work. I don't think he's noticed that. Oh, he's going for the Fortress of the Hunt. Holy shit. Might be able to get it. It's not like the strongest landmark in the world, but we certainly see a lot of damage going. Mm -hmm. Pull these boats here. Looks fine. Is he going to get the Fortress of the Hunt? Yeah, he is. He's got a big-ass navy. God damn. So the thing is we just repair afterwards, right? And then we're chilling. This guy's been doing work, man. Just gotta gotta stay as the tyrant of the middle, you know. Have the tools to rebuild if in, if need be. Okay, twenty nine thousand wood should last us a long time. <laughs> I think it's an understatement. Hope you win this one. Oh, we have we have decent chances, you know. We have decent chances. It ain't gonna be easy. We got great opponents here, so. They're just like some annoying ass ram over here. Look at this dude. Oh, the troll. The troll ram. Okay, we don't want archers, that's for damn sure. Okay. Here they come. The horsemen can even get through there. Is that even an opening? No, it's not. Oh, the wall there was totally pointless. It's really funny. Okay, Sophos, get the movement speed aura. Um, we could grab, I, yeah, grabbing the sacreds on the middle is gonna just like make everyone on edge. Don't know if I wanna do that yet. You know, there will come a time for that. Once a couple more people have fallen. The legendary Giga Chad Ram, I know he's a terror dude. You better watch out. Let's do a little bit of a mini landing right here. It's not gonna do a ton of damage, but I think we can put some pressure on him. Take that down. All right, let's keep hugging the coast. I'm pretty sure that's his main base. Have you guys hugged the coast there? Holy shit, he is he is truly the Corsair Lord. Like to fend off his fleet, we're gonna we would need so much. Probably would need to stop making these units in general. Oh, is this a dead base? Hmm, interesting. Okay, so we see the Dread Navy. We're obviously going to lose some emplacements here. I'll send a couple of you guys to keep hunting around. Holy shit, that is a Dread Fleet. I'm going to get swept out of the water right now, ladies and gentlemen. We need to force the fight up here if possible. Oh, he actually has like a decent little army here. Okay, so there's that's going to fail then. Okay, let's see how this goes. We'll take down as many ships as we can. Got to lure him up to the Fortress of the Hunt. That thing will help a lot. Big attrition. Big attrition coming around for sure. Uh, all right, so what we need to do is probably get a, uh, a bigger Navy production force. Four. And then uh, we can do this, this, and this. All right, we'll see if we can see, to get a little sneaky, sneaky going. Yeah, we don't care about the fish. He's freeing up supply for us. If anything, it's kind of helpful. Okay, we got one dock left. His navy's pretty tattered, so let's go do a counter raid. Oh, we actually are counter raiding him. That's good. And he doesn't have the OP. Uh, oh, he's going to get a pit mine. I guess we just rebuild one in the center, so. Ain't no sweat. Do that. Okay, he's going after walls now. And we got you guys. Let's do that. Go, my little rat boats. Troll. Give them, give them the punishment. Okay, Fortress of the Hunt still stands. We have that win con there. Random attack ships. Let's come back this way. Is he gonna sail past the Fortress of the Hunt again? I wonder. I almost wanna make some spring alts just to like, kinda poke the coastal engagements. Okay. So we'll make our warships here. We get bombarded on the coast, but we do still have the fat gold nodes, which is outstanding. We have our cattle ranch, so I think that should give us enough food to sustain basic warfare. God damn, that is a big fleet. It's a really, really big fleet. Okay, 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. He's he's getting gold from somewhere. He must be just going off the residuals from his uh, from his little island there. Okay, and then go here. Okay, I think we're fully upgraded. Just need rally and siege engineering. Everything's looking pretty good here on the island. We have a couple springs, which uh, hopefully can just poke nearby ships as they sail by. We got the pit mine. I think we got the new one here on the island. It's I just speed did that. I was ugly as hell. Could we? Do we have to worry about an invasion? Um, don't know. I think we're okay. Wonders feel very um, far off on this map. It feels like it's going to be incredibly hard. Yeah, we're just we're just strangle holding them out. Yeah, we're just. I don't know what the other the other two players must be fighting. That that's got to, that's my only guess. Uh huh. Do that. Okay. So it looks like there is a little bit. Oh, I accidentally lumberjack through. That's unfortunate. Okay. Make some spears. Pull you guys up here. Spears and sofa. And then we do a push here. We definitely go try and punish. Okay, he's killing some cows. It's pretty annoying. Okay, let's do that. We can always rebuild bills on the island too, so it's not like the end of the world. Looks like he's trying to set up a little beachhead here. We'll see if he can fight on two fronts. Or how well his navy can hold up. Okay. One, two, three. Muso fatty. So now we attack in. Get you guys down here. See what kind of work we can do against his navy while we defend in our base. What is our eco looking like? 109? Okay, so he's still got a big navy, which means his ground force isn't probably that good. Let's come down here, see if we can do this. And um, now we just grab what maybe military we have on land. And uh, we can slap this keep up here. Yeah, gotta punish the wood eco. He's got he's got a lot of wood still. Okay, is the keep finished? How many villagers did he bring? Let's see. Oh, it's a pretty small little army. Oh, I was expecting like a huge invasion force. We might lose this little skirmish, but at the end of the day, he's gonna take a beating as well. Yeah, most of his stuff is tied to his uh, his navy here. Gotta kill like all the wood intensive units. All right, no problem. Okay, that was uh, that was a bit of a false alarm, but having a keep here isn't a bad idea anyways. He's all tied up in that navy. Okay, pit mines are online for now. Looks like we've pushed him off the island, but at a, at a great cost. We had to spend a bit on the ground. Those roost ships are pretty solid, though. Yeah, we gotta gotta wall that shit off. Is he just gonna like do a coastal bombard? That's pretty funny. Okay, so let's actually have them meet right here. We could always helm deep on the middle. He's doing a saying hello. God damn, he's got a good critical mass of units, dude. It's just scary. We need to get the springs here to support. Yeah, a little spring all Daka will be nice. Help pick off some of the warships. All right, let's see if we can re repair that. Holy shit. Oh my god. Get back, get back. Uh, repair, repair. God damn. That's a big ass navy, dude. Look at this shit. You need to keep these little spring alds alive, dude. They're like the only thing that's helping us like stabilize here. Let's cut off his reinforcements. I mean, he is hemorrhaging, not hemorrhaging, but he is losing ships. It's not like it's just completely one-sided. They're, they're dying to the attrition. All right, let's shoot here. Okay. Okay, 
Yeah, I mean, a lot of ships are just moving into the old meat grinder. I'll take it. The Springalds are the heroes that Gotham needs. They're, let's keep this cannon back here. <laughs> Goddamn, Joe Rogan. Yeah, that's always funny. All right, let's pull back up here. Wow, the Fortress of the Hunt repaired already, dude. Jesus. I wonder if he's trading, you know? Let's, like, scurry up here and see what we can do. Gather up. Okay, ships are going down over the coast. He, I feel like he must have, like, not much else. Build get, a navy. Holy shit. Can I cancel these navies? I feel like it's just pointless. I can't get enough of a critical mass. Maybe some culves on the coast would be good. Like, a sacred in the middle is okay, but the fortress of the hunt positioning was actually kind of poor. Um, it's, it's tricky there. Um, do you want to get a call? Yeah, let's get a call. That'll help out. Food is still going. Um, although he did take down some of my cattle ranches. That's right. Fiend. Alright, so that should be more or less secure now. Let's get this and get a little tower there so we can see those landings coming. I guess we just keep trying to, mat, like, build up a force. You know? It ain't easy, man. It ain't easy. It's the Lord of the Seven Seas, dude. We're facing the dreaded Blackbeard over here. <laughs> you know? The pirate, the Corsair Lord. I always feel like Malian navies were pretty decent, too. Hey. I wonder, it would be really funny if one of the people were not fighting just straight up goes wonder, dude. That would be hilarious. Green is just chilling over there. I have no idea what, what Green is, is doing. He is just the, the pirate master himself, I guess, too. Uh, Rams, yeah, we should probably get the Ram tech. Our gold's good. I mean, we still have a lot of fat nodes here on this island. I'm trying to get all the wood. I need to bleed the wood from the roost, although I think they're just farming on this other island here. With relative efficiency. Alright. Throw that down. We have our, our navy of sorts now. It's not amazing, but I mean, is it going to be enough to like put up a fight against his? Let's go like, uh, let's go explore and see if he's got like any presence here. Yeah, see, he's getting lumber from the island. If we could somehow shut that down, that'd be huge. Okay, I mean, that's a start. That's a start, ain't it? Probably gonna come around the bend and attack us here. We do have a cannon tower on the peripheral. I love these little Haggard invasions. They're, they're probably my favorite thing so far. Does he have any villagers in there? No, he doesn't, okay. So he's just not gonna be able to even get in and do anything. Yeah, he's just gonna hang out and just, you know, look cool in the bushes. Okay. Do this. Get a couple of you guys to set up there. See if we can just nail down this keep before he's able to react. That'd be really cool. I love his little expedition force. Great. That's nice. We took down a keep. Let's go take down his force on the coast. And uh, we got 16 villagers now. Let's go and delete you guys. All right, here we go. We're just gonna focus fire as many ships as we can. Obviously, we're gonna lose this fight, but every little bit of hemorrhaging we can do is good. Okay, not bad. I actually got some solid damage there. It was like the first like respectable dent we put in his army. Okay, let's get a gatehouse here. All right, so you guys go here and we'll take some of you guys, load up and up. Ay, 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 nasty, nasty. Oh, he's got his keep coming. Okay. Here, here he comes. Getting real crazy here. Let's go shut off the gravy train here if possible. 
Okay, you guys, is there any gold left in the base? I believe there is. Just being mined the old-fashioned way. Let's go see if we can find where he's hiding his goodies. Get these villagers past the keep. Oh, he's got his whole navy down there too. That's really funny. All right, let's see this. Head down here. See what we can find. The TC. Oh, he's, this is where he's hiding Chad's guy. Okay. Okay, so we need to get an army over here stat. And then we can get some of you and some of you. Let's run up into the trees here, see what we can find. We got the keep at the ready. He's got a couple rams. Villagers are not in the keep, so let's take as many as we possibly can here. Nice. Let's do this. Okay, he just lost a lot of wood eco here. He's panic building another keep. Let's get back. All right, gather up on the rear here. Yeah, okay, we just like did a bunch of damage, which was nice. Let's deny that stone. All right, outstanding. Okay, let's gather up the troopers, head down. See if you can punish a little bit. Um, we got the two bombards, so let's have them knock that down. Take the rest of the main army and engage against the front. Alright, here we go. Should be able to repel this. It looks like there's a little haggard boat action on the other side as well. Oh, Psy building a wonder. Oh boy, look at that. Okay, you know what's fun about this though is we actually have counterplay. So, we can do this. Uh, get you going. Grab this sacred site. Sure. But I gotta get you off my island first. Okay, let's go up here. Take this down, this down. And then you need to go for this one here. If we have another um, scholar dude nearby. Okay, the other guy can go there. Okay, we want to like surprise with it. Let's take all of you guys, do this. Push them off. Keep these old rams, rams standing around. All right, so what can we do here? We need to get a lot of uh, military infrastructure. Have you guys set up here. Let's move in together. Need Red's docks to get out of here. Probably get a little bit of deep sea fishing going. All right. Rams got kind of close. Doing a little bit of damage. Oh, did I screw that up? I screwed up the timing. They're going to be privy to my tricks now. All right, so we got you guys on the island. Archery ranges. Set up some of this as well. Um, Fortress of the Hunt plus another one would probably be good on the south side. And then I can focus most of my efforts up on the north. Okay. He's like, he's talking about the beachheads and I'm just like rubbing my hands together here like, yes, evil. Evil. Okay. Do that. And then we can get some of these. We've almost cleared them off. Hmm, yeah. We just got to get you guys back on wood, I guess. Oh. <laughs> He's shutting that shit down super hard. Oh my god. Alright, let's head up to the coast. Look, he's shutting it down, dude. Okay, so do I have any more like relic dudes over here? Oh man, I, I, did, I wasn't sure if he would come there, but that was, uh, that was the case. Uh, we need to force delete. Man, I'm like trapped on here too. It's so close. It's so close to the area. 
We can start poking with our artillery core. Here we're slightly vulnerable, but it's all good. Um, any more wood here on this island? I believe there is. Okay, culves and bombards are coming. Where's the where are the fire trucks? We got three of them here. So we need to just like force this sacred site. You know what I'm saying? Just just grab it. And keep these guys like on top so it's harder for him to target. Okay. So I got like three dudes on there. He's gonna have a hard time targeting that shit. Unfortunately, we didn't quite get this down, so let's do this. Make some rams over there. Okay, so we got those. We need some barracks. Oh, looks like we got it. Okay. The cowardly French muscle loses. <laughs> All right. So we got our clutches on that. Let's delete you guys. Go kind of all in here. We can keep a couple uh, of you guys down here. The, the dishonorable French. Okay. Okay, we got the culves at the ready, General. Gold is sparse, but we do have some fat nodes here, so let's hit that hard. With these guys. Yes, good. And uh, now we're getting the siege equipment all set up. This is going to be like, this is going to be a very difficult hold, actually. Let's sell some wood. Not something you normally hear on island maps, but today it's it's what it's going to be. Okay, so let's have the rams go in there. Is there like something blocking? Can those rams not fit? Isn't that weird? Hmm. Got the Muso Fatty here. Ooh. Villagers need to do it. Oh boy. This is going to be a, a tricksy hold, to say the least. Delete wonder, please. Oh, they're getting the wonder. He's getting the wonder delete before he helps them. I like that. That's, that's cunning. Clever, clever tricks. You should, you should have made Turin uh, not take it. Well, I could probably fend off his fleet now with all my range I have on the coastline, so. Eco is still huge. Let's delete you guys. Turn in. Okay, let's set up some of those. In the bottom, we do have adequate troopers. I mean, the whole island's basically filled, filled with infrastructure. Let's set up some more. We're going to take this down. Do we have any like troops that can get over there? Yeah, we do. Nice. Go take those bills down. All right. Rams are doing it. Um, we got the double keep here. They're all just laughing at one another instead of helping, which is good. We haven't been attacked yet. And it's already been several minutes. This is... If they, if they coordinate their efforts, this will um, not be an easy hold at all. Like, at all. It would be very tough, actually. We'll see if they do, is the question. Okay. Set up the walls there. No attacks yet. Uh, we're going to delete all of our lumber villagers here in a minute and just go all in. I just want to grab as much as I possibly can. Wow, they're really pushing the delete the wonder button. They're like not, not helping unless it gets deleted. Okay, let's walk the front. <laughs> the salt is real. <laughs> Could be. Could be a little salty. Mm hmm Okay. Culves can chill here. You guys stay on lumber. We have decent little armies on both sides. Um, this breach needs to be sealed the stat, whatever the hell this is. Still not going for it, dude. Yeah, I mean I'm dude, this is they're giving me a ton of time to work with, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say anything. I'm just like happy here. This old man will take a take a victory where he can get one. 
All right. Yep, let's mine there. Hitting this gold hard. The old pit mines are going. Basically just spending what resources I have to get some stone to upgrade these. Okay. So no wonder getting deleted. Sai is holding on to that bad boy like a dog with a bone in his mouth over there. OG, yeah, they, I mean, the, if they work together, they can definitely stop me, but I don't, well, it wouldn't be easy, but I think they can. I mean, there's three of them, yeah. Three with me being split on two sides of the island, if they really coordinate, it would be a hard hold. Doable, but hard. Hmm, we still have some bills over here. Need to come finish all this infrastructure. Set up some more towers there, just so I have vision of when they land. Um, I pretty much have complete vision here. Been really, really tough to contest the Navy. Five minutes left. Hell yeah, dude, give me all that lumber. And then we basically lumberjacked almost our entire island here. Red neutralized sacred. Rex is asking him to do it. But like, do any of them have ground-based armies is the question. This one is definitely like a little bit more positionally possible. But it's, um, it's also like, you know, there's... Let's get some more canoes here. And we can get a couple war canoes over here as well, just to see if anything's coming from that direction. As a matter of fact, they could just like hang out down here. We have like a respectable little army of spring alts down there as well. Yeah, Monday night FFA, dude. But these guys are just not working together. I mean, maybe they're they're scheming some sort of a big build. Understandably, purple has put them in a weird position where it's like, um, yeah, what benefit? Okay, looks like there is a little bit of military moving here. Okay, we have good production here. We can spam armies out very, very quick. We have culverins and springs to snipe warships. Building a keep here is gonna to be tough. Gonna to be incredibly tough. I almost wanna throw a keep up there. Like a greed keep. I don't know, yeah, let's get the upgrades. Zero, I cannot, yeah, I'm gonna cut. When the fighting starts, I'm gonna start cutting. I'm just trying to get as much as I possibly can here. I guess I don't need any more wood. We're good. Okay. Let's do this. Get some warships down here to prevent that one from being capped. We can keep the main standing army here. Let's get some mangoes. Uh, if you can't take it now, you, you wouldn't, so you couldn't stop turning it. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if he... Oh, look at the Chad Green, dude. Hell yeah, let's go, baby. Oh, there's like 10 men at arms in that boat. Oh man, there's 10 men at arms in that boat, dude. Oh, okay, here comes the real army. I was gonna say, holy shit. Okay, so let's just start nuking all these down. Okay. Dude, look how quick the Navy folds up to the culver and fire though. Goddamn. Chad Green. While the others squabble, at least Green tries to help. <laughs> okay, looks like the boats are down. Green tried. Uh, I, 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 this was that. This wouldn't go well for anybody down here. Man, the fact that those like buffalo are just giving us um, resources is so nice. Well, purple situation is yeah, it's a weird one. They they the wonder should be deleted probably, but no, I'm again I'm not going to complain. Because the thing is, purple has a chance of winning if they delete the wonder. If they don't delete the wonder and the players don't help them, it's basically GG for them, right? One down. Okay, looking around here, everything's upgraded. Yeah, got bless Green's heart, dude. You know. We have we have the salt the salt discussion going on here. The salt mines are flowing through. Like the salmon of Capistrano. Malian still maintaining good food income with the uh, cattle is cool. I think I'm maxed out on that. Yeah, no one's trying. GG well played indeed. I mean I I don't know if purple's even trying anything. Yeah, looks like uh, looks like we're just chilling here, guys. The salt, the salt has won me won me the day. Granted, I don't think they could stop me either way. I think my army's too big. Most of them are over invested in navy, and landing would be very difficult against my big army. So I think I have this one in the bag regardless. 
But um, yeah, obviously, you know, they could have made more of an effort. Uh, two minutes left. One minute till Sacred Victory. Yeah, now it's at one minute. Yeah, I think we're I think we're safe. Green Green is the true Chad, you know, coming in and uh, gathering his his mighty HRE troopers into the gun line. Yeah. Hey, is somebody landing? Oh hell yeah, dude! Look at Green go like a champion. See, imagine if they had just worked together like this earlier. How oh, this could have been. Like honestly, they they got they were kind of close to stopping this. If they had all landed at the same time, the navy's getting obliterated though. Their navy by the um, by the goodies over here. Yeah, I mean, see, look at this. See when they work together. That's all it takes. Oh no. Oh no, I don't have enough to stop them both. The navy's just obliterating my ground force. Oh no, now Wonder Man wins. <laughs> oh no. I was wrong about everything. I was wrong about everything. Uh, Green is coming from the side too, man. He's, he's getting crazy. Oh god, shoot. Shoot the boats. Look at that. I wonder if the whole salt was like, uh, was... Oh, Rex, pull off and I'll do it. <laughs> I'd say take your take your wonder victory now, dude. Wait, what? What is he doing? He didn't delete, so I didn't delete. Oh man, he took the salt to another level. Holy shit, dude. Oh my god, I got too relaxed there. I was like cruising. Whatever, I'll take it. That was a weird ass game, dude. I was, to be fair, I was very happy to see them working together. You know. We might have been able to hold. We had cannon towers nuking his ground force. It would have been a tight hold. It would have been a very tight hold, but um, yeah. <laughs> all right. Yeah, like green with the nice landing. It was almost like the all the students were working together for a minute. You know, I'll take it. That was so haggard. Jesus. I can't believe that. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to have game number three tonight, baby. It's, it's fitting that this, we had that on an island map. There's plenty of salt water. Um, all right. So now we are going to go and we are going to... Um, somebody who wasn't in the previous game can DM me. And we're going to host a, a Thunderdome. Yeah. That was pretty funny. Dude, I thought I would be able to... His fleet was so big. It was so big. It was massive. Now that we accept the Thunder Quest, who's this? Hey, look who it is, Allied. All right, Allied, you're the host. You host eight player uh, large map Thunderdome, baby. Let's go. Hey, we got a host. Old Wookie. Allied was like waiting, dude. He was he was waiting in the wings. He's always very quick at that. Um, but Allied's pretty reliable there, so we'll we'll go with him since he messaged me first. I'll take the dub, dude. I'll take it. I don't I don't even care, man. I'll I'll take the scraps. Yeah, I was like, how could we have defended that better? I guess just mass siege, like mass siege with like inland cannons. We we might have held it even without the delete because red only had a couple horsemen left and we were sniping them. So maybe we get that. But green was pretty close too. I, they might have been able to stop me, man. <laughs> hey, Kobe, you forgot your memory. It's been the member for nine months, dude. That navy was nasty. It was real nasty. Uh, Smeagol hasn't played yet. Uh... Let's do Dome. We're gonna do Thunder Dome because it'll be a little quicker. Like, yeah, I think that's that's gonna be the game plan. I like, I like. We just did water, so I want to kind of switch back to land. The thumbnail makes a lot of sense after the game. I know it was me, dude. That face is me. Hey, Kobe, man, life's good. Life's real good, dude. Just uh, you know, slowly painting my Warriors of Chaos army and tabletop, scheming the old tabletop channel. Pretty excited about that. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Yeah, I don't know how Red had so much money. He was rich as hell. OG was a Chad financially. He was like, I thought I would starve him eventually, but I guess he had two islands worth of wood. So he was really cackling there. Uh, let me see what you asked. All right. Let's see here. Let me read your message, Kidek. Uh, all right. How about a video from time to time using old replays from Warhammer 1 and 2? 
I, I could do that for you, bud. I could do like a Warhammer 1 throwback like video. Yeah, I'll do that for you sometime in the next few weeks. I don't know when, but that's a very easy ask. And man, oh man, was balance different in Warhammer 1. Holy shit. Fate of Unit costing 11 wins of magic? Nuts. Absolutely nuts. Dude, OG, OG and Psy were having the blood feud there. The political blood feud, yeah. It's fun. I'll take it, man. You know, the wins don't come as often to this old man anymore. There was a time when this game first came out. I was winning a lot of these FFAs, but then they all surpassed me in skill. <laughs> or a lot of them did. So now I'm like, I'll take the scraps, dude. I'm like Danny DeVito digging through the trash, like, give it to me. <laughs> all right, let's fire it up. Hey, don't worry, old Wookiee. Um, you know, if this game goes quick, uh, I will. I could potentially do one more. And we can have you, if, there, if we do end up doing one more, old Wookiee, We'll, uh, we'll do it. You know what I kind of want to do? I want to have a stream that's like about beefs in our Discord. So players who like smack talk each other in our Discord, playfully of course, that are like rivals. We could have like a series of games where they play like 1v1s and, and you know, create a, create a little story there. That'd be fun. Oh, you got to go to bed, Wookie. No worries. You were actually excited to defend for once. Yeah, the, on that map, the middle is really strong. You get like tons of gold and the sacreds are pretty uh, pretty capable there. All right, guys, here we go, baby. Let's get it. It's Thunderdome. On the north side of the map, it is Professor Finbar on the Malians. To the west, it's going to be the Dreaded Lamb on the Roos. To the south, Screaming Echoes, our English player going for early English farm bill. I do dig that. This farm is going to haunt me, though. The fact that it's not like aligned is just pure torture. But to the south side, it's going to be Jirai on the Chinese. To the east, it's going to be Hills on the Ottomans. I'm going to be getting the fat, fat military schools out very early, it looks like. And to the east, we have Smeagol. You know why Smeagol's HRE? Because HRE is just super OP. St. Blackwater, how do people, um, how do people obtain... This obtain to be like a salt match. Yeah, you know, on our Age of Empires Discord, we have a lot of like playful rivalries. So we could have like 1v1 duels between them, which would be really, really funny. So yeah, man. Yeah, man. It's good. Uh, so we got HRE up to the north. We got Sammy. Sammy's on the English. And then it's going to be Allied Trex on the Delhi Sultanate. They need to gang up on Smeagol. Smeagol is going to go fast castle. He's going to take advantage of the fact that he has two relics within his TC's range to just get a million gold, and he's going to steamroll people with men-at-arms. So that's basically what's going to go down here. It's going to be ugly, it's going to be sweaty, and uh, I would put my marbles on Smeagol unless he gets teamed up on, or if there's maybe another... Because HRE on this map is so juiced. The fact that relics are so close by is just absolutely nuts. Chris versus the whole community. You know, I I, I would wager Smeagol's pretty good at 1v1. I, I don't know. I would say he's at the very, like, high diamond, at the very least. He could be, like, a low, like, low conqueror player. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I'll 1v1 Chris, that rat. <laughs> yeah. well, if this game goes quick enough, we could have a, a grudge match between Allied Trex and uh, and uh, Smeagol after this, depending on how this goes. It could be a lot of fun. I do love it, though. That's a, that's a great time. So all is calm, early stages of the game. Players scouting out the edge of the map. This is smart by Screaming Echoes to get an idea of uh, where the goodies might be. Potential wonder spots on the back of the map. You know how it is. I'll call out Saron on my first cage match. Dude, we'll do cage matches. We'll arrange it one day. I don't know when, but um, I'm going to do standard 1v1 tournaments for this game again as well. So if anybody's interested in seeing that. Hey, uh, thank you for becoming a member, Mr. 94. Thank you. Greatly appreciate it. Welcome to the Dukes of Haggard, my friend. Hope you're doing well. OG, thank you for the fiber, man. Thank you for the fiber. Your fleet was terrifying that game. I thought you guys were going to crush me in the middle. I was very happy that you guys were fighting each other. I was like, oh, yes. Old man's finally going to get one. <laughs> Hell yeah, baby. Let's go. But nonetheless... All is calm on the northern front here. Malian's going for a standard pit mine structure. Allied Trek's going to be aging up here in a second. We'll find out what he's going to be aging up for. And uh, how quick is the HRE going to be going? Are they turbo speed? Oh, that's a lot of sheep, ladies and gentlemen. Where's the Aachen? Oh, this is a great Aachen spot right here. Granted, Minework Palace is really good for longer games with HRE. You can do a lot with that. Uh, it gives you a permanent buff to your spearmen and to your knights. But I think you got to go Aachen on this map just to take advantage of the fast castle and just punish people super hard. But... Here we do have an Aachen, which is going to be hitting the sheep, uh, a large veiny gold vein with a huge vein running over it. You got the sewn out cropping as well as berry bushes and all these sheep. So th this has got to be the Aachen position. It also gives you a resource drop up point on these two very valuable resources. So I would be really shocked. I'd be really shocked if we didn't see that from Smeagol. Over to the west, the Ottomans got their military school. We do have a couple uh, spearmen coming out. Well, the first spearmen should be arriving here relatively shortly. 
A wild single villager just gathering stone. Going to take some sweet time for that. China for the barbecue of the sun. And uh, it's a good spot. It's, it's protecting a forward gold node, which has 8,000 gold. It's protecting your food. And it will make it a little bit tough to reach you indeed. Over to the northwest, we do have Screaming Echoes. He is going to be on the English Council Hall's coming up, so uh, maybe a little bit of early longbow aggression. Early aggression is very risky on this map. I think on this map, the Dreaded Thunderdome, the best way to play, hands down, is by far going for Fast Castle and then getting Relics and Steamrolling. Well, if you're HRE, that is, but for Fast Castle is very, very important on this map um, to survive the aggression that's going to be coming from HRE potentially, right? So Jirai is our first age up. Makes sense. China usually ages up pretty quickly between the Imperial Taxes and the faster build rate. You can get there pretty damn quick. Allied treks with the dreaded supply block, but it is going to be the Dome of Faith here. And it uh, looks like he does have a house being power built, so he shouldn't be struggling that much. Delhi getting its free techs. Wheelbarrow is going to be popping out. Dome of Faith is a good one. Tower Victory is very viable too, but on this map, Dome of Faith I think is the auto go-to because of the fact that there's so many relics laying around the map. So you need to get like five or six scholars hit Castle Age with Delhi, and then you just grab like, you know, all those relics and you win uh, just off the gold on those. <clears throat> Mansacori coming up here for Professor Finbar. And Bar is looking ready to party here. And over to the west side, we have the Kremlin. The Gremlin going down. All right. The Gremlin is more of like an early, or early, really like, I don't want to die early landmark. Granted, the high trade house is I certainly better in a long game. But on Thunderdome, arguably the Kremlin might be better um, because of the militia. They, you, you can actually call them in and they can hit enemy bases and uh, also defend your own base pretty uh, efficiently because of how small the Thunderdome is. So always a good time. Imperial Academy, Song Dynasty here for the Chinese. They're going to be certainly sauced in terms of the villager production. I wonder if we're going to see two TCs. A little bit of buffing between them and Smeagol, so maybe not. Looks like the scout gets bossed by a couple arrows. And many of our mighty champions now are reaching the next age in tonight's Duel of Fate. Yes, yes. You guys you guys want the Smeagol versus Allied 1v1 after this? We need to we need to get like some w, WWE smack talk, you know. A little bit of that would be good. Abbey of Kings. Oh, that's cool. I'm going to build the English King, which uh, does give your army a little bit of healing, which is cool for like raiding builds and... I don't know how good that is in FFA. I find the kings just die a lot, which I suppose is historically accurate, but um, yeah, we'll see. So he built the Auckland a little bit differently than I suspected. And it makes sense. It's the exact same thing, basically. The only thing is, oh, he did move a sheep down here. Because I was going to say, there's a lot of sheep up here who aren't getting it. And this is a safer position for Smeagol. So uh, I think this is totally fine. I think it is totally fine indeed. China is, uh, what are they up to? Yep, just Song Dynasty on 1TC. Probably just going to go Castle. China can do some heavy steamrolling on this map too. You go fast Castle with your building uh, building speed and then you just rush out Palace Guard and just swarm somebody's base who's like teching up. It, it can really win games and it's a pretty common tactic in 1v1 on ladder as well. So pretty common tactic as well. Up to the north side, we got the dreaded Lamb and uh, Lamb of God here, what is he up to? Hunting cabins in the woods, getting a little bit of a sweet swoop. This is a nice one here. That's going to be hitting a lot of trees, so... Yep, he knows how to play his roost, taking advantage of the goodies with his hunting cabins, and that will certainly sauce his economy. Granted, going to be a little bit slower to castle. Now Smeagol's going to go castle. Regnet's Cathedral is great. The other landmark's good too, though. You can totally go steamroll HRE, get the Burgrave Palace, and just pump out men at arms with just fat chubs and run over somebody next to you. But this work, this is like the safer build for like a longer grind in winning the long game. But obviously, if you just want to kill someone next to you immediately, it's pretty good. So HRE is going to get two relics right away. This one and this one. They're just going to be right on top of those. Uh, looks like two prelates are out in the field. And where is he going? Oh, man. The Regnet's being put even further back. And this is a nice nice spot right here. He's uh, he's right against the edge of the map. So, yeah. That's going to be good. That is going to be good indeed. I think that would be fun. Like the 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 rivalry stream. Like I'll have I'll have the, the people in Discord say something that's, you know, a little, a little friendly smack talk. And then we can like show it before the game starts. To build a little bit of tension. I think that would be fun. <laughs> Some WWE smack though. Oh my god, that's such a stupid concept. Oh, look at that play though from Professor Finbar. Oh, and the body blocks. So Professor Finbar, he aggroed the boar and then lured it onto the Delhi Scholar. Look, and Allied's like running away trying to escape. Oh my god, that's so funny. So Allied probably gets these relics. I mean, he's got to grab those like right now. Um... Dome of Faith. Allied is still only in the second age, though. So, yeah, he's chilling. He could grab the Sacred Sites, which would be smart. Smeagol sending Spearman to guard his uh, prelates is good. You know, he keeps scouts away, keeps other things from getting the goodies. And Smeagol is going to be getting all these relics. I mean, he's going to be getting a bunch. Yeah, so Regnet's Cathedral is coming up. He's stealing it right from in front of the Ottoman base. That feels bad, because usually those are freebies. And the Ottoman should have been guarding it with a couple spears. And they do see it. Oh, he'll seize it. Oh, but it's too late. That Battle Priest is running, dude. He is running and he is scurrying away. Look at that. Look at that. 
All right, so in the middle, we, uh, we're hanging out with the Allied Scholar, but this is gonna be brutal, ladies and gentlemen. Spiegel is gonna get so many relics. I would estimate he's gonna get at least five. Uh, Delhi, on the other hand, has not even started going Castle Age yet. How is that possible? Have they not started Castle? Oh, and Allied is losing his, uh, his, his monks, not his monks, but yeah, he's losing his uh, Imams there. Oh, brutal, man. They get taken out by a couple of English longbow chads. He does have a scholar on this one. He's just trying to get some free money from the Sacred Sites, which he'll get a little bit from Sanctity, but yeah, now he's going to be aging up. He was really low on gold. Yeah, he, he just now got 600 gold with 2,500 on food. And oh man, here it comes. It's going to be compound of the defender, which is very smart, but um, certainly not the craziest start for Delhi. A couple relics there to grab up here. We do have our brave Malians taking a very dowie position, hanging out here, chilling. You know, they're just uh, building their own little empire in the corner with two relics safely tucked away behind their walls. Allied getting a couple sacred sites, but he's going to want to run away from those in a moment uh, before his dudes get killed. Pull them back, grab these relics. And it looks like he does have two scholars in here. He should be able to jump out and just get these goodies. If he gets at least three or four relics, I think he'll be in good shape. Um, as far as Smeagol goes, Smeagol's got one. Um, I'm surprised he isn't guarding these ones a little bit tighter. Allied could totally run in and jack those with his scholars if he wasn't paying attention. But it looks like he's not going to get punished for it, so it should be fine. For Hills, he's just going Ottoman, man. Standard, getting upgrades, taking advantage of the military schools. And over to the west, we do have Xi Rai and the Chinese. It looks like he's going 2TC Song Dynasty, so... Long-term eco for sure. Uh, he's he's going to be pumping a lot of villagers out, but relics are quite big on this map. Now, over here, English. Farmville's to an extent. Building rams. Oh, man, he's going to be getting crunk in the feudal age. That's pretty rare on this map. Usually it's castle age. Usually it's castle age here, but guys, it is going down battering rams and battering rams right here up to the due north. What do we got here from Professor Finbar? Yeah, they're just kind of hanging out in the base while Smeagol grabs all the relics possible. So he's got one there. Two safely tucked away. He's gonna get his fourth one here. That might be his last might be his last one, which is still very good. Four relic HRE with Regnitz Cathedral is gonna be pretty insane. So Spearman trying to hold it down. Looks like there is a Delhi Scholar coming to get the relics where they can, looking for the goodies. Going all the way down there, gonna be trying to grab the relics out from underneath the Ottoman base. The Rus do now have some early knights riding around, so they should be able to prevent the uh, relics from being grabbed. We'll see if he does, though. Looks like he's got a little bit more interest in uh, actually just going for the, uh, the the bounty. Just getting those boars and getting his bounty system going. England with the dreaded ram sign. China could pay the troll toll here pretty hard. Granted, they're going to hit Imperial Palace. Uh, should be able to start supervising this barracks, making Palace Guard, get an armor upgrade, and boom. You're good against the English uh, Rashi. You'll be totally fine. What do we got here? Malian's grabbing relics, and the Imam is going to get his first relic. So, hey, that's three relics there for these bad boys. Mansakori is producing gold at this point. Down to the south, it looks like Smeagol's going to be dropping relics off in his uh, defensive towers here while storing three in the back and one on his forward tower, which isn't a bad idea. It's a buffer against northern aggression. England just going with the Abbey of Kings and the White Tower, really not wanting to die early. You know, he's going to make his opponent work for it. Granted, all three of the uh, landmarks here are very, very close together, so heavy aggression could certainly punish that. Sacred Sites being decapped. China not going to be allowing that one to fly. G Rai here is going to be hanging out using the supervised berry bushes to uh, party. Villager count's probably pretty sauced. Uh, Allied, for example, has 41, and Jirai is probably close to 60. Yeah, it looks like 53 right now, and that's going to be encroaching 60 very, very soon here. England is due hosting super hard, but they're taking their time with this. I mean, their window of opportunity is rapidly slipping away as there's Chinese infrastructure now up so they can actually produce armies to maybe defend themselves. All right, a little bit of a raid here going on. Professor Finbar going after Allied, and it looks like the keep is going to be uh, getting built here, and that keep will pretty much shut down this raid. This is like a potato raid. It's just kind of, kind of a couple units looking to poke, but uh, overall, Delhi's going to be able to have their scholars repair through the Spearman DPS, most likely. He even got a man-at-arms out there holding back that. And look at this Chad guy here. He's like in a Bollywood movie, just fighting like 20 dudes. But um, nonetheless, the keep is going to be getting popped up, and that will fend off the raid for now. Allied sitting pretty comfortably here on three relics, which is Certainly nice for him, and uh, the Spearman Raid is going to be diminished. Now, is the King of England over here going to run? I believe in hills here, dude. Yes, absolutely. I believe in these guys. I, I want to see the Ramstein. China's getting the Great Wall of China set up, and there's still a window of opportunity here, man. I mean, there's not that many longbows, though. He needs to go. He's just waiting way too long. He's going to try and age up. I'm not sure. Looking at his bank, it sure as hell doesn't look like it. So, yeah, this looks like he's going balls to the wall here. England. For England, James. 007, 006 having their duel of fates here. Over here, the King of England just sitting and chortling and being very jolly. So the north looks like Allied Trex is getting, he's going to get real mean here. Allied, he he wants war now. Professor Finbar is going to be doing glorious battle with Allied and uh, 
I'm here for every second of it. It's going to be fun. So Ally does get the double keep up. He has got the Spring Alden placements. Where's his classic men at arms to him? Allied, Allied has such a hard on for building men at arms. It's like his favorite unit. Every game you play against him, it's like a million men at arms. Oh, the Duhast is coming. Look at the Rams, dude. China's going to start producing Palace Guard, though. He's going to lose a fair amount of villagers to these Rams. Yeah, he's losing a lot. So we do see Jirai uh, has already lost about seven or eight villagers, which... Oh, and the Imperial Official also. All right, guys, getting a little bit crazy. TC here could get popped down. But again, I think China is going to be able to, depending on their macro and, and micro, like produce enough Palace Guard to take down the Longbows. I guess Palace Guard, though, aren't the tankiest of men at arms. So we do see the bows going. Look at that, the dreaded monk coming out. Nice scoot and shoot going down here from Screaming Echoes. That's exactly what you want to be doing. All the Rams get the TC pretty close to going down here. And uh, I love that the monk was coming. I thought it was a well low, low, but it looks like he was just dropping it off here. So two Rams still alive. Monk going down. China is taking massive casualties in this defense, ladies and gentlemen. This is actually looking kind of rough for China. If England keeps pouring on the reinforcements and gets his TC down. I mean, no, why is he retreating? Oh, he's got to keep that pressure on. He's got to keep going after the villagers. The villager count's got to have tanked. He's down to 53. So he probably was close to 70 or 80 villagers. He probably just lost like 20 bills right now. So that was nice. But England needs to keep the momentum on. And they might be able to get it. Um, China probably took a big resource hit. Yeah, they only have 100 food right now. And he's got a lot of villagers idling. Not sure if they're uh, moving. It looks like he's going to be setting up the granaries, which is smart. He needs that food economy because England's going. Balls to the wall, baby. They're coming for it. In the meantime, Allied doing glorious battle here with Professor Finbar. Finbar's looking pretty good, though. He's got a nice army of Donso as well as Muso Fatty, some sofas. Going to make Allied sit on the sofa tonight. Allied sleeping on the couch tonight, baby. Those sofas are being delivered rock hard. And he does have his two keeps set up. That is the one thing that's really forcing back the Malians. Malians could get a trebuchet, honestly, just sit it in the base and safely shoot against that keep. That, I think, would be a very, very strong play. Is it time for round two? We do see the White Tower coming. At this point, you should probably just wait for your longbows to get upgraded to Castle Age before you push in again. China, though, yeah, they were really, really... Uh, they didn't have a good food eco, so uh, they were struggling with that push. I mean, England could come in and really punish them. The fact that their food is so low and they haven't been able to produce a lot of troopers, very, very nasty. Uh, over to the east side, the King of England here, Sammy, just hanging out, you know. You got the King sitting on his horse. He hasn't moved since last time he looked, but uh, still Mortal Kombat is coming. And what the hell is Smeagol doing, by the way? I haven't looked at Smeagol in a long time. Is he just building multi-TC? Oh, it's because he wants to go L's back, probably. So he is getting a second town center up. Um, just hanging out in his base with men-at-arms. Like, I feel like Smeagol should be Imperial by now, and just like steamrolling someone, but he's really, really just taking it cautious. Currently, his bank, he does have 4,700 gold, which is disgusting. His food eco sucks pretty bad, though. He's, he's only got uh, 600 a minute. But, yeah, he's just hanging out, really chilling, not being aggressive. I, I really thought he was going to go. Yurabity used to push pretty hard when he was playing. He would usually go Mongols. But with Mongols, it makes more sense because you get the raid. So when you raid people's bases, it kind of banks up for your military investment. Yeah, so I, th I think you know, that's kind of the rationale for that. But, yeah, now the, the pressure is going to start. We're going to get Trebs in here. They're going to start knocking down houses, you know, take down the pit mine, which is extremely frustrating. Malians need to get some proper siege equipment. Uh, Rams will potentially do the job, but then you're going to have to fight under that, which certainly isn't fun. Screaming Echoes is Castle Age. We need to see the longbows go up. Um, is he going to get the tech? Okay, he has the, the Castle Age blacksmith upgrades coming out, but the longbows need to be upgraded to veteran super soon. Otherwise, he's going to be very behind. China, if they want to defend this, it's pretty pretty straightforward. All China needs to do... Oh, he didn't build the uh, landmark for the uh, the nest of bees. Oh, man. Okay. I was going to say, if he just pumps out a, a clockwork nest of bees and just sits it back here, screens the archers, he can kill the rams with his troopers and all that sort of good stuff. So, yeah. All right. All right. That's what, that's why it's going to get a little bit dicey over here. Smeagol sitting on his three relics here. Uh, he's going triple TC. Elsback is going to be... I wonder where he'll put that. He could put Elsback back here as a survival mechanism. Or he could place it in the middle to get like some of the resources. So a little bit of an interesting choice for him. And are we going to be seeing the Screaming Echoes push in? No. Hills, uh, the Hills have eyes down here. He is uh, not doing a whole lot. Unfortunate position for China. China. I mean, but everybody on this map is sandwiched. You know, so it really just depends on which way the uh, winds blow, right? So, all right. All is calm on the frontier. Dude, the dreaded Duhast. England is uh, adopting some... Some German Duhas tactics here as he gets all the battering rams and uh, yeah. He's going for it. He is going for it. The Ramstein is upon us. Allied, uh, looks like he did lose his forward keep here, but not before he took down all the battering rams. And the Malian army looks to have folded as well. Allied, the Lord of Jumbos, he is coming in with his mighty war elephants. And uh, those elephants will be okay against the Malian army. He does have Sofa. You know, there's some Sofas in the mix. So the elephants will be pretty good against them with their anti-large tusks. Or anti-cavalry tusks, I should say. 
We'll see what they do. Plus uh, 40 damage for Scalvory from these spears on top is a lot of damage. A lot of damage indeed. Down to the west side. We don't see the Roost doing a whole bunch to be aggressive. Just hanging out by their gremlin. I do like that he's building all these hunting cabins. I think that's really nice. Um, a good position for High Trade House too. It's not bad. Not bad at all. You know, he's getting 262. So that's the equivalent of like three, like a little over three relics just from that high trade house. So not bad. Um, I don't know if he was able to get any natural relics. Let's see. Uh, he got one. So not amazing, but he's not going to be hurting too bad. He's not going to be hurting too bad. This is the last FFA for the night for anybody asking. I see a couple people in chat asking. All right, guys. Can China hold? That is a lot of palace guard. Do they have the ranged armor upgrade? That would be huge. No, they don't. Um, that would be the first thing you would want to do. And it looks like he is getting it, the iron undermesh. But these rams are going to get cut to pieces without longbow support. So they're moving in. Archers need to start picking off those palace guard right now. Okay, so the palace guard are taking some DPS. So the palace guard, are they going to turn and dive after the archers? Archers are doing big damage, but he did get a nest of bees out. And that's basically going to shut down the English pressure. Uh, the TC will take some work. But overall, the, uh, the archers being spread out here helps a little bit. Might be able to kill the nest of bees with sheer attrition on firepower, which is really funny using archers to kill... <laughs> to kill uh, siege equipment but you got to do what you got to do it looks like another nest of bees coming out and we do see the nest of bees fall so both players taking some uh, casualties here it looks like the tc might actually go down they're not repairing it so he's going to be losing his villager production out of that english player with some nice scooting and shooting picking those units off and he does manage to take down the tc of china that's not bad but china's army should be pretty decisive in the open field battle the archers are going to be forced back behind their wall but the one thing the archers have going for them is the fact that they do have the white tower here so not only will that give them network of castles, but it'll also provide plenty of DPS. Okay, Smeagol is Imperial Age, guys. He is getting real sauce, baby. Real sauced. So he's got TCs. He's got Chad back palace here. Going to be slapping a relic in that. He'll for sure be moving this over to the elves back. And is he going to go north and do battle with England? It, it's 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 war Smeagol time. Um, his eco is looking good now. He's got good food, good uh, wood income. Gold is very solid with his relics. It is going to be an absolutely brutal push. Whoever Smeagol goes after is probably going to die, I would wager. Although, how are the English looking? Sammy's got a bark shirt and a white tower and, you know, English farm systems going. For sure needs more, but I think like six relic HRE is going to be a little bit stronger than England here in the late game. Although, I don't know, England is a nightmare to finish, but I think Smeagol is going to be able to do it because he is going to just be absolutely jacked here in a minute. Upgrades, elite men at arms, tithe barns coming out. Uh, just a lot of brutal, brutal upgrades. Ottomans just really defensive here. In the meantime, China has repaired their uh, town center. They're in the process of doing such. And England uh, is pulling back now. They're probably going to start adopting a more uh, modern army comp, I suppose. You know, some cannons and stuff. Probably getting some men-at-arms would be really good. English men-at-arms dominate the palace guard in combat. They're just way tankier and uh, just, yeah, and that's basically it. They're tankier, so they're going to trade upwards into them. So... You're going to want those bad boys. You're going to want those bad boys indeed. Now to the north, we have the lamb here. The lamb has not gone to the slaughter yet. He is uh, he is hanging out. Nobody's really attacking him, so he's all good. Oh, when the new expansion comes out, we're going to be we're going to be going hard in the paint playing this game. We're just going to be like streams like for that week. There'll probably be like daily streams and all sorts of good stuff. So it'll be like the days of old, my friends. It'll be great. Uh, all's calm here for Professor Finbar. Oh, never mind. Okay, him and Allied have got a heavy blood feud. It, it doesn't seem like either side's able to make substantial progress. The army quality of Professor Finbar is definitely better. But the question is, is Allied going to be able to take advantage of his keeps and his defensive emplacements? I don't know. Allied's kind of getting pushed back, and Allied's bank isn't amazing. He's got no wood income at the moment. Where's his wood eco? Okay, he just set that up. Oh, he pulled all his villagers. Okay, that makes sense. Keeps in a little bit of trouble, guys, and the Malians are getting a good push on these Delhi archers, which are Feudal Age. Allied really needs to upgrade it. He's using Feudal Age units, just getting bonked on the head by those Mangan Elves. That is some fat damage right there, guys. Fat damage. Absolutely brutal. Another keep going to be getting Space Jam slammed down here, but it looks like this could be the end of Allied. Is basically struggling in a duel here versus the dreaded Professor Finbar. Finbar going to take down a keep. Villagers are idling. Desperation keeps going down everywhere here for Allied. But his food eco is basically idled. His production is being compromised on the edges of the battlefield. The rams are fully erect, and they're going to take down this mosque right here. All those resources uh, from the relics, gone. It's like the elephant here doing an okay job. Defending where it can. Keep does get finished. That could buy him a little bit of time, but overall, his villagers have been idling so hard that he's just going to fall behind. And if honestly, if Professor Finbar just keeps going pedal to the metal here. Nice little uh, Grand Fulani Corral here. I think he's going to be a-okay. Archery ranges in danger. Down to the south side, Ally desperately trying to restabilize here in the middle with some uh, eco maneuvering. But we do see the sofas hunting them down. They got four legs and they're pissed. And uh, 
Yeah, these villagers gonna go mine under the keep, which is bleak. It's looking real bleak for your boy, Allied Trex here. As far as landmarks go, we have the compound of the town center here. So if those die, he's actually just dead. Smeagol is still not getting crazy. Oh my god, what is what is this? What is this? What is this Smeagol action? Oh my god, guys, check it out. No, oh, you crashed, Smeagol, no! Oh, well, hey, man. So on the bright side of things, it does it does create probably a game where you don't get some good steamrolling. This is a shame, because it looks like you're about to flank here, so. Man, Smeagol, what a disappointment, dude. I'm not saying you are, I'm saying the situation. <laughs> yeah, unfortunate, unfortunate. But it happens, man. Now you can join us and watch. Classic Smeagol, I know. It's not so classic, actually. He doesn't, do you crash often, Smeagols, or something up? So you got something where you crash? I don't remember it happening too much. Yep. Oh, my God. How lucky were these English players, too? Holy shit. There was, like, a fat HRE army coming to backdoor him. Granted, England would have survived. Berkshire Palace would have held them initially. But Smeagol had the best eco in the game, hands down. Five relics, triple TC, Imperial Age, when a lot of people are still castle. I mean, it was nasty. Looks like Allied is going to pay the price. His old town center here is going to go down, and uh, that will end the game. I mean, Allied does not have the resources to age up, or does he? He does. He does. Now he's going after the keep here. So the keep uh, potentially going to be falling. A lot of villagers being pulled, but they're going to be hunted and harried by the army here, by the veteran Muso Fatty and the various spear legions. Yeah, Allied's eco down to 65. His military is at 2. This keep's going to fall. And down here, we do have a little bit of conflict. So it looks like Red is uh, currently being besieged by the Lamb. So the Lamb is here. And uh, the Lamb should be able to hold this with the veteran crossbow under keep. Maybe. Uh, Lamb is Castle Age 2. They're both Castle Age. So it's not like either one of these guys is like a horrific tyrant, right? Finbar, though, looks like he's going to finish off Allied. He's going to take his plunder. He is getting these relics. And Allied did have three relics, too, which is not bad at all. Allied trying to panic build the landmark. Uh, looks like he is. Oh, my God. It's so close. Oh! Oh, and he just died just before the landmark finished. He had the Palace of the Sultan being built in the middle. Oh, wait. No, he got it. Oh my god, that was so close. He just got it, just barely. Oh, that's got to be so annoying for Professor Finbar. Now you got to, like, find it, too. Although, yeah, this isn't his tower, so he's not going to know where it is. Wow, look at that, ladies and gentlemen. The Palace of the Sultan actually saved Allied. The, T the Allied T-Rex is uh, holding firm, dude. He's holding firm. No warfare here. I mean, this is a lot of, like, very relaxed players. Like, these guys, this, like, little, like, quad, quadruple, uh, quadruple of players here, this quad... I don't know what the term would be. My brain's a little tired. I haven't had dinner. Uh, they are just not doing a whole lot. They're really chilling out. In the backfield, we do see the Malians hunting down many of Ally Trex's assets as the Ramstein moves through his base. And it begins. It begins. Yeah, Dome of Faith, uh, I believe, was taken down. Yeah, no, Compound of the Defender, Town Center. Oh, that's right. He still had the Dome of Faith here, too. Okay, for some reason, I thought his, his building here was the Dome of Faith. But that was just a regular mosque, so... Yeah, that's it. Richard Wirtz, holy shit, man. How you been? Haven't heard of you. Haven't haven't seen you in a while. Hope you're doing well. God damn, thank you for the hundy. Hope you and the, the family are all doing good, man. Good to see you. Thank you so much for that donation, man. Again, I really hope it's not a financial burden on you. That's super generous. Thank you, thank you. God damn. All right, guys. This, one's, this, this mighty battle is for you, Richard. Allied's landmark here in the middle, almost getting torched. And it looks like uh, the old uh, the old Malians are hunting for all his landmarks. They got rams, like, truffling in the back. Richard, man, thank you. Thank you, thank you. One last time. Thank you so much, dude. Yeah, quartet of players. Yeah, it'd be quartet, wouldn't it? Yeah, I don't know, dude. I have no idea. I'm usually pretty good with vocabulary, but um, yeah, for some reason, that one's just eluding me. It's eluding me for now. So Allied certainly has got some, you know, sneaky tactics. And he's, uh, he's currently... The Malian army is like searching far and wide to try and find his last stuff, but little do they know it's just sitting in the middle of the map, so. Will Allied be able to come back? It's going to be a tough one. Somebody else would probably have to attack Blue, because Blue, you usually want to finish players off. You usually want to finish players off. You really got to do it. Yeah, it looks like Purple might have spared him. He, he came in to kill the Palace of the Sultan, but then he ran away, which is interesting. China just expanding out onto the map right now. So we do have the old uh, clock tower, which is going to be unlocking yet another dynasty for the Fire Lancers. Fire Lancers are great on this map. You can really just ambush people's bases and just snipe landmarks. It's really, really nasty. So Jirai is going to be unlocking the dynasty warriors right now. He's Imperial too. And Imperial China is terrifying. Look at that. He does have the Great Wall Gatehouse here. And uh-oh, England looks like they're on the ropes a little bit. White Tower's knocked down, Keep's knocked down. Uh, he's still only Castle Age. So China... 
with proper play, should be able to steamroll Red. Um, Red had his moment where he could have potentially killed China, but it doesn't look like that's going to be the case now. I think that yellow will probably move in there and just go, you know, pretty balls deep. Richard, man. Oh, man, dude. Come on. Come on now. Not at all. I've been way too busy and bad timing. Love Eldraine for MTG. Have fun all. Thank you, Richard. I've been playing Eldraine too. It's fun. It's a great set. I love I love kind of the Brothers Grimm, the fairy tale aesthetic. It's really fun. Richard, thank you. Thank you, man. I want to say like Merry Christmas with all those donations, dude. God, God damn. <laughs> thank you, Richard. Yeah, shoot me a message in Discord, man. Let's catch up. All right. So the old trebuchets of doom. Knock it away. Richard going hard in the paint. His red donation, giving a little bit of support to the old English here, but they're going to get mowed down by this Imperial Chinese army. Using hand cannoneers, nest of bees, the Great Wall Gatehouse. These brave Englishmen have a valiant hold here, trying to dive the artillery with a couple men at arms, but they get picked off by the uh, Chinese defenders pretty rapidly as they make their way in. Blue is just hunting, dude. Look at Allied Allies just scurrying around, dude. These villagers are just caught in the crossfire of all these empires just duking it out. We do have the Rams coming in. Allied trying to build a keep in his base. Look at Allied. He's trying to get his base back. Oh, he's such a, such a scrapper here, dude. He can make villagers out of his keep as well. Richard says, I guess I, I could slide. I honestly just always miss out because I'm in Wisconsin. Mr. P. Oh, dude, don't worry about it, man. Don't worry about it. The dreaded 35-year-old birthday. Eh? God, time goes by way too fast, man, as you get older. You know? Like, when you're younger, it's like it's so, uh, so slow. You feel like you have all the time in the world, but when you get into your 30s, you really you really feel like it's just going so quick. You having fun? Oh, hell yeah, Richard. Having a great time, man. Life's been real good. Thank you so much, man. All right, guys. That's the bees fighting. Palace Guard going for landmark hunting, and that's going to be the end. We see the White Tower uh, is down. The Town Center is down, and we're going to be seeing the Council Hall being burned to the ground by these uh, massive elite Palace Guard who literally have 100 more HP than the English variants because of the fact that they have the Imperial Age upgrades and all that sort of good stuff. And uh, yeah, that's going to be the end of the Old English. And the players are uh, are, are falling off. Smeagol DC'd. Something uh, Screaming Echoes had his moment of glory with the battering ram timing, but wasn't quite able to get it. And uh, over to the north side, we do have this Duel of Fates still continuing. Allied getting his landmarks up. That's got to be so troll for the Malians. Malians look like they're going to take down the palace. Have the other ones been repaired yet? Dome of Faith not quite repaired. Uh-oh, this could be the end of Allied here. This Dome of Faith is getting rammed super hard. It's actually on fire now. Nothing to repair it nearby. So we do see the town center. The Dome of Faith is still being rebuilt, so that's not going to count. And I believe his other landmark, the compound of the defender, is down. So Allied is out of the game. GG, well played. GG, well played, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, yeah, add kids to the mix, and there goes all your free time. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Bull, I'm glad you've been enjoying the streams, my friend. All right, now, three players down. Smeagol, DC'd, unfortunately. Ally Trekt and Screaming Echoes are gone. And now we're going to be seeing what empires will be colliding. China looking pretty menacing, doing a little bit of battle with the Ottomans here. Ottomans have a decent army. They have a lot of Janissaries, but the Janissaries are getting popped by the Nest of Bees. And I can't help but think that Xirai is going to become a bit of a menace. The Chinese player seems pretty good at macroing here. They have a nice quality army, has all the dynasty buffs. China late game is... Hands down, one of the best. Hey, Kobe, thank you for the donation, man. Really appreciate it, brother. You, of course you're helping, man. You guys just hanging out and watching. Don't ever feel like you need to donate. I do greatly appreciate it, but just hanging out with all you guys is always fun, so don't don't stress it. Thank you so much, man. Thank you, thank you. Counterweight trebuchets on the way down, and uh, the Ottoman army is still castle age for the most part, and the Chinese army is very elite. All their units are pretty much upgraded to the max. We do have a bit of a flanking force potentially heading down here. The Lamb of God here. Looking like he's going to come down and maybe backstab the Chinese base. Which would be smart if they knew the dynamics of the battle. Because China is very, very powerful. And uh, they have a beautiful eco in the middle. Well, the granaries aren't fully operational. It looks like all the farms aren't being worked. So not quite as sauce as I thought. But overall, China is just out for blood, dude. Yeah, they're getting in there. He's pouring in. Trebuchets knocking down the old town center. The Seagate Castle is uh, helping to defend the rush a little bit. China's macro, are they still pushing units out? Uh, not super hard, honestly. Like, they have enough to keep their supply max and to have a really scary army, but uh-oh. The King of England has arrived with his uh, his big army here. And then up to the north, are we going to be seeing the incursion force? It looks like the Rams are uh, thinking about pushing China, although they probably saw the Great Clock Tower here, with the Great Wall. Maybe change their mind, who knows. Down here, guys, Town Center is withering down. It is falling. Seagate Castle, the one thing that's really keeping the Ottomans in this battle. A couple brave Janissaries out in the open field trying to do some uh, nice armor piercing, but at the end of the day, China could probably finish them if they want to, but they're being distracted. The English invaders from across the lands. 
coming here and invading China, all the way from the east side of the map. It looks like not too much aggression going on here, but yeah, all is calm, guys. All is calm. We do see the Malians cleaning up Allied's base, which is smart. You know, you, this map, one of the funny things you run into is you run out of space a lot of times. It's pretty hilarious. Like, because your starting area is so compact, so to get, like, big infrastructure, you kind of have to take some ground out in the middle of the map, so. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, thank you for joining. Thank you. I see some new folks here in chat. Always a good time. Yeah, Matthew, join our Discord, man. we got a great Age of Empires community. Great Total War as well, but obviously we're here for Age of Empires tonight. All right, guys. Janissary is being mowed down. England is, like, now they're just going to be hunting down the uh, the old Ottomans in the bottom. The Ottomans are very, very out of, out of steam right now. I mean... Let's see. Yeah, no gold income. Sub 1,000 food. Uh, wood is looking sparse. I mean, the Ottomans could straight up die here pretty hard. If England just moves down and just bull rushes the Seagate Castle and dives the uh, the big, you know, bombards, that might be enough. Ottomans are a faction that can kind of do well with, like, low eco, though, because their military schools can make an army. But I, I don't know, man. They look really, really beat up for sure. Extremely beat up. Hey, Puling, thank you for dropping the link. Appreciate it. Appreciate it indeed. All right, guys. Sofa, Manganel's coming out. And it looks like the next great battle is going to be going down. Shout out to Professor Finbar here. I like his aggressive play style. Like, he's not sitting back. He's, he's like, methodically working through enemies and trying to be aggressive, which I really like to see in FFA, for sure. All right, the English army kind of stuck in the walls. They do take down a fair amount of Chinese villagers. And now on this side, look at this. China engaged upon by Old Lamb. So the Rus coming in. But the Rus get the absolutely mopped up. It wasn't much of an army. It was just kind of a small vanguard force. And uh, they do get taken out by the Chinese defenders. China maybe lost like a house and a couple units. But really, really not too bad. And is he going to push? It's looking like he wants to attack the English. Which wouldn't be a bad idea. Although killing late game England is hard. If the English player is good and it's just a straight up 1v1 dude. You're going to pay the troll toll. Hey Leto, how you doing man? Long time no join. Glad I could catch you live. Hey, well I hope you're doing well man. Good to see you. Down here. A little bit of raiding going on. Some haggard Chinese raids. The dreaded, uh, what appears to be feudal age horsemen. Nope, those are Fire Lancers, actually. That's why they look that way. But, uh, yeah, Fire Lancer landmark sniping is a very good strategy with China. I mean, you just, you know, on this map, you just turtle up, you know, have some defensive siege equipment with keeps, and then you just bank, like, 80 Fire Lancers. And honestly, like, you could just basically kill, like, most of the players in this game with that tactic right now. It, you would have to have, the obviously, the macro to do it and the resources, but... You know, a good, you know, 30, 40, 50 Fire Lancers just diving any one of these players' bases. If you did a little bit of scouting to see where, you know, the business is going down. Yeah, like, you could you could definitely do it. England's creeping out here. Poor Smeagol. They, I don't know if they've realized Smeagol's... Oh, well, the Regnitz is bugged, I think. I think if you destroy it when the player's not in the game, the relics don't drop. So that's kind of pointless anyways. But it's a shame for old uh, Sammy. He could have gotten some good scraps. The English Empire looking good. Nice little spread. The remnants of Smeagol's uh, elite army here, the men-at-arms, were coming around to the back of the base. China looking pretty sauced. A lot of palace guard, a lot of hand cannoneers. Pretty classic ground-based composition with a couple fire lancers mixed in. I, I don't know why they're not just wiping out one of their neighbors. You have to take advantage of these lulls in action to do that. Um, and he's got enough bank to rebuild if he loses too. And it looks like the, the lamb is coming, but like his army is pretty small. To be fair, the Great the Great Wall could probably stop him single-handedly with a tiny bit of support. So I think you got to head south and just and just go balls to the wall. We will see. All right, guys, the battle is on, and the Chinese army is going to be descending on the Ottomans. A couple of the Great Bombards caught out of position. They're a little bit forward, which is very unfortunate. One of them's going to go down here, and obviously the Chinese army is going to start tearing through the farms, really just doing a massive amount of damage. And uh, I don't know why they're turning around. Oh my God, the English! What are they doing? Why are they even over here? So the English player with a, a backstab saving, 100% saving him. I mean, the English army's elite and fully upgraded. So it's actually going to be one of the few armies here that can fight the Chinese in open field. And the Chinese army's going to lose. The English player does have the uh, network of castles. Those troopers are going to be getting a 20% attack speed increase, which is a ton of DPS. So yeah, the Chinese army gets folded up by just a wild-ass English steel chair flank, dude. Just coming out of nowhere. Absolutely bananas. The Chinese player's probably like, what the hell's going on here? Like, why is that army even over here? Is he going for the Chinese? Okay, it looks like he wants to kill the Chinese. The Ottomans have called for aid. It sure looks like it. So, yeah, the, the Ottomans are now uh, going to be okay. Definitely just chill out in your corner and rebuild your eco if you can, if you're the Ottoman player. China's going to have to defend against a pretty angry English aggressor now. We do see landmarks being targeted. Uh, is the other player attacking the Lamb? No, it doesn't look like Lamb is attacking. Jirai taking a bit of a beating here. Malians, are they going to go wonder? Let's a wonder on this map would be wild as hell. Okay, he does have a lot of stone. Gold is a little bit low. 
Any, mm, this looks like a wonder position, perhaps, back here. He's trading, oh, okay. That's not a terrible trade route for this map. It's it's 50 gold per round trip, which isn't amazing, but it's also not terrible, so well, that's kind of cute. All right, I dig it. So one landmark does fall for China. China rebuilding a decent army. Should be able to hold off the English. Unless the English player really macros hard and really, really presses the tempo. The Ottomans are looking pretty toast. And the score, comparatively speaking, is pretty low. Although I suppose it's not that far behind like Professor Finbar and whatnot. The big powerhouses for sure are yellow and purple in this game. The other players are decently have some decently respectable strength, but nowhere near uh, these two big forces here. Setting up towers is good to make sure you have that network of castles. The English army is looking pretty jacked right now. A lot of men at arms. Hand cannoneers for England are really good. 20% more attack speed. It's not bad at all. Every time you hear Ottoman, I think of Ernest. Oh my god. The Ernest movies? Wow, that's that's an old reference if that's what you're referring to, Richard. Oh man. I, I remember those. I had totally forgotten of their existence until you just reminded me. So, granary going down. That's going to be taking away 289 tax gold from the Chinese, which certainly sucks. And on top of that, it's going to be screwing up the farming uh, infrastructure here. But those traps are pretty cozy. They just sit behind the walls, keep uh, nuking into the Chinese base, doing what damage they can. China is getting a good army again, though. They got they got a good force, but I do think the English army's pretty good quality. The nest of bees would be the difference maker, though. Whatever the nest of bees end up doing. Malian's just chilling out. Yeah, setting up the pit mines. Uh, not really up to a whole lot, trying to get whatever stone he can on the map. I wonder if he's going to go try and go wonder. Rus look like they might pick a fight with the Malians, which would be a rough one for them. The Rus army is much smaller, and the Rus eco seems way weaker. The Malians could probably steamroll them, especially if they have Muso Fatty gunners. But again, we'll see. We will see how this all goes, ladies and gentlemen. We will see. Ernest goes to jail. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of those, man. There's a lot of those. All right, trebuchets are up. Now going after the Imperial Palace. China has probably had enough of this shit. They're going to be moving out with their Fire Lancers. They got their lances out for the Dragon Emperor. And uh, the English army should be able to meet them in open field and do okay. But that nest the bees in choke points will we'll definitely win fights. Here we see a keep coming up. It's going to be the old Ottoman keep in the bottom. The Great Bombards moving up as if they want to do a little bit of sniping. But I would think they don't want to make enemies of the... Oh, they're actually knocking down walls. Interesting. <laughs> they're just knocking down random Chinese walls. It's a lot of rams coming out, baby. That is a lot of rams. Ernest Garrett's stupid and the trick-or-treat are my go-tos for Halloween. Yeah, yeah. Is, is uh, trick-or-treat's the one with uh, the, the little monster guy who has like the pumpkin head, right? That's, that's, I think that's, that's one of my wife's favorite movies. We, have, we actually have a Halloween decoration of him in our front yard, which uh, Casey, in, in America, Halloween frenzy starts like, like in mid-September. Like stores are already selling Halloween stuff, just like Christmas starts like around Halloween. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's wild, man. Just some wild ass capitalism going down. All right, so if the Chinese player slips up and the English men at arms are able to close the distance on those, that's gonna be pretty brutal. Oh my God, the nest of bees melting that English army though. They took a ton of damage on the way in. Trebuchets do knock down one nest of bees. Might be able to knock down another right now with the shattering projectiles and they get a fair amount of AOE in return. English player reinforcing pretty well here for Sammy. On the backside, uh, I thought there might be some funny business, but it looks like Ottomans just lumberjacking here in the tree line and up to the north, just all's calm, man. Yeah, just using using what stone they have. I mean, we could for sure see a, uh, a wonder at some point. Although you need to get this gold. Gold's gonna run out on the map. There's a couple nodes around. We do have an 8,000 gold node here. It's very easy when you're playing Malians to miss that kind of stuff. You just like, uh, you don't realize it. That underneath the pit mine is a little bit of gold. So the second the temperature starts dropping, it's Halloween. Exactly, dude. Exactly. Average turn Discord Thunderdome game is only slightly shorter than... I've noticed that. Yeah, the Thunderdomes can go kind of long. I always do them because I'm like, oh, let's have like a quick one to wrap it up. But it depends on the players too. It depends on the players. Okay, so that's going down here. Nothing, just some cheeky lumberjacking in the bushes. It kind of looks like China's being 2v1 a little bit, but then England pulls back. I think they sense a threat from the Malians. And then over here, the Lamb is just the Dark Lord of the Rams. Looks like he's kind of poking into the Chinese base. I mean, he could do a big amount of damage just ram signing in here. Yeah, China is for sure one of the ones you'd want to get rid of. They're a big threat. Oh my God, look at the great bombards. Shooting over the walls, taking down what they can. And uh, let's see, up top. Yeah, no wonder positions, really, just trade. He's one of the only ones who's trading. So he's going to be one of the last survivors in terms of gold. Lamb still has some nodes, so it looks like the Roosts do have a couple gold nodes. They have one of their base and uh, also do have a couple down here in the south. 
But it looks like the Chinese have been able to kind of wrestle control of those. <laughs> sweet pig. Are we getting the sweet pig? I'm going to find like a really good like sound clip of the sweet pig and have that be like one of the notifications on stream. I think it'd be fun. Uh, all's calm. Not too much action, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, all the players are kind of at a standstill. I'm really surprised, you know. Nobody's really taking any huge initiative. Just methodical poking with a couple bombards. A little bit of, uh, you know, harassing and harrying here and there. But overall, it doesn't seem like any major conflicts are underway. So the top, the sofa. These Musa Fadi warriors are literally sitting on the sofa, not doing anything. England having a bit of a stare down here. And uh, looks like China, a little bit of tension with the Rus on the borders. China should be able to handle the Rus one-on-one, -on -one, though. The Rus actually look like they're coming for blood. Okay, never mind. The Rams are coming. How's China's army? China is going to be hard to break down because of their um, because of their nest of bees. The nest of bees are going to be so dirty. And if the Rus army gets caught in a choke point, dude, it's going to be brutal. Richard, keep up the fun. Sorry I have to leave. Take care. Thank you so much, man. God damn. You're far too generous, dude. I Thank you so much. Hope you're enjoying the sweaty action, dude. And take care. Give your best to the family, man. All right, so yeah, Roos fighting in a choke point. They do have a lot of Streltsy, which is nice. I think those are Streltsy back there, yeah. And the Cavalry were able to kind of loop around, and now we're going to be driving the Nest of Bees, which is good control from the Lamb here. We'll see if he's able to actually shut them down. Oh, the Streltsy getting nuked, though. you got to kill him quicker. Looks like another one's going to go down. The Chinese army actually losing this fight. Wow. Roos bombards and Springholds getting it done, and all the Nest of Bees have officially fallen. And so China still does have the home field advantage. They should be able to macro out some units. Uh, he's got a huge bank. Look at that. 11, 8, and 7. So China's eco is really good. Streltsy trading incredibly well. Ram's making some good progress. And the Ottomans haven't gotten the message. They're not attacking from the other side. No other fights really going down on the map. I think this is really the epicenter of combat. Just these two kind of having a fisticuffs and going at it. But the Rams are making good progress. You know, they're tearing down some of these, uh, these troops here. Bruce not reinforcing super well. You know, we're not seeing a ton of uh, troops pouring in to you know, really buffer the army. And now China is going to be suffering the wrath of the rams. Yeah, that's nastiness. And if he loses these villages too, he's going to start getting supply block potentially. Looking at the Chinese supply, we do see there at 125 to 200. Um, is he still under supply? Doesn't look like that actually did it. So he has a lot of extra houses somewhere, it would seem. But the Rus pouring in some reinforcements. China could actually be in a little bit of danger. They don't seem to have the best macro. I mean, they don't have a lot of military infrastructure. Looking at China, we're only seeing five or six. No, there's actually four or five over here too. Rams definitely need to be pulled back and regrouped with the main army and then another push. But yeah, Rams, Roos Rams especially. Uh, I don't know if he has the Imperial Armory. He probably does, are really, really good. They have the moving city upgrade, which is just nuts. Yeah, it looks like he does have it. So that's going to make him pretty sauced. The Roos fighting off the Chinese defenders. Looks like the Streltsy DPS is really kicking into overdrive. A lot of farms are going down. China is going to be hemorrhaging resources as they desperately try and defend this push. More Rams on their way in. And the Roos are actually starting to reinforce well also. Mike... Holy guacamole, Rich living up to his name. <laughs> Mike, thank you so much for being a member, man, for 15 months. It's been a long journey we've had together, and many more moons and many more good times will come. All right, guys. Rams blasted away to the Imperial Palace. We got the old Spring Alts getting in position. China, this is the most threatened I've seen China. Oh, man, and look at this. The Great Bombards, they need to start firing. He's got to take advantage of this. Although, I don't know if the Ottomans even know that China is under this kind of duress and pressure. Maybe they don't. These players basically semi-AFK over here. We got the Malians as well as the English just chilling out while this crazy, crazy duel of fates goes down here. The Bruce player really stepping it up and going hard in the paint here. Ottomans, they definitely could take advantage of this. I think if you're the Ottoman player, you should 100% dogpile in and, and finish off the Chinese player. Because China Imperial Age is so scary and so strong. He's trying to set up infrastructure on the side, but rapidly losing buildings. The Bombard Cannons knocking into the barbecue of the sun. A couple of Grenadiers chilling out in the barbecue it needs to be taken down. Now we do see the old Great Wall Gatehouse shooting at whatever it can reach on the periphery. Spring ult in the distance can't really do a whole lot against that, but uh, more and more ramps will come in, I would imagine. Looks like the Ottoman artillery is going to be piling in. China is definitely on the foot, back foot, guys. Fawn, thank you for becoming a channel member. Welcome, welcome. Rise, Dukes of Haggard, rise. Yes. Barbican into the sun is down. Streltsy doing work this game, doing so much work. A lot of heavy lifting. Now the Ottomans have brought in the big guns. Oh man, that is a, a big Chungus artillery squad. Look at that. Oh, talk about overkill. Shooting one of those palace guards here. It's the Roos coming in for round two with the battering rams. Absolutely nasty, absolutely nasty stuff indeed. As the old Ottomans uh, do have a big army with which they should be defending these expensive artillery pieces. They're gonna come out, 
But since China's going to lose its army to the Ottomans now over here, or at least be put on the run, that is going to give the Rus the momentum they need to probably finish off our mighty uh, Chinese champion. Which, you know, shout out to Jirai here. He's doing a great hold. Considering he's being rock hard 2v1, you know, it's the nature of the beast though. You know, it's just kind of how the cookie crumbled. With Spiegel getting, oh my god, oh my god. Is he going to get that army? Oh, the Great Bombard saved like half that army there in the last second. Bruce maybe again, kind of hard to keep track of Chinese landmarks. We do have the Imperial Academy and the Great Wall Gatehouse. And I believe the natural TC is right here. But those, no, in Spirit Way in the back. Okay, so he still has a lot. Man, China is so annoying to kill in FFAs with all those landmarks. Uh, these armies need to make sure they don't collide with one another. Rams have gotten to the Imperial Academy. China being pushed back into the bushes here. Wow, they really are teaming up. These two armies are not even fighting right now. They're, I mean, there's a little bit of light skirmishing between them because you can't avoid it. But this is a, this is a, a team effort, to say the least. Great Bombard's coming in. Ottomans probably can finish the job here. And now up in the top, it looks like we do have some Mortal Wombat. Okay, the Malians are knock knocking on Heaven's door. If I could do an Axel Rose impression, I would, but that's 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 some next level stuff. Bombard's moving up, and we do see the English army uh, shock and awe, really. I mean, the Malians just came in like a wrecking ball. It looks like they had a huge siege core, which probably helps them win the initial engagement. And I would imagine the Malian player, it seems like Professor Finbar has some really, really good macro, so overall should be able to reinforce quite well. Trebuchets of the English trying to reinforce. We do see a lot of Malians coming in, and the Muso Fatty trade very well in English men at arms. They're a little bit squishier, but their DPS output is great. But the English army is massive, dude. That is a big old army. Need to get the Megan Ells Zaka into the old uh, hand cannoneers, that is for sure. And yeah, this could be a very back and forth war of attrition here, ladies and gentlemen. We'll have to see. Ram's getting very deep into the Chinese base. Great Wall Gatehouse is down, and it seems like some sort of an alliance is going. And uh, the boys have done it. And the town center here is in uh, massive danger. Good tactical play, taking down the Imperial Age China, knowing that they're very, very strong. It seems like Jirai was a powerhouse. Could have. And this is what you get for China. China had many opportunities to potentially kill the um, Ottomans, but they didn't. Oh my god, look at this! I did not see this! Backdoor Fire Lancer snipe on the Ottomans! Oh, that's such a Chad play. Oh my god, and he's getting in there, guys. He got one landmark down, the other one's gonna pay the troll toll. Let's see how good the micro is for Jirai. TJ, thanks for becoming a member! Oh my god, is he gonna kill him right now? He might! Oh my god, is it happening? Yeah, he lost this armory here. And he's toast! He's absolutely toast! This game is just taking off right now, getting absolutely crunk in the words of the great Little John. Seagate Castle needs to go down. He needs to finish that off right now. Master Pair is going! Is it gonna be enough? Holy shit! And he holds! Oh, wow, dude. That was really, really close. The Seagate Castle was sub 500 HP. He pulled back, and that was basically China's last laugh, dude. Wow. Feels bad for him that he didn't at least get that last laugh, because man, the Ottomans were uh, were potentially on death's door right there. So we do have the Spirit Way hiding in the bushes, the Rus army pushing in and uh, finishing off the last of the Chinese infrastructure. The Chinese Empire looking to be uh, an absolute ruin at this point. So as far as this fight goes, this looks very, very familiar. This looks very familiar. Playing against English late game, even if you're ahead on resources, English defenders are extremely stalwart. They are not easy to get through. They are not easy at all. And let's look at the bank of these two players. Professor Finbar, not the richest on the gold department. And the English defender, Sammy, is probably can defend for a long time. With trebuchets and springalds back here, I think the Malians need to pull back. Although the Rams are getting a little bit of penetration. They're moving in. Uh, they are getting in, taking down some infrastructure. So understandably, but it looks like the English army is just winning this grind here in the front line. Wow, yellow, that was a very scrappy play by Jirai. He almost did it. I mean, I don't think he would have lived, but it certainly would have sent a message here. It looks like the Seagate Castle is fully uh, healed up here, so the threat to the Ottomans has subsided for now. Here in the top, we do have the hand cannoneers duking it out. Having a good old jolly time. And the Rams knock it away through the infrastructure, which can certainly win battles, but I think England is gonna be totally fine in this hold. And honestly, the Malians may have bitten off more than they can chew. England is such an annoying army to attack late game. Like, you have to just, like, outplay them so hard. You can also do raiding. Like, you, you can't just attack them head-on like this. You're going to lose, especially as Malians, who don't have the best late game army. Like, you need to knock down some walls, get into the farms, like, do all that kind of stuff. But man, Sammy's got 27,000, and he's generating gold from his farms. Rams cannot even get in at this point. Um, Professor Finbar really, really needs to pull back. Really, really needs to pull back. How's China looking? The Spirit Way hiding in the bushes is absolutely hilarious that it hasn't been discovered. Uh, does China even have anything on the map? 
He has 47 eco somewhere. He's hiding villagers in the trees. Oh my god, I think the rams have discovered it. I think they know. The rams can smell blood in the water. The villagers are coming for the torch. They're gonna have to torch that shit down right now. It's their last landmark, man. A couple of roost knights are coming over and the rams have discovered his rat's nest. They have discovered it. It's not gonna be long for this world, especially with these roost knights coming in. They'll just cut these villagers to pieces. Uh, up on the top, just this, this is like a hellscape here. This is hell. I, I once had a two hour game. Oh man, who was that with? That was with, um, he's in chat. I, I see his name in chat. I know his name in chat, but in game it's, it's eluding me. <laughs> yeah. But it was an Ottoman mirror match where it was just like this. But the English are actually making momentum here. Hey, Koala, Jankuya Bardzo. Hope you're doing well, my friend, Chest. I guess it's the morning for you. You're waking up. So thank you for the 599, my friend. And I hope all is well over in Poland. All right, the Rams have found it. Spirit Way is uh, not long for this world. Oh my God, why is he not going for the Spirit Way? He could have just taken him out right now. Oh my God, he's letting him live, dude. Yeah, it was with Ezra. That's right, it was with Ezra, yeah. All right, villagers just scurrying around, trying to find a home, trying to survive. Honestly, if you're China, you just scurry like this, and then, uh oh, the Ottomans see them. And it's gonna be vengeance. Yeah, no, these villagers are gonna get rode down by these knights. That is gonna be it. I think my, yeah, I think one of my favorite games of all time is when I was on Mountain Pass. And it was a game when I, I think I had just gotten Conqueror in like season one. And I was playing a player who's clearly better than me, but I was playing HRE and had a lot of relics and was on the defense. And we grinded and Mountain passes choke point for like a good hour and then he gave up because he had to pee. He just left the game. He's like, screw this dude, I, I, got, I got other things to do. Yeah, that's one of my favorites. Um, China still being allowed to live. I don't know why the Roos haven't gone in here and taken down the Spirit Way yet. Enemy destroyed Sammy's landmark. Okay, so it looks like Sammy may have lost a landmark on the edge. <laughs> But overall, like, England is probably going to potentially kill the Malians here. The Malians are going to have to start thinking outside of the box, for sure. Because Sammy's army is really good. I mean, he's got mass trebuchets, and trebuchets on England are actually good at killing, like, Siege. Let's see, they're able to shoot back there, and uh, they're going to get some momentum here. And England will out outgrind you, like, all day, every day. Yeah, let's go ahead and take a look here and see. Yep, another one taken down there. Hand Cannoneers of England with the attack speed buff. Just disgusting, absolutely disgusting. And the Ottomans are coming in to finish the job too. They all want to get rid of China. They're like, they're like, you know, nobody's nobody's able to find his last little rat's nest here. And now are we going to see a betrayal from the Lamb? Is the Lamb going to head across and do a backstab on the Malians? That would basically end the game for the Malians. They would be toast. Malians are sieging or being besieged now by the English. We do see the old Trebs knocking things away here. Peeling and chat saying my favorite was watching Turin fight deep in the mountains, trying to make a comeback at the bitter end, only to find out his foe had the second wall. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that happens. Age of Empires makes for some very, very fun gameplay. It's a great game, man. It's a great game. And I'm happy that it's going to keep getting supported. That is for sure. All right, guys. Looking around. What do we got? We have the Streltsy and the Ram Legion hanging out. Oh, my God. They all keep running right past this last Chinese landmark, dude. They just keep running right past it. And China's just weaseling around the map. I love it. Oh my god, he's got five eco. China has one villager in the bushes. But China can build TCs. And they can rebuild. Are they going to discover it? Here we go. Alright, China's moving down. Oh, they finally discovered it! Oh no! Jirai, you were, you were too good for this world, my friend. The roosts were coming too. It looks like they wanted to put an end to this as well. Alright, up on the top, guys. The English player getting some nasty momentum. Malian's looking to be on the back foot a little bit, guys. This could be, if England starts spamming out rams, like with this push and just starts getting that sweet momentum and you know, using their spring all the advantage to snipe the Malian artillery, that could be game blouses. Man, nice sniping here by Sammy. Sammy picks off a mango right there. Longbows parks behind the walls there. And that's gonna be the end of China. Well played, G Rai, you did great. You got 2v1, you paid the troll toll, but you were a champ in all of our hearts. So GG, well played to you. Hope you're in chat hanging out. All right, guys, well played China. Up to the north, we do have the lamb. Looking like he wants to backstab here. England gonna be very scary here. Anybody trying to 1v1 this English player, it's gonna be it's gonna be an uphill battle. You really gotta do some heavy raids. You know, like sneak it, like start dual pushing. English players are kind of like like Terran in StarCraft, I feel. Like back in back in StarCraft, one of the best ways to beat Terran players who you know love using siege tanks and uh, defensive emplacements and have upgraded uh, you know, upgraded uh, command centers. 
right, is the split push them. Because a lot of Terran mech players just hate being split pushed because it's really like micro incentive to reposition tanks to defend against multiple pushes and things like that, right? So it's kind of, England is very much the same. It's like, if you push into an English like entrenchment position, dude, you're going to get absolutely dumped on. But if you split push them and force them to fight on multiple fronts, I've noticed a lot of English mains do struggle with that for sure. But um, yeah, just a little bit of speculation. Hills is still around. The Ottomans are still hanging in there. He's probably got an okay bank. Let's see. Ah, it's all right. Only a thousand gold. So he's, he's not, he's not feeling too good. He could definitely use some milk. Um, Smeagol, of course, is gone from the game. Lamb up top is hanging. And this could be a long time here, guys. This could be a long time. I feel like we're going to get uh, a bit of a potato standoff right now. Where the players in the game, like, aren't capable of killing one another. <laughs> so we just get one of those, like, grueling standoffs, dude. Absolutely grueling standoffs. Uh, my favorite time turn game was when he reached Conquer the first time. 15... Oh. <laughs> yeah, the first time we reached Conquer, this I was playing this guy and I was like super hyped. I was diamond, I was top of diamond. It was the first time I was gonna reach Conquer. I, I reached it a couple times, but uh, this 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 guy, it's in the beginning. He's he's going for sheep, and he um, he accidentally like loses his like scout to my TC in the beginning with like 15 sheep, and he just leaves. And I, that's how I got it. That was pretty hilarious. How would Skaven fare if they were a faction in this game? They'd be really nasty. Like play claw catapults. Rattling Gunner Machine Guns, Giselle Sniper Rifles, Rat Ogres, like, come on. Skaven would be really scary. It'd basically be like Skaven versus the Empire, though, in many ways. But, you know, again, without magic. All right, big push coming in from the Lamb. Backstabbing the Malians and keep dropping him also. Shit is getting wild in here, dude. And that's going to be a brutal keep drop because if it secures this ground and then he's able to knock down the Fulani Corral, shutting down a lot of the food eco, that's going to be brutal. Looks like we do have a Culverin in there, which is sniping some artillery. TC is going to pay the price, and it looks like the Streltsy army mows down the Malians, ladies and gentlemen. Wow, this is actually really dangerous here, guys. Keep is up. Ram's taking down the town center, and wow, the landmarks are really close. Mansa and Fulani, and where is the last landmark? It's probably over here somewhere. I don't know where it is. Um... Is it dead at the moment? No, I'm not seeing it. That Roost push is very nasty. Fulani's going to go down. That's going to be shutting down his uh, his resources here. He's going to start suffering for food. Looks like he still actually has a lot on food. He's got a lot of farms up top. but So yeah, he's going to be okay without the Fulani Corral, I suppose. But that's still going to be a big, big punishment. And the dreaded Roost backstab is, is definitely huge. Those Roost battering rams are just going to just put a huge dent in this base. Especially if they get the mosque down. And shut off the gold gravy train and the uh, the tithe barns, right? That's going to be disgusting. Dude, the Roost Relty army is just foul. It's just absolutely mowing down everything that moves in here. This is just brutal, brutal firepower coming in from the Roost. And as far as the old English go, the English player looks like he's going to start pushing too, which is going to be very bleak for the Malians. So the Malians could be the next one to fall victim to a 2v1 situation. But that's what happens here in these FFA games, right? As the game does go on. It's either Griot Bar or Fortress of the Hunt. Yeah, not sure where it is. I'm not sure where it is. Now looking across, here it is, Fortress of the Hunt. So it's a little bit deep set in the base. Could take the Roost a moment to get there. Ram's still making progress. A lot of landmarks going down. The English player is now attacking the Roost. I have to say, the alliances are really weird. They're very weird, this game. Like, people have just been push and pulling. Like, these strange backstabs. Like, why would the English player help the Malians? If I was the English player, and I knew the Malians were being taken care of, and I didn't have to spend my resources to do it, dude, I would let them go all day, dude. I feel like they're going to kill a little bit of infrastructure out here, but, yeah, we'll have to see. Roost still getting some nice ram pressure, and honestly, the Malians are looking really, really weak right now. They have taken massive casualties. Uh, the relics are potentially going to be taken. The English player getting real crunk, though. He's moving in, and... Uh, Cutting off the Roost reinforcements. Pretty strange. I wonder what the reason is for this. We have this keep here, which is going to get cannon emplacements, all sorts of goodies. But bards are still tearing through. Rams have made some respectable progress. Uh, the Fortress of the Hunt is the last landmark, so the Roost are encroaching on that. But they're going to have to pull back to deal with this English army now, which is going to slow things down. Uh, Old Hills is just hanging out. He's, he's, a, he's, a, he's a peaceful man. You know, he's a peaceful man. He, he, he does not seek war. War comes to him, and he fights it when he has to, but... Yeah, the Roost Ramstein is nasty. I mean, look at the Malian base. The Malian's base just got absolutely flattened. And now the English probably going to lose this army. Uh, the Roost do have the home field advantage. Going to be losing one of their keeps they just dropped down. And 
Now their Rams, uh, I believe, have dissipated. I don't think there are so many more Rams around. And they had a couple up top. Look at this. The Malians are going to give the uh, the Rus a taste of their own business with the Ramstein. Down goes the English army, though, getting swarmed by the Rus knights and the Streltsy. Couple spring all still left, but overall, I think it is going to be a white for the English. And the English probably will not attack again over here. Yeah, very strange choice to attack the Rus, though. Look at the Malians. They're pushing back. Taking advantage of the opportunity to push back the Rus. And the Streltsy are going to be overwhelmed due to the sheer numbers, so they are going to fall. That was a big brick of Streltsy. Certainly very, very strong. But let them fight, you know. It's like Godzilla and Mothra, you know, all that stuff. You gotta, you gotta let them fight. What is the big scary alien one? It's Ghidorah, right? Is that what it is? It's, is it Fedora? <laughs> one of those things. All right. I remember in the early 2000s when Fedoras became a bit of a trend. Yeah, yeah. I remember that. That was a time. Were they a thing in Europe, you know? Like, here in America, we had, like, the, the trend of fedoras. Like, it kind of became associated with, like, neckbeards. You know, the whole milady thing and all that. But was that a thing in, like, Europe and the rest of the world? Wherever you're from? Kind of curious. King Ghidorah. Yes, that's what it was. All right, so the roots are popping back out. The English army just kind of hanging out over there. Not really sure what they're up to. The Roos do have those badass blade weapons. It's so cool how they have those like hand axes. Warrior monks with 300 HP. Absolute middle linebackers. Looks like they're going to go down and try and finish off the English army, which is smart, and then res resume your push of the Malians. You know. King Fedora. <laughs> I thought that was good. Yeah, we're still streaming, baby. Yeah, we're still going hard. It's fun. You know, in Europe, we have something called fashion. How dare you? Are you telling me mullets aren't fashionable? Mullets and Canadian tuxedos? The jean, jack the jean jacket with the jeans. I actually dressed like that for a long time. I love the Canadian tuxedo. It's one of my favorite. Fa it's one of my favorite ways to dress. I just like denim, you know. All right, so the Rus uh, being swarmed, but it looks like they've officially dealt with the English, and English is gathering a random army in the middle of the map. And I have no idea what the Ottomans are up to. Holy shit! The Ottomans coming in with the steel chair. This huge army coming out of nowhere, guys. Wow. Okay. This could actually be trouble. Those are a lot of great bombards, guys. And the hill has emerged. The hills do have eyes, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my god. Are the Rus in danger? That's a shit ton of Janissaries, too. Janissaries, of course, do some pretty respectable damage. That is absolutely nasty. All right, so those bad boys are going to be moving up here. Oh god, did the internet crash? Okay, no, it's just YouTube. We're good. Chat should be back online in just a second. But the Janissaries continue to fight. Great Bombard's knocking down the Kremlin. Oh my god, look at the Gremlin swarm! That is so many. 118 Roos Militia! Oh, that's so cool. So the Roos Militia are going to be saving the day, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, wow. How much damage do they actually do? 25 on the Militia Axe is a pretty oh, decent yeah. amount of damage. Jeez. So the Ottomans are going to be forced back. The Roos holding on like absolute champions. Being the hard two v one, three v one situation almost. I, I really wonder what the uh, I really wonder what the chat is like in this game. Like what the players are saying. Are they calling the Roos the biggest threat? Malians are rebuilding. They got their relics back online, which is really big. And now they're gonna have a big army. The Roos could really be in danger here. When the uh, when the militia do diminish here in about twenty seconds, there's gonna be a huge opportunity for the Malians to push. And the English are coming over here too. What the hell is going on? Why are they all going after the Roos? Understandably, he's strong, but I mean, he's not that much stronger than any of the other players. It's it's an interesting. There's got to be some big politics going on. Malian's going to be losing all these uh, men-at-arms here, so suddenly they're just like, no, we don't feel like defending anymore. Screw this shit. We're not being paid enough. I always found that to be kind of a weird mechanic. On the other side, Trebuchet is knocking the walls down. The warrior, are these warrior scouts? Oh, no, they are. The warrior scouts getting into melee combat with the archers. And the Malian's going to be trying to push, but this Roost player, is, the Lamb, is, is really showing his strength here in the fourth quarter. He is, uh, he is not giving up easy. Despite being heavily pushed by multiple players, English army just waiting at the gates. It's like, it's almost like they're they're taking turns attacking him. You know, like, oh, hey, bud, it's my shift. All right, let's, let's, we're going in. Yeah, the alliances have been very weird this game. The Ottomans, in the meantime, rebuilding. You know, the army is going to be gathering at the gates. And the Roost player, once again, defends his shores. Um, he's If you're the Roost player in this situation, you got to be doing some big politics. you got to be just being like, why, why are you guys 3 v wanting me? You know, I, like, I'm, not, I'm not as strong as the Malians. They have six relics. Like, you got to be throwing everything you can. This is, this is a very egregious 2v1. Like, and I don't know how much longer he's going to be able to hold, especially if the English really commit to it. 
The reason why some of these pushes are taking longer is, is because none of the players are really reinforcing super efficiently. So they're taking their time. Um, how is the Roos Eco looking, by the way? Oh, he's toast. He's got only 600 food right now, and there's just a full English army at his gates. That's going to be nasty, especially if the uh, Malians start bringing some Rams in, which they have. Yep, so the Roos are toast, guys. And now there's there's going to be three after that. I, I don't see the Roos holding for too much longer. They lost the, the Gremlin. Um, it looks like that was a religious monastery. Town center is here. The high armory is here. And did he hide a landmark in the shadows? He does have one in the back, which is smart. He's got the high trade out. So there's a chance the Roos could survive by turtling in the back of their base. For the Roos, it'd probably be worth it to give up the front right now and just kind of fall back. But man, I, I'm surprised they're really going so hard in the paint on them. Malians were going to die too. Like the English player should have waited for the Malians to die to the Roos and then they go in and backstab them. The Lamb was lying. Yeah, he was. Absolutely. Lamb played very well. But he's out of steam now. He's, he's still banking a little bit of food. He's got a nice little eco in the back backwoods here, but 800 bounty as well. Relics being taken. That's huge. The Malians are jacking all the relics. And the Bruce players are going to come in and try and disrupt this. He's going to say, not 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 on my watch. He does pop down those, uh, those monks as they try and get away there. Shaman, whatever they're called. And uh, yeah, man, this is a strange one. I feel like England, England's going to be so jacked here. Now England is kind of like backstabbing the Malians a little bit. This is a weird game, dude. This is so weird. The politics of this one are just all over the place, dude. All over the place. Like going after the Rams that are coming in to finish off the Roost player. And now the Roost player is going to be able to rebuild. Uh, what are the Ottomans up to? Ottomans are really not doing much. He's just literally secret agent moving these great bombards up here. Leaving his army down here. And uh, what is he going to start shooting at the English or something? Malian's getting good ram pressure. Roos hold, barely holding on. The lamb has got, what, like 40 eco? His military's at six. He's losing his eco infrastructure, so he's not going to be able to produce a whole lot. And uh, where is the army of the Malians? It's gathering. England pulling back. I think they know the bombards are here. Yeah, let's see, look, no conflict here whatsoever. There's clearly an alliance. He is not attacking the English player. Like, the English, any, any player would take that opportunity, right? They would go after that. They would take those bombards down. But instead, he lets them live. And the, the Ottomans are just leaving the army in the corner. Might be a little bit of a newer player um, hanging out there. So shout out to you, Hills, for jumping in here, testing your metal, if you are a little bit newer. And uh, yeah, it's it's going to continue, man. The Rams making good progress. Roos trying to defend. Don't know why the Malians aren't going for the throat right now. They need to go in, secure these relics, and push. Ottomans get a couple sacred sites. They pull back. The English army pulls back as well. Is the English army going to just backstab now? Oh my god, are they going for the walls of the Malians? What is this shit? This is the weirdest game, dude. Just going after a random ass pit mine here? Oh, this is so weird. Because now the Roos are going to stabilize. They're going to come back. They're going to rebuild their buildings. Oh my god, look at he's going for a sacred victory. What is this? Oh my god, look at this. He's going for it, man. Oh my god. <laughs> what is this sacred site play? That's just going to make everybody go after him. Or at least the English will. I don't know. Malian's got attacked by the English. This is like a chaos game, dude. This game is chaos. This is like, this is like, uh, I have a, I don't know how many of you guys in chat play Magic the Gathering, like play commander format, but my, my personal pet deck of all time, I have a deck that's just pure misery. It's white, red, it's Mardu colors. And all it's running is awful, awful, like kill everyone spells, land destruction, stacks effects. It never wins, but it just makes every game torment. It's just funny to whip out like every like once a month to make your friends laugh, you know? And then you just don't play it again the rest of the night. But um, those, this is like what this is. This is just pure chaos, just pure suffering. Marine Emperor says, see what I mean? On early aggression maps, people uh, never feel safe enough in their bank to take risks and end things quickly. Yeah, I suppose that's true. I, dude, I thought this was going to be way quicker, but we're looking at a two-hour game right now. Because, like, they just can't quite finish each other off, you know what I'm saying? Maybe this conflict will lead to something. Maybe the English will make some ground now. The English player's got to be the richest. I mean, the fact that he's got English Farmville going means he's going to have gold when nobody else does. Yeah, land destruction is definitely the most evil way to play Magic. It is. Uh, Mike in chat saying this weekend at Riot Fest, a band called Pennywise gave a shout out to our Lord and Savior Fred Durst. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. I always knew, dude. I've I've been I've been a Limp Biscuit fan since I was like 10 years old, and I still listen to them. I, I'll go to the grave on that one, dude. 
All right, so it's going down here. It looks like the archer is going to be pulling back. And uh, yeah, the pressure is on. The Roos, the Roos are just like, it's weird. Is he going to go attack the Malians again? Or I, I think the Roos have to just lick their wounds. They just have to heal up. You know, they can't, they can't really afford to uh, go out and do much fighting now. So I think those bad boys are going to do it. Yeah, oh yeah, goading is a really fun mechanic. Yeah, goading is great in magic. I wish you could goad in this game, you know? Force people to attack each other, but I don't know if it's going to be the case. Honestly, guys, I don't know when this one's going to end. Oh my god, look at the damage from those English shattering projectiles, dude. Just nailing those guys in the walls. They're going to take massive casualties, and the walls are going to go down as well. Oh! Big damage! Malian's forced back. And now we're back to like where we started. The blood feud of blood feuds, you know? These bad boys just going to hang out and uh, they're going to make it happen. Shattering projectiles getting sweet AoE damage, sniping the artillery of Professor Finbar. Finbar has a huge bank of food and wood though, so it can make pretty low tier units nonstop. English player looks to be committing to the fight. Macroing out of the middle, getting reinforcements in. Trebuchets could be compromised here pretty hard. Looks like the tribes are going to pull back. English going to be trying to defend them against the mass amounts of spears. And the Ottomans are just, they're just wild cards, dude. I don't know what they're doing. They, they are an agent of chaos. Hill's just channeling his inner dandy dragon, you know? He, he occasionally moves when somebody like tries to steal some gold from him or something, but he's like Smaug sitting on his treasure trove when Bilbo comes in and robs him, but yeah, man, some wild stuff. I think this is going to be the war, though. You got you to gotta try and make some progress. Somebody has to try and win here. The Bruce are making a Shelty army. They really like their Shelty knight combo. It's very gold intensive, but certainly not bad. Bruce can build the hunting cabin, so they have a good, good, decent source of sustainable gold as well. So the Malian army gets folded up, and I mean, if the English push the tempo, no, don't go attack the Bruce right now. I swear. If the English go over here and attack the Bruce, I'm getting hungry, dude. I got, I got dinner waiting out there probably, you know, and and just the, the suffering. It just must continue. I think the, what's, what's the, of all the FFA games we've ever had, I'm trying to think of the, the most long, long, miserable suffering game we ever had. I think it was like a two or three hour match in a tournament, which was between two players who were, I think, bronze or silver level. And they just couldn't kill each other. And it was like the most, the most brutal shit ever. It was just, it was just gnarly, man. Oh my God. All right. English moving in, setting up towers. Good, good. Sammy, that's what I'm talking about. Teal just waiting in the shadows. He's, he's moving now, though. He said he got keeps, too. What if he just whips out a wonder somehow? Does he have the resources? Probably not. No. Eh, not terrible, though. He's got a good bank of primaries. Malian's losing the fight, obviously. If England wants to, they can win this. They can come in. Yeah, that was the big cranny game. Yeah. Oh, God, that game was suffering, dude. There was, like, so many moments where it could have ended, but it just didn't. Oh, God, that was just hell on earth. The Bronze Odia. Yeah, it was a Bronze Odia game for sure. The Malians are going to be able to pour units in for a long time, but their units are just getting out-traded so hard by the English. And the English, are they sending more reinforcements in? They are, slowly but surely. Malian army just getting absolutely pounded. You can see rams being sent out, which is hilarious by the Malians. Houses going down as well. The Roos are still rebuilding. Roos could become a player in this game again if they can, if they manage to keep their eco alive, which it looks like they did. Just a couple wild rams moving by in their natural habitat. The thing is, the entire Malian army is, like, lightly armored, so the English longbowmen just, like, wreck them super hard. Granted, the English longbow AI is shooting at the rams, which is a massive loss of DPS, which is actually allowing the Malians to uh, kind of push them back a little bit. Is England macroing units? Okay, now they are. So we got men-at-arms coming. Men-at-arms are very strong here, and the rams are here. Rams are trying to push back the towers as they do progress. Somebody said the longest game you had was with Twist, I believe. The one that he wouldn't finish people in a drug out for three plus hours, dude. That's the stuff of legends, man. Imagine casting like a 24 hour game. That would be, that would be something else. I'd have to like kind of change my cadence and just chill out a little bit on the commentary for 20, if it went 24 hours probably. Um, knock down there. You get barracks and hand cannoneers and longbows still shooting away. Malian's just pouring resources into this fight. Just like absolute potato units. Granted, Malian archers are very good. Um, that does give them some decent fighting even without gold. Because Malian archers have the poisoned arrows, which can help deal with like, you know, more durable targets and things like that. All right, um, yeah, Malian's still going, but their resources are diminishing a little bit. Is anybody running out of wood? Nope, there's no end in sight. Roos are just AFK rebuilding, and uh, the English player is winning these trades. They're spending way less resources for sure. 
And they have gold too. Looking at the English bank, 71 with 9,000 gold. The English player should just win this. Uh, should 100% win this. Looks like there's a little bit of pressure on the trebuchets in the back. Trebuchets knocking down what appear to be some houses. Let's look at the housing situation of Finbar here. It looks like he's not behind on any regard there. Koala, you play Magic? How do you like the new Lord of the Rings cards? I like them. I have a I have a Sam and Frodo deck. It's very fun. Jankuya Barto, my friend. Eat some pierogies in my honor out there, yeah? Malian's diving the artillery. English longbows just still daka, 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 poking away. If they did a keep drop here, like an English keep drop, that'd be brutal. Man, we even have cannon towers being set up on the periphery. And then, oh my god, he's moving, ladies and gentlemen. He's moving. Where's he gonna go? We have the old Ottomans. They got the, the Penta Bombards. Are they just gonna go attack the Rus? Just gonna have two 1v1s here in this battle? Or is he gonna backstab the English and add another two hours to this game? Because that certainly would add a lot of time to the game. Professor Finbar hemorrhaging resources though, hemorrhaging. He had about 15,000 wood, now he's down to six. So those resources are diminishing very, very quickly. Yeah, the Malian poison is very good. It's just good regardless. Yeah, it's very strong. Couple towers being built here. Ottomans coming in. Oh, he's got the bombards. English player pulling back, which is smart. You want them to help. Oh, that's some big damage. Shooting into the archers on the flanks. Should have hit the center mass, but it's all good. Rams for the Malians coming in is a bit of a distraction. Men at arms, of course, can take care of them if they need to. And the Ottomans have arrived. You know, he he does he cares not to win the game. He just wants to basically uh, draw blood here. And I mean that is a lot of great bombards. Holy shit, that damage. Smart play from the English, running back and letting those two armies fight. You know, let the boy watch, right? Let him watch what's going to be consecrated here this day. All right, guys, pulling back. Malian player, Professor Finbar, fighting tooth and nail. What appears to be a bit of a 2v1 now. His resource is getting low. The great bombards being attacked by archers, so not going to be a whole lot of damage there. And the English player could start pushing up top here. That, that would be good. Like, while they're fighting here, you could just do a little bit of a flank push or something. That wouldn't be bad at all. Yeah, Teal ends up fighting blue. And the English player is going to be moving up top and just trying to knock some walls down and push in there, which is very smart. Considering the Ottoman army is really, really just putting a big hurting on this force. Dude, look at the rams coming out. He's down to 2,000 wood, guys. 2,000 wood. Roost player probably has an okay bank now, too. Yeah, it's all right. 3,000, 3,000. He still hasn't been able to re repair his Kremlin, which he really should get that repaired. So he could start generating militia tokens again. And at the end of the day, the Bombard Cannon's pulling back. He did a lot of damage to the Malians. And we do see the dreaded back door coming in here as he does try and make his way back. But it's all mangoes, so probably not going to be enough. How are the Malians looking on resources? 3,000. So they're they're keeping relatively positive here. You know, the Malians have great food with the Fulani Corral, which appears to be online. So he's able to continue getting a good food bank. And now the English player going to be moving in. Professor Finbar in a very nasty 2v1 situation. Roost player has a lot of rams. If the Roost were to backstab the Malians, that would be GG for them. Assuming he actually finishes, follows through, right? Uh, because, I mean, that's a lot of rams. The Roos have the upgraded rams. They could easily get through these walls, take down the Fulani, the town center, and that would just cut off all their income and resources and things like that, so. England versus Malians, round two. Rams on rams! There's just annoying rams everywhere. Age of rams is upon us. I wonder if their relic is going to nerf rams. I feel like they could. I feel like they could indeed. Sammy's scrapping hard, but so too are the Malians. Those cannon towers lending a lot of DPS here. It's like a couple villagers and men at arms trying to take down the rams. Even archers are lending their blades to the cause, or their, their bows, I suppose. English army here pulling back, going to be dealing with the ram push. You can see how annoying rams are, buying a ton of time for the Malians. They might even be able to resecure their walls here if they want to, like rebuild the walls and maybe stabilize it. We'll see. We'll see. Now on the other side, the roost player building his little uh, rat's nest of walls. I would love to see a roost backstab right now. If Lamb just came in here and just like went ham in this base, did another keep drop like he did before, that would be pretty fat. All right, so the last of the Rams is going to fall here. It looks like it's finally being taken down. It's massive HP pool of 500, no joke. And uh, the last Ram, yep, there it goes. All right, Malian's still defending. Finbar is down to 500 wood though. Please, for the love of the gods, England, do not take your pet off the metal. This has happened so many times this game where people have just been close to getting there and then they don't do it. They don't do it. They need to do it, dude. We need, What we need is a little bit of this. We need some Howard Dean. A little bit of that, you know. That needs to be going down. People need to channel their inner Howard Dean to get this. Bruce Rams at the ready. Ottomans just, they just emerge every couple generations. They're like some ancient evil that just...
pops out. Oh my God, he's going. <laughs> and then he's going to grab the sacred sites. Oh dear God, please keep fighting. No, no, he's going to distract the English and the English isn't going to push. Oh, come on English, please. No. Oh God, he's only has 500 wood. He won't be able to fight you at all if you push him. I wonder, the Roost player is semi-AFK too. Okay, so that's gonna be grabbed. He's gonna decap that. He uses his whole army to do it. Come on, Sammy. Sammy, you're my hero, dude. You are my pathway to feasting right now. Uh, I'll, I'll figure it out, Allied. Yeah, I'll figure it out. Wednesday, uh, might be, today's Monday, right? We could do something Wednesday, yeah, like Wednesday afternoon. I'll, uh, I'll schedule with you guys in Discord after this. Oh, come on, for the love of the gods, dude. He's, he's getting this, but look, he, he, they, they just have like scholars standing nearby just chilling. I think those are the, the Delhi ones from earlier in this game, which feels like it was a different one. All right. Teal is chilling out, which I respect. Somebody in chat says he has kids. Hey, shout out there, man. You, you got your priorities straight. That's for sure. Hanging out. You know, got to take care of the kids and then come back and attack every now and then. Um, and here we just have the dreaded roost just building gates, which makes me think maybe they're thinking about attacking. You know what? We need to get a mod. <laughs> we need to get a mod for our FFA games where it's like the hand of God. Where like as the spectator, I can like smite things. <laughs> oh my God. Wouldn't that be funny? To have like a hand of God. Yeah, that would be, that would be really funny. I don't know how you would utilize that best. Yeah, like a hand of God mod would be really cool where I could like spawn things like resource nodes. Like I, that, I wouldn't, smiting would be a little bit brutal, but maybe like... Spawning resources and like, you know, all that kind of stuff. Oh, and they could like have a tribute system where they can send tribute to the gods and they're given boons. Oh, wouldn't that be fun? Like imagine they can send tribute to the spectator and then the spectator is like a god and they could, um, they could reward them with resources or like nodes or like relics or something. That would be really cool. All right, guys. Dude, straw poll for who to smite, exactly. Yeah, be one of the chaos gods. Dude, finally! He's attacking! O'Malley and archers get thumped by those mangoes, but the mangoes are gonna get wrecked by the counterplay of the culverins here. Okay, a lot of the army falls. England has its king. The king of England is back, baby. All right, let's go, man. It is time. So the archers continuing to shoot. Manganels just being absolutely obliterated by the culverins and springalds. And uh, the Hellish War of Attrition continues. That sounds like an actually doable version of that. Yeah, let me know. If you can if you can figure it out, Arena. If one of our glorious map makers can figure that out, I would 100% do that. Unfortunately, YouTube doesn't really have streaming integrations. It's not something they do. They're a little bit behind. I think someday it will, but... All right, guys. Yeah, we'll do some biblical stuff, like destroy the walls of a city. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy stuff. All right, guys. Battle Rage is on here. Malians have really good culverin, which is like very strong. Professor Finbar is obliterating the siege of the English, which is really slowing the push down. But the English unit quality is way better. Men at arms, longbows are gonna be outclassing a lot of the uh, equivalents on the other side. Oh, finally, please, please do it. Come on, baby. Come on, get in there. A move, lamb. You, you could be the hero that we all deserve. Dude, you know what's gonna happen right now, guys? You know what's going to happen. Teal is just going to come back from the bushes and just like somehow attack the roost base. And then the roost player is going to pull back and defend it. And then we're going to be here for another two hours. Okay. Come on, baby. Get in there, Rams. This, this should be the end of at least Professor Finbar. I don't see this going well, especially with like a, this fully erect roost army backdooring with all these Rams. All right, here we go. So the Rams have arrived. One landmark's down, the other one, I wonder if he knows where the Fortress of the Hunt is. There's pretty much no chance the Malians can defend this if the English keep pressing like this. There's no chance. It would basically be it. Um, yeah, Jaren, I think that'd be good. That sounds like a good idea. We'll work it out. Big night pressure coming in. Back eco's gonna be taken down. That's gonna be shutting down the Fulani Corral and all the cattle and everything. Ram's making progress. Looks like relics are being taken. Oh my God, Professor is scrapping so hard. He's scrapping so hard. But the English player's got a lot of trebuchets here now. Culverins, we need to get a little bit closer. England is still putting pedal to the metal. 
as the Rams make their way through the back city here. Oh god. Oh god, please, Hills. Where's he- where's he going with these bombards? Is he gonna go, like, sneak into this base of the English and try and landmark snipe him or something? Hold on. One, two, three. Oh my god, he actually could. I mean, if he had enough, there's four landmarks are all right next to each other. They're, that base is just absolutely asking to be landmark sniped. Rams making progress, guys. And it looks like the Malians are gonna probably be done for. I mean, they're they're really low on wood too, and the English players are just keeping the pressure on now. This has been a very Chad hold though from Professor Finbar. He's been doing great, but yeah, the infrastructure is going down. Villagers are being harried in the fields. Uh, relics are offline, so it's gonna be hem basically taking away what little gold he has. Rams killing houses also. Finbar's down to 140 max supply because of the housing situation. <laughs> and finally, it's happened. One less player, ladies and gentlemen. I'm, est I'm, a I'm estimating we'll probably see the end of this game at like 2 hours and 15 minutes. So, maybe another 30 or 40 minutes would be my guess. Based on the current dynamics of the match. The Ottomans won't be too easy to kill. Although, the English could probably go down there and kill them. But then the Roos are an X-Factor that need to be taken care of. Three-player games can go really long because people get afraid to take action, you know. Alright, Ram's still clearing through. England, what's England doing? Oh my god, no! No, what are they doing? Wait, he just likes these. Just rolling around with only the bombards. He just rolling around with just these. Bomb he doesn't bring his army to protect him. What is he doing with these five random ass bombards, dude? Those things are expensive. They're like, how much are they? 600, 800 gold, something like that. Even more. I guess he makes them for free. Okay, and now England is gonna be like, all right, dude, enough. I'm just gonna kill these. I'm just gonna take those out. Oh my god, that's so funny, dude. And now looking around, we do see the base getting absolutely torched. The Fortress of the Hunt is going to be the last bastion, basically. And uh, will the Roos go for the kill? They should discover it pretty quickly. I mean, three landmarks are down. Roos player, if they just move up north and kill this, that's basically GG for our opponent here. Oh my god, no. 900 gold for Great Bombards? Yeah, that's a lot. Please, no. No god, no. Do not attack the Roos. Please, Roos player. Please. Please get the kill on this. We need we need to make some progress. Oh my god, and now the English are backstabbing him. Oh god, please don't pull back, Roos. Come on. Come on, kill the Fortress of the Hunt. Hill's down here. What is he up to? Okay, he's just AFK. Hey, he's trading though. 22 trade a pop. It's better than nothing. Fortress of the Hunt is down. And the Malians have fallen. Okay. Oh man, I was concerned he was going to retreat when he saw that and come back to fight the English. But now the Roost player has done his job, and it looks like he's going to go relic hunting, which is going to be very strong. He's going to get fought four relics. Massive. Take this one down, too. Dude, wouldn't it be funny if Hills just, like, randomly won this game somehow? He just, like, slaps, like, a sacred victory down. He's been pretty persistent about that. He's just, like, moving up a random, like, scholar every now and then and grabbing a sacred site or a, or a imam. English player looks like they're going to be putting some pressure on the Roost base. The Roost, uh, probably pulling back now. They've done their job. There might be a marketplace. Well played to you, Professor Finbar. This is this is like a classic suffering match, you know? Wow, 12? The Roos are almost close to a freaking wonder. If they wanted to. Oh my god, does he... But he has the Gremlin, so he's not able to... Uh, he never repaired his Gremlin. That's a big mistake. He would be able to summon a bunch of militia right now to defend his base. Yeah, we'll see. We will see. So the English player sieging the base... Knocking down landmarks. Town center is in trouble. Kremlin killed once again, it looks like. And the high armory is there. Trade house in the back. Still generating deer, which is bounty, which is always good. And uh, are we just going to get a 1v1? Probably, with like a semi-AFK Ottomans down in the corner. I suspect that that's what it's going to be. Alright, guys. So the dude's doing it. The Roos army going to be flanking with a lot of cavalry. Might be able to get on top of the Mangonels. That would be quite huge. Their own Mango Corps is on its way over. And yeah, the Roos are richer than I thought. Those, tra those cabins are generating quite a bit of money for him. And if the Roos player manages to get these relics... Oh man, he's ready to party here. He's got three, three uh, warrior monks. Going to be grabbing those goodies. Honestly, yeah, the English player might be in some trouble. But then we're just going to have the random Agent of Chaos pop out. You think Hills is going to win it? He does have that market. He's one of the only ones trading here. I mean, let's look at his eco at the moment. So currently looking at hills. Ah, he's not that rich. It's not that, it's very little gold on his route. I think it's like 22 or something. Not 25 per, per way. Not the worst. So the Roos army with its spears and guns gonna poke down the English force. Mangonels nailing those frontline troopers also. 
And that is the end of the English invasion force. If the Rus go for a wonder, oh God, please. Please, please, Anakin, I'm too weak. I, I can't. This thumbnail that I made for tonight's stream is the most apt thumbnail ever. Yeah, it's, 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 it's exactly how I feel right now. Palpatine's face just suffering and hungry. Hills to AFK to contribute. Yeah, I don't know. He moves every now and then. Very much a dandy dragon. England, England's going to need forward infrastructure if they want to make any solid progress. But, um, oh man, guys, this is going to take a while. Holy shit. This is going to take so long. Sacred site being grabbed in the middle. He's not AFK. You see, he moves, he moves one of his imams out every like five minutes and grabs the, grabs the sacred site. And then the English player just pushes him off like a couple seconds later. Is English player trading? It looks like he is. So we found a marketplace. 14 to pop. Certainly not the best trade though. Man, yeah, it's a pretty pitiful trade. England could go set up a market here and do some effective trading. I don't think the Bruce player would even think to check that either. Hill's probably fighting a kid. <laughs> well played. Oh, he's moving. Oh, baby, let's go. He's here. Glorious standoff, dude. You guys just put this evil on me. I feel like you guys in Discord like arranged this match to be like this. Smeagol crashed on purpose. Because if, if, if Chris's back was in this game, he would have ended it by now, I think. So he dropped on purpose just so I would have to suffer. That's my conspiracy theory. Oh my god, here it comes. Okay, a little 2v1. Looks like they might be going for it. <laughs> Hills with the 69 APM. Hell yeah, dude, the blessed number. He's got his rams coming. I mean, he's got a lot of rams. The Roost player could be in danger if they time it correctly. Are they like friends or something? I feel like they might be. Okay, sacred side is taken. Oh, Lamb going wonder. Yes. Lamb. All right, guys. I'm making a proclamation right now. If the Lamb lives in the United States and if he wins this game, I will send him an Applebee's gift card of $10. And he can go buy half of an appetizer from Applebee's. I'll pay the postage, whatever. I'll email it to him. But he's got to he's got to win it. He has to be in the U.S. Obviously, too. The Applebee's gift card is on the line. Yes. Thank the dark gods. He built a wonder. I feel like the other players might struggle to get through him. The Mac, the, the Mac, like, because the thing is, Hills is going to lose this whole army, and I don't know how quickly he's going to be able to reinforce. Okay, so the Rams are going around for a flank. Come on, baby. He's fighting for that ten dollars Applebee's gift card right now, dude. That's that's big money right there, dude. The die is cast. <laughs> All right, keeps putting a little bit of hurt down. The wonder is made. Oh man, I feel like he's gonna lose it. I feel like these Rams are just gonna like sneak past him. Okay, he's got Springle shooting those bad boys. Big war of attrition here, but the English player taking his time, dude. This hold is gonna be so hard. There's so many Rams coming in. How's the Roost player's bank? It's probably pretty good. Yeah, he's got a good bank. He can definitely make basic units. He needs to get some cavalry out, some Roost Knights. Like his micro is a little bit, like slacking a little bit here. These rams shouldn't be alive. Um, this army should come down and just crush these rams. I don't know why he's still making rams either if he's on the defense. I guess he was not planning to, uh... yeah, as long as he doesn't make more rams and waste wood there. All right, guys, let's see. Men at arms move again. The elite knights chopping away. And here we do see the rams moving out as a distraction, which, hey, isn't bad. I mean, look, it's occupying the enemy army for a moment, which isn't terrible. The Kremlin, if he had kept that Kremlin alive and repaired it, man, he would be so much stronger. The militia summons would be so clutch right now. Oh, dear God. Come on, man. 13 minutes? That's, dude, this is going to be the longest 13 minutes of my life here. The Ottomans are sending reinforcements out, but very slowly. The English player does have his uh, forward infrastructure, so clearly Sammy knows what he's doing. He's getting those forward lines all set up. Springald's going to be poking away wherever they can. But the Rus army with some very, very good defenses. Very, very good defenses. Yeah, the Rus player needs to be macroing better. His population, like, he's not building out of all of his buildings right now. He should he should just be pumping out units on stuff. He's not doing a bad job, but um, it could be could be a little bit stronger for sure. Rams making it to the TC. We do get some warrior monks coming out. The blessings of Urson are upon us. And now we do get the Great Bombards. Oh my god, look at this! The Rams are sneaking around! He's building a defensive keep back here. Granted, I don't know how much that's going to be saving. The Ottomans are just like straight up sending these units due west. 
What happens if they kill the wonder but not the player? Dude, I will be so sad. <laughs> I'll be so sad if the Roos lose their wonder but don't get killed and he just rebuilds and it's just back to square one. Oh my god. The bombards in melee. Oh. The Roos army is pretty good though. He, he definitely is not macroing super well. Um, these things should just be fully fledged pumping shit out right now. But like the thing is nobody's macroing that crazy. The English player probably has the best macro of the three. You know, he's able to move out. Let's see what his army size is probably pretty big right now. Yeah, up to 150. Oh, the gremlin's being repaired. I like it. Finally. It's going to be back online, baby. And he's, he's good to party. He's got this keep getting repaired here. Another keep in the distance is going to be set up. Ram's just moving through. The dreaded trickle-down theory is going. Come on. Come on, Lamb. Fight for that, that Applebee's gift card, dude. You can take your partner out. Imagine, imagine how impressed this guy's partner is going to be when he takes them to Applebee's and he tells them that he's a pro gamer who won $10 on a, on a stream. He's definitely going to have a good time that night. All right. Uh, so these guys pushing in. Gremlin is almost back, which is going to start generating some militia. But, uh, you know, it's, it's a shame you won't have the big bank built up, but you, you got to try your best. The Roos army looking pretty good, but being a little bit overwhelmed here, guys. Sammy is macroing the best. The Roost player needs to start mass producing units. It looks like he has a hotkey for like some buildings, but he's not sending out a lot. Um, he's got great resources too. I mean, the Roost player could easily have, easily have 200, 200 supply and just be steamrolling these guys as they attack. Oh my God, dude. Oh dear God. 34 Rams in the back door. That's brute, okay. He's not getting that Applebee's gift card tonight, dude. It's not gonna happen. Those rams can just literally right-click on the wonder and kill it. There's nothing the Roos can do. Because the Roos is, the Roos is not macroing super well. Um, I mean, a couple of units popping out here and there, but this is this is unholy, dude. This is straight up unholy. You need to get mangoes popping out. Mangonels would be good against English invaders, but not so much against 500 rams. And look at this, dude. <laughs> Come on, big face some units. Oh my god, he's making them now, but it's a little too late. Oh my god, dude, this wonder's just gonna get skeeted on by the back. <laughs> oh, this game is so haggard. This is one of the most haggard FFAs we've had in so long. All right, he's making units now. Look at this. But there's no way he stops this. He's got some villagers with torches out, but like, good luck, dude. Good luck. You'd have to pull like all these bills maybe to block them up. Uh, wonder is being steamrolled. He's making an army now. But I just hope for the love of God that they finish him off and don't let him live, you know? They need to just get it, get it done. The gremlin's going down here. The wonder in the back is just getting hammered by battering rooms. They're all over the place. Knights are coming in. Okay, some knights, defenders. He's repairing it, baby. Oh, it's not enough. He's got 10 minutes left. There's no way he's holding this. There's no way. There's so many rams on the side there. Oh, God, the suffering, dude. The anaconda <laughs> ramps. I mean, the Roost player should be dead here. There's so many ramps in his base right now. They can just go landmark hunting or just attack a move and they're going to do like lethal damage. All right, guys. This is so stupid. I love it. I know it is. Bronzodia FFAs are always a good time. Uh, all right. So relics are going down. The Roost player is on death's bed. His eco is pretty much diminished. Um, and now he's just going to get cleaned up here by the English invaders. English is even doing a keep drop on him, which is... Pretty balls to the wall. But now, are you guys ready for the most heavy duty fight of all time? It seems like Hills isn't AFK anymore. Like Hills is actually macroing okay. Like he's sending a lot of reinforcements across. So I actually think the Roost could have won that if they just were producing units more efficiently. I think they would have won the game. But uh, it wasn't meant to be, man. It wasn't meant to be. Rams clearing out the front. The Gremlin is down. TCs are down. And that's gonna be the end of our Roost champion. I think my prediction of like two hours Two hours and 15 minutes is going to be pretty accurate. Yeah, I think that's that's the case. It's going to be War of the Rams after the Lamb is gone. Oh my god, dude. Okay, so the High Armory is down for the count. And uh, do they know where the last landmark is? Dude, I, my, one of my favorite things about this game has been Hills just randomly grabbing like, like Sacred Sites. He just like randomly puts things on them every now and then, you know? There's no cadence to it. It's just out of the blue. Yeah, definitely want to leave that market if you can. Looks like he does know that. He's going to try and leave the market. Because uh, then he could get trade from the top of the map up here to that market. And it's pretty safe and away from Teal. So he would be very rich. Dude, I, I, I think if Hills won this game, that would just be the funniest shit ever. If he finds a way. 
Oh, no, he accidentally kills the market. It happens. I do that shit all the time. Come on. Come on, get the last landmark. End it. End it. Come on, baby. Let's go, Rams. So the Rams are arriving. They're going to be knocking down that high trade house. I want, I, want, I want to know from all of you guys in chat. Who do you think is going to win this game? Shout out your champion here. You, you rooting for Hills? Or you rooting for Sammy? Let's put a, let's actually put a poll up. I think it's time for the poll. Okay, start a poll. Hills or Sammy. All right, guys, vote for your champion here. Who do you think is going to win the duel? The Bronze Odia Duel of Fate. Oh, look at that. He's got all three sacred sites. Hills going for the sacred victory. And then there were two. And then there were two. All right, so now these guys are just going to betray one another. It's time for war. I mean, it's just going to be a straight 1v1. <laughs> oh, man. So Sammy is the English player, Purple. And Hills is the uh, Teal player who's been semi-AFK. But, you know, he emerges when he's needed. He emerges when he's needed. Come on, Sammy. I got an Applebee's. No, the Applebee's gift card is gone now. That, the, that was only for the Roost player. I said if the Roost player wins here with this wonder, then he's going to get the Applebee's gift card, you know? That would be pretty funny to have, like, a, have a tournament. A lot of our players are European, though, and in different parts of the world, so they wouldn't be able to get the Applebee's gift card. I guess we could do something like if you're in America, you get Applebee's. If you're in the UK, you get Weatherspoons. We'd have to do like some research into their local habitat, you know, to see where we can uh, send the prizes. So random English keep going down here. Well, not so random, actually. Probably where he's going to be launching his beachhead invasion. Sacred sites being decapped. Rams coming from all directions. Hills going hard in the middle, dude. He's got his great bombards and a decent quality army there. Wow, it seems like we have a, we have a lot of fans in chat. Hills has, Hills has kids. Okay, that's fine. If Hills wins this game, being the underdog here, we'll we'll give him we'll give him the gift card. If Hills wins it, he gets the Applebee's gift card. All right. We'll keep the legacy going. <laughs> he seems like the underdog to me, so we'll we'll put it up there. All right, guys, the battle rages on. <laughs> Sammy and Hills should both go AFK until I repromise it. Way ahead of you, dude. Way ahead of you. Yeah, what would be like the Canadian equivalent of like a Denny's or like a really haggard place to eat? Yeah. Well, the bombards are thundering, slowly clearing out the English infrastructure in the middle, but England is going to probably pour it on him here pretty hard on the uh, bottom. It looks like the English army is here. Please attack. Come on, dude. The sacred site got decapped. It looks like it did. English player moving the rams over to the middle to try and knock down that keep while they can. England sitting AFK with their army while a major conflict is going down in the west. Can totally come over here and help or go south and attack. Oh, they're going. Hell yeah, baby. Okay, now comes the English army. Going to be going after that keep, which is pretty healthy. Might be able to get it down with the ram pressure, though. There's still a couple of rams. All right, guys. The duel of fates is upon us. The battle of the greats. The Bronzodia duel. Now... I think it's pretty easy to assess the fact that Hills will probably lose this because he only has like a couple hundred wood. He just bought wood, as a matter of fact, which is rough. So I don't think he's going to be able to keep up the production with the English player, who clearly has no economic problems whatsoever. Um, 97,061. Canada has Applebee's. Great. Great. Canada has Denny's and Applebee's. Oh, perfect. Yes. Okay. You learn something every day, man. Yeah, so Hills is probably done for. I mean, his bank is so poor compared to the English. He still has those, like, free units from the military school, which will keep him, you know, fighting a little bit longer, which is really nice, but... I don't think anybody's going to be taking advantage of the four relics over here, which would be huge. That'd be huge for anyone's eco to get those four relics with Tithe Barns. Lamb, are you in chat? If so, GG, well played. Thank you for trying to end the game. That was a lot of fun. Oh, Pat, that was you! Oh, yeah. Thank you for trying to end it, dude. I do appreciate that. <laughs> I do appreciate it. So we approach the dreaded two hour mark in this game of eternal suffering. All right. And now they continue fighting. Manganels, I'm gonna be blasting away at those bunched up units. Uh, currently Hills, Eco's at 120 something. He's got 58 wood in the bank, barely anyone on wood. His Eco is so, so low right now. He only has 43 economy, oh! So the English player needs to just go for the throat, man. Sammy needs to just go balls to the wall and just head south. 
and just put that pressure on because he'll end this game straight up. Um, the Mehmed Armory is a little bit far down there, so could take him a moment to get there, but... Oh, Rams are like the meta right now. Yeah, there's like 10 relics around the map. There are. I believe there's some relics abandoned up here. Uh, no, they actually got taken. No, there's still one in this building, yeah, so there are relics. All right, England's heading south. The, Mal the army of the Ottomans is... Oh. <laughs> oh my god, this guy, dude! Hills! Oh man, I hope he wins with these Rams. It's not gonna happen, but it's so funny. Oh yeah, baby. Does he know where... Okay, he has no idea where the guy's landmarks are. He's just rolling with like 20 Rams here, 26 Rams. And just trying to, trying to put some pressure on. That is so haggard, dude. Here it comes, baby. So they're heading up. Go for the landmarks. I don't think he even knows where the landmarks are, guys. He's just going to take down this keep here and then probably just get them all killed. <laughs> Purple's moving. Yeah, Purple knows it's an issue. He sees the rams. It's like the trebuchets and the artillery are going to start shooting at the uh, keep right here. One keep is going to fall, and that's pretty much going to be it. Yeah, and these rams are just all going to die for nothing, basically. He's rolling dirty. Yeah, that's true. But hey, at least he got a keep for it, you know. He's going to be spending, uh, let's see. I don't know, 6,000 wood for 800 stone? <laughs> if he even gets it? I don't know. Yeah, the English defenders are here, and they're going to be able to block the rams up, the men-at-arms. Uh, he must have, that must have been where all of his wood was going. He probably, that's why he was probably empty on wood, for that matter. All right, so the rams are trying to get through. No way they're going to get past, though. A couple might get to the walls, but at the end of the day, I don't think they're going to make it. That's a hell of a lot of rams, though. Imagine if Relic made it so rams, like, could just push their infantry. Oh my god, that'd be so funny. Heading up to the towers here in the walls. Some of the brave Ramstein Legion do make it. Many of them do get trapped up. A couple rams creeping through the bushes here, trying to find their way in. Knocking on Heaven's door. The gatehouse is going to pay. It will go down. It's, it's basically just delaying the inevitable. Hills is basically dead in the water financially. He doesn't have to make like a handful of units, but if the English army just turns and collapses on him, he's basically toast. Yeah, they don't even get to the wall. Looks like the wall is going to be stabilizing. All right, guys. England for England, James. They're moving down, baby. Here they go. And they're going to be moving down towards the old base. Hills fought hard, you know. The mighty, the mighty father Hills here. He's He never gives up on the Ramstein. He's he's living it. I feel like Rams are just the go-to for everyone now. They have to be, right? <clears throat> Being able to mass produce them is, and mix them in with your armies. And they only cost one pop. I mean, god damn, that's so good. The haggard walls being built? No, please don't run. No. Just leave like a couple of units to kill these and go into this base. He's getting distracted again by the rams. Yeah, the rams will do a little bit of damage, but England should be able to pull back. Cannon placement shooting away. Men at arms rush it across. Random towers being built in the base of hills. Purple should send Teal's money to prolong the game. <laughs> that would be just, that's just cruel, dude. Why would you wish that on me? All right, they're still going south. Here, here they come, boys. England is going to finally end this game. Come on, England, score some goals. Come on, England. <laughs> score some goals. Dude, England's going to take him to Weatherspoons right now, make him eat some bangers and mash. That's what's going down right now. In the back, counterweight trebs should be able to reach and knock down some of these cannon towers pretty easily. They were, uh, I believe, not upgraded to stone, so... Those will fall very, very quickly. We still see a couple of haggard rams being made by hills. So he's he's really committing to this uh, this style here. As some of the defenders rush out, it is going to be the elite Janissaries, but he's already out of gold, so that's pretty much going to be the end of it. Come on, Trebuchets. Kill the landmarks. Come on, baby. Dude, you know whose fault this is? This is Spiegel's fault, dude. Chris, this is all your fault. This wouldn't have happened if you hadn't died. You put this evil on us right now, dude. Okay. So here they go, <laughs> back through my English gentleman. Solid Anchorman reference, dude. All right, so keeps going down. The English trebuchet is very, very nasty. He's got, oh, he's pulling villagers for the all in. Hell yeah, baby, let's go. Put a fork in this game. Come on, dude. Let's get it. Sammy's my, Sammy's the hero we all need right now. Run those villagers into that burning oil. Hell yeah. So they're heading south. Trebuchet's knocking on heaven's door. Come on, Sammy, I believe in you. I believe England's going all in. It looks like they're uh, getting a lot of hills to torch down that keep now. And then let's look at the landmarks. Yeah, the Mehmet Armory's down here. 
English men at arms butchering the Janissaries. Keep on the sides, gonna be burning down here any second. And uh, how are the villagers doing? Yeah, it looks like a lot of them died. Only nine villagers left, so they certainly paid the troll toll. But England is basically, you know, has enough resources to just go all in here. England actually deleted all their eco, as a matter of fact, and is just gonna be pouring in as many units as they possibly can. Come on, trebuchets. Come on, give it to us, baby. Town center's going down here. Twin minaret, Mindress. This is gonna be the next target here for our invader. And ladies and gentlemen, it seems that though we've all been on an epic journey, I felt like we just went on the journey of Odysseus together. You know, some big trials and conquests and dealing with sirens and all sorts of scary stuff. And we have finally made it. The journey is soon to be over as the Mehmed Armory is the last landmark standing. But does the English player know where it is, is the question. I would imagine so. The Great Bombard Cannon hanging firm. Trebuchet is going to be moving up in a second. Oh, and he's still fighting. Hills is going strong, dude. He's making us suffer to the bitter end. Yes, they got their torches out. This means I get to eat dinner, boys. I haven't, I haven't, I haven't eaten like, oh God, it must have been like 11 hours. Jeez, a long time. Mehmed Armory going to get torched down. Trebuchets are in position. Sammy's gonna do it. He's gonna do it, baby. And that is gonna be our third FFA of the night that we wrapped up. So on that note, ladies and gentlemen, just wanna thank you all for joining. It was really fun. We had a nice team game in the beginning, a wild Haggard Island FFA in the middle, and the Bronzodia Duel of Fates here at the very end, which I think was very entertaining despite some of the long grindiness that it did have. So GG, appreciate you guys. If you enjoyed the Age of Empires content, as always, do drop a like on the way out. It helps a lot. It helps keep the old Age of Empires community going. So uh, thank you guys. That's it. Take care of yourselves. You know what? If, uh, if uh, you know, I think Sammy for being the one to end that game, we'll throw him the Applebee's gift card. If he messages me and he lives in the United States, then I'll send him an Applebee's gift card. All right, guys. Take care of yourselves. Hey, it's Sammy. He says, hey, turn Sammy here. That was a long one. I kept backstabbing. Uh, to get their eco lowered. I was Palpatine. You were, dude. You were. And Sammy, you can message me for the Applebee's gift card if you live in the States. That's going to be it. Yeah, I'll do more 1v1 soon. I will. I'll do some 1v1s on the next stream. I think that'll be a lot of fun. All right, guys. Take care of yourselves. That's going to be it for tonight. Adios. Thank you guys so much for your generous donations. There was a whole bunch of you guys who donated tonight. We got three new channel members, a bunch of donations. So thank you guys for keeping this old man going. And uh, that's it. Take care of yourselves. See ya. Adios. Dovizenia. Hill says, I totally had him, but he was a nice guy. <laughs> I love it. Oh, that's so good. All right. See ya. Hills. well played, man. Cheers. I'm too weak. Oh, don't kill me. Please. No, don't do it. No. No, don't do it.